Hello and welcome everyone to the Palazzo di Bocce 2022 International Invitational Bocce Tournament. This telecast is brought to you by Palazzo di Bocce and Orion Neighborhood Television. I'm your announcer for today, Leo Giannotti. We'll be bringing you featured matches throughout the day as we go through the quarterfinals, semifinals, and championship matches. Teams from 10 countries competed today for the top prize of $10,000. As we go through all bocce tournaments, there are multiple matches taking place at the same time and we will do our best to keep track of all the games for you. The tournament got underway bright and early on Thursday, July 21st. We are so excited to be able to give you this live coverage on the final day. Before we begin our matches, here's a quick video showcase of all teams that have participated. So hello everyone, today excited to bring you a live coverage of International Tournament Bocce and we have a special guest today that has some questions <laughs> about the game and uh, yes, please introduce uh, yourself. Yes, Ian Locke from ONTV. Okay. Leo, thank you so yes. much for sitting in with us and working with us to bring this telecast to everybody who's watching around the world really. Yes, my pleasure. And uh, yes, we, we were here sampling games on Friday yes. and... Uh, to say I'm a novice in bocce is being nice, okay? And so what are we going to be looking at here today? So if it's not your backyard bocce that we've been playing, you know, and picnics, and this is some serious stuff. Yes, Ian, this is uh, very different than your backyard bocce, <laughs> right? We're all used to the open play kind of anything goes, fun backyard uh, kind of competition. This is going to be a little bit more skillful. You're going to see high levels of playing, of a pointing, shooting kind of, and action all over the court at yeah. almost on every uh, every t time they're throwing a ball, right? And you're going to see some intense concentration and focus on these players. Yeah, and the shocking thing, walking in the door, so we just come in the door and we see the matches going on, and the action on the court is something that we've never seen. I mean, oh, we got bocce balls flying through the air, ricocheting all over the place. Uh, explain that to us. Yes. I mean, it, it looked like a it, completely different game. Yeah, it, it's like I like to explain it sometimes. It's a cross between bowling where you have a, a powerful shot trying to knock something out to uh, curling where it's a nice finesse mm. trying to get to the, a certain spot to score points, right? The difference between those is this is a moving target. The, the, you can be all over the court to play, right? Yes. So it's not one consistent area that, of play. Right, and we and you're, people are going to see this today. Uh, we were surprised that w uh, there were some teams that had a nice scoring cluster of balls ready to go, and in an instant it was a shot oh, uh, to absolutely. pieces, and yeah. there was no points, or it completely flips to the other team. Yes, this, this game is a game of ups and downs for every team, right? They could be feeling good about the play, balls they played, and <laughs> in an instant, as it's you over. saw, it's <laughs> over, and it could be a swing for the other team. Yeah, it's wild. Uh, you know, so that's why the game, you really need to be patient and focused and keep your <laughs> composure when you play these types of games. Absolutely, and so what we're seeing on the screen now is uh, we're getting ready for some practice, a yes. uh, little warm-up before uh, our featured match, mm -hmm. uh, which will, it's doubles first, is that yes. correct? Yes. We're gonna we're gonna they play a three game um, match against the same team. So this featured match today, luckily, is going to be Austria against Team USA. So they will play the first game on court seven as a doubles, two okay. against two, right? So they both play two balls each, 
And then after that game, we'll, we'll commence a singles, and each one of the, sing the doubles players will play a single game on each court. Okay. And it's going to be, I believe, uh, the winner of two out of three is going to be the winner of the match, and we'll move on to the next round. Okay. And so today we are, like we, you said in the open, uh, quarters, or what are we doing? This is going to be quarterfinals. We're in the quarters. Semis, then we have semis, and then and we have then the, 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 the big the money big finals, <laughs> right? And yes. uh, for, like we mentioned too, there's multiple courts, multiple games going on. So we're going to do... Uh, try to swing the cameras around so people can see, just so you can get an idea of what's happening because th it's so dynamic here. There's a lot happening right. and very exciting. And uh, you're going to bring us all the yes, action. Yes, I'm going to try to keep everybody in the loop, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> the best I can, of course. Yes, you know, of, of course. Uh, of, all the, of the, all the action, but we will focus on this main court, you know, for everybody's yep, viewing pleasure. The TV pleasure. court is court yes. seven today, yes. so uh, we're excited to see the matches mm -hmm. taking place. So how did we get here? Uh, so this is the final day, right? Yeah, so this is the final how day. Did we, get here? We, had, we had ten teams. Uh, we had two divisions of five, correct? And uh, they they were they played a round robin event. So each team played each other in their division, and they had taken the top three teams from each division in today's event. So in the red division, we had Italy, San Marino, and Austria. They were they moved up and. Uh, and in the blue division, we had Chile, USA, and Canada. So today, in the semifinal matches, we, the number one seeds will get a bye. Okay. And that was Italy in the red division and Chile in the blue division. Okay. And the two and three seeds um, are playing against each other. So hence why Austria will be playing USA. Austria was a three seed in the red, and USA was the two seed in the blue. Okay. And San Marino in the red was the two seed against Canada, three seed in the blue division. All right. So okay. I hope everybody got that. Yes, uh, it, it can be complicated. Especially looking at the board, yes. like, how does this work? It's, it's, uh, it, but this is a great experience, experiencing something like this, getting people exposed to the game, tournaments like this. And just having fun with the game and sharing it with everybody. Yeah, and, and you know, this this is a little hard to understand at times, <laughs> right? Be. Hence why I'm going to try to bring it to you. <laughs> well, we easiest, got the right guy in the chair, You know, right? the easiest way possible. A very you know, experienced referee. It. So your background, yeah. you're a referee, right? I mean, and a I, player. I am a and player and a referee. I've played in international events before. So, yes, yeah. I've, been, I've been around the game quite a long. And the benefit is I have seen pretty much all these players play in international competition before so and i've played in my backyard right. so, so there's <laughs> kinda a reason kind of equals <laughs> right that's why that, that's why it's good that yeah, i'm yeah. going to set the headset down yes. and go keep score uh, for our viewers at home while you do what you do yes. so well and again uh, hopefully we can bring an enjoyable <laughs> viewing experience for the viewers here absolutely and uh, just a reminder too this is being recorded and uh, if you're if you miss any, you can't tune in right away. We'll have all the videos on the website. Yes, uh, for that you would go to uh, www.palazzodebacci.com. Yep, and they're going to be there um, probably for a year until the next matches come until, up. Until next but, year, but they're okay. available to be watched. We're going to edit them down just a little bit okay. to. Uh, to ease gameplay. Also, we have a lot of sponsors that make this happen. So uh, I'd like to call, you mind if yeah, I call attention no, to some of the sponsors absolutely, here? Absolutely, please. So we are in Lake Orion, Michigan in Oakland County. Mm -hmm. And so the Oakland County uh, Board of Commissioners is one of our uh, tournament sponsors. K Automotive Graphics, uh, which is just down the street from us here at Palazzo de Bacci. Detroit Spectrum Painters Incorporated is also one of our main sponsors. UBS, and I think that says... Uh, Geffen, I don't want to mispronounce it, but we'll we'll have all of our sponsors listed so they get their due because without them, yes, without this does not take no, place. No, this we special thanks to all the sponsors because this really takes uh, a lot of work and capital to get going, and with them, th they made this possible. Yep. So yes, thank you to all the sponsors. So we're still practicing yes, here. Yes, now they are starting the practice round. So you have USA against Austria. The USA team is Jason Wisniewski and Jose Balto against Simon Klaus and Gunther Burr. And uh, right now they're going to do a practice round once up, once back, and then play with again, and we'll be ready we'll be to right go. right there with them. Yes. And you can see we have cameras in position to get the detail of what uh, we're going to see all day. And uh, so 
those just watching, okay, so this isn't like we, we, I keep referencing and I have to stop that. This isn't your backyard picnic. There are official lines and the, yes. the court is designated different uh, sections. So as we're watching these guys practice, mm -hmm. how can we uh, help our viewers understand so here, what we're looking at? So right now, the, the Polino, which is the target ball uh, for this game, correct? There's a, a, a dot in the middle of the court. Um, which get, it gets placed for the start of the game. Okay. Okay. And that's where we will begin. After the first frame, whoever wins the point has the advantage of throwing the Polino okay. and the first ball, right? And they will need to keep to, in play bounds will be the yellow line to the last white line as you're going down okay. the court. So if we can see a wide shot of the court and we can hopefully get some of those... Uh, so see yes. the lines there. Mm -hmm. So we see the white lines, the back line. Uh, you were their number or letter. Right. So correct? we normally letter. So the backboard we usually call the A line. Okay. Right. That's the backboard. Then we have the B line, as you're coming coming toward us. The C line, the D line, and the E lines, which is the middle of the court. And those uh, are labeled as yellow or as colored yellow. Yes, yellow they're colored for us yellow. to differentiate. Correct. That, okay. that that's in place. So the Polino needs to pass that. The, to begin the game, but okay. not, cannot pass the last white line, the okay. B line, <laughs> as we like to, to say. Also, in this game, it's, again, a lot of rules, so there's going to be a lot of the, the referee will be marking balls, a specific way to designate which balls, because it's call your shot, okay. like in pool, right? Oh, we, it is. We, yes, when, oh you're, when, you're, when you're trying to knock a ball <laughs> out, you have to call what you're hitting, so I did not know that. Yes. You just taught me something today because even watching the rounds, uh, so that makes the skill level exponentially higher because yeah, if absolutely. you're calling it, you don't make it. It's it's not a good shot. Now, mm. the other team has the rule of advantage, as they like to call it. They can decide what to do with that. Okay. They can either put everything back and take a ball out that they th just threw, or if it's to their advantage, they just would just leave, leave it. it. Right? So... <sighs> <laughs> so there's a lot that can wow. be going on at one time. Is there, you know, the A line, if you hit that back stop, or better, lack of a better word, does, is the ball out of play or so, is it so done? The A line and back as we're going down only matters when you're throwing the Polino. Okay. Okay. After that, you can bounce them you off can, the back. You can hit the Polino back. Everything is all good. Okay. Right? And the other thing is when a ball hits the back wall, kind of like what they just did yes. in the practice, <laughs> that ball would technically be no good Done. because they did not hit, hit anything. Hit anything. Ah. So it's no good. But if you do hit a ball that you called, everything remains in play. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Learning yes. new, right? That's the whole point of that's this. Uh, a novice like myself and with an expert. Yes. Also... You know, the sideboards here, Yeah. you know, as we play, you know, as we call open bocce, you're able to bounce off boards, okay. you know, geometry. In this game, boards are not allowed. Oh. You are not allowed okay. to touch the sideboards unless it hits another ball first. Okay. So, you, so can't purposely, you can't purposely throw your ball against the board to make it, it come out. Corner. Right, <laughs> kind of like, you know. Yeah, the avoid geometry. The, avoiding, avoiding the eight ball in exactly. pool, right? Right, yeah. exactly. Okay. So. Just those are kind of some of the no, quick rules, but there will be more those. going on <laughs> as we, you know, progress, of course. Yes, it's, uh, so it's exciting to see. Um, is there anything else that I haven't asked you or something yeah, that you might so, want to share? So yeah. there's, there's going to be, you're going to notice there's going to be a few different shots they're going to make. Okay. There's going to be, you know, this game is really in, in, the, in the international world is called Punto Rafa Volo or PRV. Okay. The P stands for Punto, which means for point. They're going to lag to try to go close. Okay. The Rafa is when they throw a ball, almost like a bowling shot. Okay. And then the Volo is when they have to throw the ball in the air Which and hit is the, ball. the most impressive. Yes. It's, I, As I, you saw it. it I mean, mm -hmm. the accuracy they're th the accuracy they're throwing is insane. It's incredible. It's, yes. It's, it's a lot of fun. These are skilled athletes. Absolutely. A lot of and practice goes into it. Years and years, and years of and play. Years of play, yes. So. All right. Well, it looks like these the guys are setting up for our first match yes. of the day. Uh, the doubles, U.S. versus Austria, right? Absolutely. And, they're uh, going to be starting right now, and hopefully so it's a great game. So I'll leave you to it. Thank I'll you, be Ian. back uh, throughout yes. the day. We might have some other guests, uh, Absolutely. guests joining us at the booth. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so dig in and enjoy uh, our first match of the day. We're here all day. All to day. Get so. to the final. Hopefully nobody gets tired of my voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, right. thanks, Ian. Have a good match. Thank you. So the USA is starting. Jason 
is going for point. And the, again, everyone, the object is try to get as close as to the Polino or the little ball as possible. Jason Rose is a little bit long, and as you see the referee measuring, Jason hit the Polino, and the ball just rolled outside of being good, which is called a secondary shot. So the Austrian team put the Polino back in its original place. Now as the Austrian plays, his goal is to, of course, try to get closer than the opponent ball, as it looks like he did, which is a great shot on his first throw. Now Jason and Jose are, are discussing on some strategy here of what to do. And Jose is going to line up and he's going to do what we call a Rafa shot. Now the Rafa shot as he's taking it has to cross the D line for it to be good. And he made a fantastic shot and he has point. So now it's up to the Austrian team to um, get back in and try to get close to beat that point. He lines up. It's a good roll. Looks like it has some good speed on it. And he just makes the point. So the Austrian team is in for point. Now Jason has decided to do, he thinks he can beat this, so he's gonna try to get as close, closer than the Austrian ball. As he rolls, he has a good line. Let's see about the speed, though. Looking good. Just these courts are lightning fast. They're they're a synthetic base court, so it's almost like playing on cement. The referee uh, has signaled that it is not good, but now he's measuring to see who is closer. And yes, he was correct. On the first call, Jason did not make the point, so Jose will uh, roll and see if he can uh, get close. As now he follows the ball, the speed looks very, very good, and that is a fantastic roll. So now they're at a disadvantage. The Austrian team has two balls in hand where the USA has nothing left. So he is, the Austrian player, is going to Rafa the point ball that was just thrown. He sets up, goes, throws, and it's a good shot. Uh, Austrian has one point on the floor with another ball to try to make two points. So in this game, there's a maximum of four points that can be scored, and that uh, happens if you can get all four balls closer to Polino than your opponent. As he rolls, looks like uh, a good ball. If it has the speed, it's rolling. Mm, that's going to be close. Uh, Albert, the referee, is measuring. See? And Nope, that ball was short, so Austrian strides starts out the match with one point, so it's 1-0 Austria. So now since Austria has uh, won the point, they get the privilege of throwing out the Polino and place it to where they think they have the best um, opportunity to score against the U.S. team. Okay. He is playing it on the longer side of the court against the board. Um, again, in this game, we're unable to touch the board. It is a unvalid shot if you do as you throw. So, so he's rolling the ball. Looks a little firm. Um, not as good as the ones he threw coming back up, but. So that, that's a, that's a uh, you know, easy point normally for Jason, but you know, the stress and the uh, first ball jitters sometimes come into play. 
and uh, we'll see how this this is uh might be a little bit short yes the referee uh, signal uh, that he did not make the point when the referee uh, puts his uh, uh, marking stick uh, um, sat on its side that means uh, it did not make the point when he Holds it straight up. That means he did make the point. Ooh, Jason rolls again. He's just a tad short. It looks like, yeah, he has not found his rhythm yet, but it's still early. We are playing to 15 points here today. Every game, so a lot of game to go. Jason is uh, showing Jose where um, the point would be to play for. They're just discussing them how they want to come, if they want to be on the outside, or if Jose wants to try to sneak in behind his ball and the board. So we'll see what he um, decides to do. As you can see, there can be some uh, strategy involved here, especially when you've thrown two balls to your opponent's one. So it'll uh, be interesting to see what Jose decides to do here. So Jose is uh, lining up. He rolls, it looks like a good ball. Um, looks like great speed, it should fall in a little bit. Yes, and it was great ball by Jose. So now the Austrians are uh, back here uh, talking about what they wanna do. Um, they have a few options. They can try to get close like Jose just did or they can try to Rafa uh, Jose's point out, which it looks like he is. And he gets set. He's setting up for his Rafa shot. As he goes, shoots. Ooh, good shot, but unlucky break. He uh, hit J uh, Jose's ball, but had a ricochet and took out his ball. So now the United States team looks like we have two points on the board. But they still have two balls to the USA one ball. So let's see what uh, the Austrian player does with this ball. Looks good. Yes. Yep. He uh, made the point. Relatively good point, especially with the two uh, USA balls in the front. It's not an easy uh, way to go sometimes. Jose is uh, talking it over with Jason. We'll see what Jose decides to do here. Okay, Jose is uh, deciding to try to beat the point, and he's going to lag. He sets up. Oh, it looks like he's going to try to squeeze it in between the, his ball and the board. Remember, it can't touch the board. Wow, it looks like a beautiful ball at his speed. Wow, fantastic ball by Jose. So he has a ball. This makes it really difficult on the Austria's team to shoot a ball, Rafa. So he might, we might get to witness a Volo shot here for the first time in the game. So as you notice, his partner came down to discuss because the person with the ball is not allowed to walk past the, the uh, D line on the court when he has a ball. Otherwise. It is a penalty. So yes, he has, we're gonna witness a Volo shot. So again, the ball is thrown in the air and he has, the referee marks a line 40 centimeters from the ball and his ball needs to land within that dimension to be good. He shoots, oh, and he misses. So the US is on the board. It is 1-1, one, one, tie game. Difficult shot, folks. That's uh, you got a court that's 87, 88 feet long, and the shot's probably, you know, 70 feet in distance. Shooting it in the air, it, it takes a lot of precision. So that was a great try, close, but quite not there. So Jose or Jason, I should say, is lining up. See uh, if he can get a ball in here, get his rhythm going a little bit. So he 
rolls, the speed looks a little fast, little, little fast, so, hmm, okay, looks like it didn't react like he wanted to, so let's see what the Austrians do. Now to mention the U.S. team of Jason and Jose are from, you know, Palazzo Libaci, so these are their home courts, so they have a little bit of an advantage over the Austrian team on knowing how the balls play. So Austria made the point, Jason gets down, he rolls, speed looks good, this one does, yes, that looks like a great ball by Jason, fantastic, he makes the point, referee signals, now the Austrians are discussing what they're going to do, and it looks like they're going to Rafa the ball. So he's shooting Jason's point ball that he just threw. Sets up, goes, shoots, and he misses. He did not hit the ball he called, so. Team USA has the choice of leaving everything as is or putting it back in its original spot and the ball the Austrians threw is no good and out of play. And yes, that's what they decide they, it's to their advantage to put it back. And so, okay, the point is going. They need to try to mitigate the damages here, try to make the point, or try to close up so the United States won't make a lot of points on them. Wow, this one's a little short. Still left them a lot of room there. So Austria's down to their last ball. And uh, let's see what he does with this. This could be a big scoring possibility for the U.S. As you see, that ball I don't know, the speed's good, but it's not short, and he went into his ball, which is not good. So Team USA has two balls, and they have a possibility of scoring scoring some points here. Uh, Jose can put in two more balls closer than the Austrians' closest ball. He's setting up with the concentration in his rolls looking good the line is great looks like a beautiful ball wow fantastic <laughs> Jose Pinelli has one more ball right now the United States have two points let's see if he can uh, add to that total takes his time sets and he rolls, oof, that one came out a little, little wonky off his hand, not the way he wanted to, but, oh, and what, he, he had a little bit of luck there, folks, he nudged, touched one of the Austrian balls, and it came in, so they uh, have three points, so the score is four to one, USA, that was a great, uh, Great frame from the United States. It's uh, unusual sometimes uh, to score three or four points in, in a frame, but uh, they did it, so. Okay, Jose and Jason had a little chat there before Jason threw the ball. He sets up, let's see if he can repeat the last ball he threw. Sets, rolls, looks a little short, folks. Yeah, came up just a little short. Okay. All right, well, Austrian setting. Getting ready to roll. He rolls. Okay, looks like uh, Austrian might make, is going to make the point, um, but still not a great ball by the Austrian, but good enough to, uh, to make that point, so it's up to Team USA here to Jason it isn't ready. Rose. 
That looks like he might have the perfect speed. He fixed his mistake from previous. That's a fantastic ball, folks. That's a great ball by Jason. It's probably a foot distance from the Polino, which is a, a very good in this game. So the Austrians are going to uh, try to raffle that point out as he sets. Goes, oof, he misses again. That's very unusual, folks, to miss two in a row, but he sets it up. The U.S. is talking about what to do now because they have rule of advantage because he did not hit the ball he called. Okay, so the Team USA decides to uh, put everything back the way it started, and the Austrian ball gets taken out of play. So we have uh, another uh, good start here for the U.S. Uh, with that miss by the Austrians. Um, again, the Austrian asked the referee how far it is, and he's... Uh, giving him distance, and that's uh, how far Jason Ball is away from the Polino. So he's getting set the point. He rolls, it looks a little short. Yes, folks, it's, uh, it's short. Did not uh, do a very good job there to Austrian. He, he's still trying to find his rhythm. Um, Oh, the Austrian is uh, going to shoot again. Let's see, he shoots and he hits, but again, bad ricochet off, off of uh, his ball to knock his other ball out. The Austrians would have had two points if the uh, USA ball went without touching anything else, but that did not happen. And the Austrian did make the point. So now, folks, Team USA is deciding if they should uh, roll in for points since there is a little bit of room or if they want to be aggressive to try to score multiple points again by shooting the Austrian ball. Yes, Jose's going to shoot a volo shot, folks. Anything between the yellow line and the first white line in that box, every ball has to be shot volo. Jose Sets shoots, he gets it, oh, bad luck. Moves to Polino, but gets a good break. His ball stays closer to Polino, maybe. Let's see, the referee's looking. That was a bad break. The U.S. could have scored big there. The referee's marking the positions of ball again to know if there's an error shot where they go back. So let's see what um, whose point it is the referee is measuring now. Okay. Looks like it is the Austrians' point. So bad luck there. Bad luck in USA, but Jose still has another ball to try to get closer. Again, these courts are roughly 87 feet long, so it's a long way to judge the speed of the ball without touching the backboard, because if you touch the backboard, it is no good without hitting another ball, but it looks like a great shot by Jose. Yes, he did score, make the point. So USA is up five to one. But again, folks, this a game of uh, ups and downs. There could be big swings here to move the momentum either way. So I gotta stay focused to keep this up. Okay, Jason throws the Polino. It looks like a little bit different strategy. A little bit closer to the board here. Um, yep, Jason's uh, setting up, taking his time, getting ready to roll, he rolls, okay, referee is uh, getting closer to the board to make sure that his ball does not graze or touch the board, so Jason rolls, that is a fantastic ball against the board, because the Austrians have one way in only, if they could decide to go for point, or they might decide to shoot, just depends what they feel comfortable with, so 
They have made their decision and they are going to go for point here. He rolls the ball. Looks like it's going to pull a little bit towards the board. Let's see if he has the speed to hold it. No, it held up pretty well, but no, at the end there, it has just enough to make the point. So Austrians in. Referee marks. So if you saw the referee with a stick, he made a circular motion over the two balls, which means that that, uh, in international terms, is a bersaglio which means if they decide to rafa the balls that they can hit either or and it is good so it gives uh, the shooter a bigger target to shoot at of course you'd rather hit the opponent's ball clean but gives them a little bit room for error there but looks like jason they decide to go for point you know maybe he can touch bump up his uh his ball and make it really difficult shot for him um, and I think that's what he'll probably do because coming in the outside might be a little difficult yes it looks like that's the way he threw it you know and that's a difficult shot because you need the right speed oh it is coming out look at this great speed by Jason fabulous ball that, that, that is a great shot folks great shot and now of course I believe the uh, Austrians will shoot a Rafa shot here because that's a hard point in that situation to make as he sets up goes he shoots and he hits it but again the Austrians with not not a lot of luck with uh, um, in their way when they're shooting a lot of uh, ricochets that uh, and not work in their favor, but definitely in the U.S. favor. As Jose lines up and uh, he rolls, this should be a pretty easy point for Jose to make since there's quite a bit of room. And yes, that's a, a great ball by Jose. Yeah. Great ball. As you notice, folks, this game uh, pointing is a very delicate and finesse game. It's uh, can be very difficult uh, to adjust the speeds on these courts and uh, so it is a bersaglio now folks so the Austrian is able to either hit the Polino or the point ball so we'll see he shoots and he misses I think he was shooting more for the Polino because he had a ball down at the end uh, and that would have been to their advantage but uh, it did not work out so they have one last ball, and then Jose Balto has one ball. Let's see how they play this ball. All right, he, he rolls the ball. Looks good. It looks really good. That's a fantastic ball by the Austrian. Might be a little hard. It is just a tad hard, but fantastic ball makes it really difficult for Jose to score two but let's see if he can do it here folks okay and Jose rolls the ball looking good it looks like he has some good speed if it comes down just a tad nope just a little firm but great balls played so that is one more point for the US yeah, the score is six to one now. Six for US, one for Austria. So let's see now if they decide to uh, change up the game of where the Polino is going to be placed. Normally, uh, Team USA, from past experiences, they love playing in the middle of the court. And yes, that's going to be played in the middle of the court. And it's an advantage to them sometimes because them knowing these tricky courts, they have some peaks and valleys in it. If the ball's not thrown right, it can take off in another direction. So, see, that's what they're talking about now. They're, they're discussing what line they should take. Um, and uh, they decided, and 
Jason just moves a little over, sets up. And as you noticed, he play, he's playing it left to right here because the court should fall to the right. And it is, as you notice, as he rolls it. My great ball, just a little firm, but it's a good ball, great line. Jason is starting to warm up here, and he's starting to play as his, uh, his potential. As the Austrians team have decided, they are going to shoot the ball. Rafa, he's lining up. He gets set, he's going. Shoots, and yes, that was a good hit, folks. But again, bad break off the board. The Team USA ball has come off the board and still has points, so. Team Austria needs to uh, go. Yes, he, as you see, he lines up. He's lining up a little different than Jason, taking more of a cross-court approach than Jason did, and it looks like it's a, it's a good ball, but it's great speed, yes. Perfect positioning, too. It's in front of the little Polino. Again, that's the perfect ball because as Jose is shooting, there can always be a chance of a ricochet and the Polino moving in their favor. As Jose set, shoots, and he hits it. Great shot by Jose. And uh, it looks like he has two points. He's stuck, as a uh, term we use, he stuck that ball, meaning he kept it close um, to the Polino. Um, so that was a great shot by Jose. Austrian is again taking the same line. He's uh, lagging. That looks like a, it's going to make the point, but it's a little short. Um, a little shorter than the other one, but still made the point, so it's forcing the USA team to make a decision. And uh, yeah, and uh, Jason's going to set up. He believes he can beat this point. Let's see what he does here. He's rolling the ball. Looks very good. Looks like a great ball. Yes, that's a fantastic ball. Yeah, really putting the pressure on Austria. They are keeping Austrians under uh, a lot of stress here with keep making these points. So um, Team USA is playing really well right now. The Austrians just gonna go in and try to beat this point. It's kind of hard when you're shooting all the time to then get up and point, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, it looks like a good ball. Oof, he ricocheted off of his ball. So let's see what happens here. They, what happened here is he hit the stationary ball and his ball broke more than 70 centimeters, which is called a secondary shot. So Team USA would have the option of putting back the ball that was struck, but the ball that was rolled would stay where it's at, but they decide to leave it because it gives Jose plenty of room to get in. And look at this ball, Jose points, and he puts another point in there. That was a fantastic touch. So we are at a score of eight to one here. As we, uh, again, the games are played to 15 points. So a lot of game to go still. The Austrians, I haven't seen a little bit of bad luck and haven't found really the rhythm yet. Um, or it could be nerves of a, uh, you know, big game here. But these are all seasoned professionals, been in these situations multiple of times. So here comes Jason. As he's rolling. Looks a little bit short, but the line would have been great. Yeah, a little bit short, but not a bad ball. Always a ball in front is usually a good thing. Um, the team Austria asked how far it is, and it's a couple of feet away, as they determined, so they will go for point here. Austrian rules, the line looks good. Now it all depends on the speed, I 
again, folks, these courts are lightning fast. And yes, he did make the point. It's hard to judge speed sometimes on these courts just because of the surface. Okay, Jose Boto is going ready to shoot. He's going to Rafa, the point ball, as he called. Sets up, shoots, and he hits. That's a fantastic shot. Another stick shot for Jose. Puts the pressure on Austria. Team USA has two points on the floor right now as Team Austria gets ready to roll. Yes, got the rolls, but this one looks like it took a little bit different of a line. If it can get around, no. He hit Jason's first ball, but it might have snuck in on the back end. Let's see what the referee declares here. Okay, he marked all the balls again, folks. These, the, all the balls are marked just in case there's an arid shot or a movement of a ball. You know, it's easier to put it back in place. So Albert, the referee, is getting down. He's measuring the ball. Uh, he's measuring the stomachs of the ball from the ball to the Polino. Okay, goes over, measures. It's a very tight match, and it looks like he did. The Austrian team did sneak in on the back end, even he, though he hit the ball. So Jose decides he's going to rock for that shot again. Again, dangerous because of ricochet. Let's see what happens. Shoots! Wow! Fantastic shot there. This really puts the pressure on the Austrians here. But they still do have two balls, so they have a few options here. They can point or they can shoot the Polino because they do have two balls at the end with no U.S. balls back there, but they decide to point. Let's see what he does here. Critical ball. He rolls. It looks short. Wow, yes. Yes, short. Let's see if they still have two points. Or oh, he took one away. Albert's, uh, you know, just confirming if it's one or two points. And, and he says it's two points still for the U.S. Okay. Well, the Austrian gets set and he's rolling. Let's see. The line... It's short, I think, here, guys. I think it's a sh yeah, same speed, but maybe it's only one now. Let's see. It's still two that the referee declares. So Jose is instructing Jason uh, a good line to roll, his suggestion. Let's see. Uh, yes, Jason will follow it. And uh, getting set. Let's see if he can put a third point in here. Um, it looks good if it has the right speed. Let's see if it touches because oof, it might be a little hard. Yes, it's a little hard. Great line, just a little too much. But USA does score another two points. So score is 10-1 USA. Let's see. Let's see where they put the Polino now. It gets to become a strategy game of... You know, do you want to, you know, try to limit points for your opponents if they do score? But no, they are going back to their spot in the middle as last time in that situation. Okay, Jason sets up. He's rolling. Again, he's playing left to right because the court carom's a little right, right? And look at that ball, great speed as you see it coming down a little bit. Fantastic ball by Jason. That is that is a Bersaglio again again folks. He is able to hit either or the targets on his Rafa shot, so he does give him a bigger target. So the Austrian is set up and he gets set. Shoots. Yes, and he shoots and he hits the Polino, but again a little bit of a bad break with the ricochet. Polino comes way off the backboard and gives the USA team a lot of room to point in. They're just not getting these bounces here. But again, in a game, it's a long game. It can turn quickly here. So Team USA needs to keep their focus if they want to keep this lead. And 
hopefully win the game, but Jason rolls and looks like a great ball again. Yes, Jason has put two great balls in. At that distance, they're uh, very difficult because the ends of these courts are a little smoother than the middle, so they tend to pick up speed as they get further down the court. Yeah, okay, Team Austria goes. Um, let's see, oof, he's getting close to that board. Referee's getting down. Oof, that was really close. Did not touch him. He put a beautiful ball in there. So Jose, is, I believe he's going to shoot. That's probably his strategy because that is a very tough point to beat. And yes, he is going to rough up the point ball. Sets up and goes. And he shoots. And he hits it, folks. Yes. Fabulous shot. As you see, Jose has so much backspin on his ball. And when he hits it solid, it has so much reaction to it. Um, that's a fantastic shot. Let's see if the Austrians can repeat it. As he gets down, he's rolling the ball. That might be a little firm this time. He took a different line. You, yes, he hit the Polino closer to the ball and could be a secondary. Yes, it's a secondary, so they could move the Polino back or they can leave it where it's at, whatever suits their advantage. Let's see what they're deciding. Jason and Jose are talking about it. And they decide to leave it, so it's all good. We have a new uh, area target here since the Polino moved. Austrian is, yes. So it looks like they are going to shoot. I did not see what he declared, but let's see what happened. No, wow, that was a, that was a bad miss. That you usually don't see misses that drastic by these type of players, but it happens. So let's see if Jose can add to the score here. They have one point as he rolls, trying to put in two. Um, looks like it's a good ball. As you see again, folks, ball's going a little right. And yes, it's a, wow, fantastic point ball. The concentration level right now, these players are fantastic. And uh, brings their US lead to 12 to one. Again, we are playing to 15 points, and they are up. Okay, they're going in back in a similar spot as uh, they did last time coming down this way. They're feeling comfortable that they have that spot down compared to the Austrian team. Let's see what Jason does here. Jason rolls, looks great. All slowed down a little bit, little firm, but it's a great ball still. It's behind the Polino, about a foot and a half away, so it's going good. Let's see what happens here. The Austrians decide to go for point, um, and he rolls, and let's see. Looks good. Speed looks good, line looks good, yeah. Yes, touches the Polino a little bit. Yes, fantastic ball by the Austrians here. They are, uh, that's a great ball, but he did leave a Bersaglio, a Bersaglio here and where he can, um, Jose can hit either or the Polino or their ball. Let's see, so Jose sets up. Gets ready, He's shooting a softer shot than normal. Oof, yep, he hit it, it was a good shot. But he had bad bounce there, like uh, the Austria's been having. They had that ricochet shot, but they still do have two points, it looks like. But not very good. This should be quite easy for the Austrians to uh, make. Let's see how good of a point. Okay. Gunther, their pointer. It's pointing eight points. 
Okay, he gets, he makes the point. It's not great, but again, difficult spot there because you have to be careful not to hit the board with your ball. So let's see what um, what's happening here with uh, Jason and how good of a ball he can throw. Okay, Jason goes. It's leaning toward the board. Let's see. Referee gets down. Looking, looking. Nope. Missed the board. It could be good if it stays. Yes. Fantastic ball, folks, by Jason. Put it in there. So, ball count. Austria still has two balls. Two, one ball for the USA. Let's see. Gunther is going down to talk to his partner. I guess they have made their decision of what they're going to do. And let's see. Oh, okay. He declares he's going to shoot this bolo, folks. So again, the ball is shot in the air. And he must hit 40 centimeters in front of the target ball that he has called, which that is Team USA ball. As he sets up, he shoots, and no, bad shot. He hit his own ball. So Team USA decides to, nope, put that back, and still Team USA ball, and the ball thrown by the Austrian goes out of play. So one ball for the US and one ball for the Austrians. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he rolls. Again, difficult shot because you got to get it between the ball, right speed, and not hit the board. And it looks good. Wow, fantastic shot. Yes, that is not an easy shot to do, especially after you just uh, tried to shoot a ball. So uh, this gives, you know, they're, they're discussing it. It sounds like they're going to shoot the ball, which can be a risky, risky thing. But if it, if it hits it properly, it can go clean. They can make one point. So he shoots. He shoots a soft shot overhand. Hits it. Yes, that was a perfect ball. That's the only way he could have hit it for it to the U.S. To nothing to move. And yes, he hits it, and the score is 13 to one. Team USA is on a roll right now, and let's see if they can keep it up. Okay, again, they're going back to the middle of the court, and it's... They're going to go back in the middle of the court, and uh, but it's a little shorter than last time, it looks like. And Jason rolls, and the ball looks a tad short. Looks like he came up on a shot a little bit that caused it to be a little short. So just a quick update here, folks. In the other uh, quarterfinal match, San Marino and Canada, San Marino is up in the doubles 13-3. So San Marino's winning 13-3 in the doubles against Canada. Now back to this USA-Austrian game. And uh, so uh, the Austrians make the point and uh, Jose decides that this is a hard ball to point to make, so he's going to shoot it rough. Sets up, shoots. Look at the concentration. Whoa! He misses. That is the first miss, I believe, of the game for Team USA on a Rafa shot. So yes, it goes back and his ball goes out of play. Now uh, Jason needs to try to sneak a ball in there. It looks like they're going to try to come up from the left to right again. As we've seen, the balls curve in a little bit. Again, difficult shot because you need the right speed. Yeah. And it looks like it's oof, threw it a little too far right. And yeah. as you saw, it came, came uh, right too far. That's not what he wanted to do. So uh, Jason now is instructing Jason, uh, Jose, I'm sorry, to the where to aim. And let's see if uh, Jose can follow through. It, the line looks great. Now does it have the speed? As you see, it's just coming in. Look at that ball. That's a fantastic ball. Wow. 
guys, and you know, and it's in a perfect spot because the Ostrich's ball is in front, and it's hard to see, so they're probably going to have to shoot at Bolo. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. That's what they're talking about. But it is Versalio. So, again, he is able to hit either the Polino or the point ball if he falls. Oh, it's not Versalio. Wait, they're talking. Maybe it's not Versalio, and I missed that call by the ref. Looks like. He's, no, yes, it is Versalio because he's marking both balls. So he does need to hit the uh, ball or the Polino within that 40 centimeters. And let's see, he shoots. Looks good. He hits it. Fantastic shot by the Austrian team. Simon, he's uh, struggled a little bit, but, you know, again, game is long. Game's never over until the team hits 15, so could be a comeback here because they have uh, room to score three points here if oh, looks hard here doesn't look like he has the right speed let's see what happens here looks a tad long on the screen but did the referee make a call yet no so it looks like he is measuring to see how many points it is nope so it is just one point that ball that came through, through was a little long so, Simone is rolling. Let's see if his speed's any better. Line's the same, but again, it comes in there. It looks good. It looks good. Yes, it is. He had a perfect speed there. As you saw, it just curved nicely in. So, the Austria team has scored two points. So, the score is 13-3 to three for Team USA. Okay, now the Austria team is discussing to see where they would like to play the Polino. I would guess they might decide to play the Polino in the Volo zone, which is between the center line and the D line in that first box. Let's see if that's what they're going to do. Uh, yes, that's what they are decided to do so far. This makes the game a little more difficult because every ball needs to be shot in a Volo shot unless it's a Bersaglio. I know it can be a little confusing, but we'll get through that as the games go along. So come through rolls. Looks a tad long. Yes, yes, yes. So that leaves the door wide open for Jason to make a point and then put uh, Team Austria back on their heels. And let's see how Jason goes. Rolls the ball coming out a little right as the court does as we've seen and but yes he has made the point still had left a little room but it's always better to make the point and let the other team throw as Gunther rolls to Austria let's see if he's corrected his speed from the first ball and it looks like he has yes he has he did score that's that's a decent ball there and uh Let's see what uh, Jason and Jose decide to do. Okay, folks, we have an update on the other quarterfinal before... Oh, let's get back to Jose. He's going to shoot a full shot. See how he does. He shoots. Oof, no good. He did not hit in that 40 centimeters, so... He was short, so now the Austrians decide to put their ball back, and Jose's ball gets out. So the update on the San Marino, Canada. San Marino just won 15-3. So San Marino has one game in hand with two more to go. All they need to do is one more to advance. So back to action here. Um, Jason rolls. He's going to try to make the point. Looks good. The speed looks good. It, yes. Yes. Makes the point. But again, I'm, uh, I'm going to guess that uh, Simone is going to decide to shoot Volo as he has declared to the referee and the refer referee's marking. He's going to set up and, you know, the Team Austria does have the ball advantage. So let's see what uh, he does with this shot. He sets up. Goes, runs, shoots, 
and good. Referee calls it good. So that was a good shot. I see Mon. Here he goes. So now Jose just needs to do the same thing Jason did. Try to get in there and force Team Austria to uh, to make a point. Let's see you know what he does. He rolls. He took a little bit different of a line than Jason did, but the speed looks fantastic here. Yes. So that's a fantastic ball. As you know, Jose is a very accomplished player. He has finished second in worlds, fourth in the world. So we'll go through their bio in a little while. But let's but let's uh, focus on this game where getting some good shots at one after another here. So okay, so uh, Simone has decided to shoot Volo. So. He could take both black balls out if he hits it just right. And score ball. Nope. So he did hit the point ball. So Austria does score one point. So it is uh, 13 to 4 still advantage Team USA here. So let's see if um, what what happens here. Okay. So yes. Team Austria decides to keep the Polino in the photo zone. They, they feel that this is their best chance to get back in the game and keep Team USA you know, struggling a little bit here. You know, this game, every ball counts. You make one bad mistake and uh, it can cost you, as you see. You know, uh, an old saying I have, if, uh, if you can score one point every frame, you're going to win the game, right? So that's the goal for Team Austria. You know, Gunther has pointed in a really good ball there. So let's see. So I believe Jose called the Polino. So he's going to try to rough the Polino, which is allowed. And no, he missed. He tried a gentle shot and he missed. Here. So now that really puts pressure on, you know, Team USA. So Jason sets. He's going to try to get close here. Let's see the focus. And um, getting close to that ball, he hit the board. Oh, that is that is a bad mistake because now that ball is no good. Team Austria decided to take that ball out, so now the USA team has two balls. The Austria's four balls that can be in play. That that is uh, that can be a big swing here, guys. That can you know. It can really give Team Austria the confidence it needs to make a comeback. Um, let's see what they decide to do. Let's see if they're playing uh, risky and aggressive. Yeah, they are. They're going to try to shoot the Polino. I'm guessing he's going to try to, you know, hit it and go down. Yes, and he hits it this time. Let's see. Ooh. And wow, Team USA just got a break with a lucky bounce in the back. That is an action that, that that worked out really well for Team USA. But again, Team USA only has one ball. To Austria has three balls in hand, so always advantage them. Uh, so we'll see what uh, Team Austria has, where uh, how far the point is, and the referee has designated where they need to be for point. And uh, Gunther gets ready to uh, set to roll. And, Let's see what he does here. Okay, rolls. He's watching it. Let's see if he has the right speed. It looks like, but you know, they, they don't stop there. It's it's smoother there, so wow. So yes, it was a little long, but he got fortunate where he was able to tap Team USA ball. Uh, let's um let's see what Jason does. Jason's last ball here, so um, he's taking his time, he's concentrating, waiting for the referee. He's getting set. Yes, and he goes and he rolls. Let's see. It looks a little firm at first glance, but again, he, he gave it a long, long loop. Let's see if it took away some of that speed. And no, no, just a tad long. So. Team Austria has one point 
in hand with two balls left to throw. They could score three points if uh, uh, Simone gets uh, rhythm here pointing. Okay, he rolls, let's see. Let's see if it has speed. It looks, might be a little short. And he is fortunate for Team USA. He was just a tad short, so he's one more ball to try to score one more point. And uh, let's see here. Okay, he took a little bit different of a line this time through, a little bit more towards the board. Let's see if it will play out. And let's see, did it go? Okay, good, he did not touch the board. That's a beautiful ball, it looks like. Came in perfectly, so yes, Team Austria just scores two. So again, it's uh, USA 13 to six for Austria. They are making a, a little comeback here. Team USA needs to regroup, regroup a little bit and, you know, forget about the few mistakes that were made and but again, Team Austria, ooh, it looks like he might have, might have made a mistake with throwing the Polino. He put the Polino in the Rafa zone this time, but let's see how that plays out. I'm sure he's trying to keep the ball a little bit short of the Polino, so the Polino, his ball stays in the Volo zone, so it makes it a little more difficult for Team USA because they have to shoot Volo. Let's see if he can accomplish that, but no. Yeah, he put it in the Rafa zone. Again, a Rafa shot is, uh, if you haven't noticed, is a little bit easier than shooting a ball volo. So, but Team USA decides they can beat that point. They feel confident. Again, it's Jose and Jason's home court here, and uh, they know how, uh, how they go. Let's see if he has the right speed, the right line he has. Let's see if he has the right speed. It looks looking good. That's looking really good. Yes, and he does. Big ball by Jason right there. And yeah, and Team Austria doesn't have much of a choice here, but uh, try to do the same thing. Just a little better than Jason did. Let's see if uh, he can accomplish that. He's rolling, he's following the ball, but yeah, it looks good. Let's see what it does. It Yes. Okay, so that's a great ball again, and he left that ball in the Volo zone. As you see, his ball is on the white line. So that is considered a ball that he has to shoot Volo. So let's see what Team USA decides to do. Okay, they, they called, they told the referee they're going to try and take a Volo shot. Let's see if Jose can uh, do what he wants to do here. Okay, as you see, he's uh, lining up. Takes his normal step, shoots, good shot. Jose's ball that he shot jumped off the court, but okay, everything is good. Jose's ball jumped off the court, that's out of play, but it looks like it's still Austria's point. So Jason needs to point in. Uh, again, there's a ton of room, so Jason just needs to make the point to keep put the pressure on. Uh, uh, the Austrian playing Simon uh, to uh, beat it. Let's see how this goes here. Okay, Jason's going, he's rolling. It looks a little fast. Touched the Palino, but that's a good ball. Yes, it, it looked a little faster than I thought, but it uh, turned out to be a really good ball, that is. Again, it's hard for a shooter to become a lagger just because two different motions so let's see if uh, oh okay looks like uh, maybe no okay he was just uh, drying off his hand Simone is going to set up to go for point to see if he can um, beat this let's see what happens again they're flirting with the board here so let's see if uh, what happens the referee gets down no nope. gonna come off and it looks like a great ball by the Austrian player that's uh, that's a fantastic ball so again Austria has the ball advantage right so uh, team USA Jose is rolling his last ball let's see what he can do here okay Jose rolls the ball if it has the speed it looks good 
It looks good. Yes, look at that ball. That is fantastic. But it's a Rafa shot. And if they decide, to, and it's a Bersaglio with all three. So if he calls the Team USA ball, the Austrian can shoot any three, the Polino, Team USA, or his ball. He could still shoot and maybe care, have a, um, a ricochet where he takes out two blacks and he keeps two points. Maybe he's going to go for a point. Let's see. That's what they're discussing right now. You know, this is crucial because they don't want to lose the Polino. They need to uh, keep the momentum up to keep the game going. So let's see what... Uh, okay, so Simone decides that he's going to shoot the ball volo. It gives him a better chance of hitting Team USA balls clean without moving anything else. But can still take away the Team USA's uh, other ball that's close there. And if that would be the case... They could score possibly ability of two. So let's see. This is not an easy shot, though, because if he does by chance hit his ball, he can leave Team USA with two points. So he sets up. Look at the focus and concentration. Shoots. Yes, he hits it, but bad break. Like I said, he hit the right ball, but took away his ball, too. So Team USA does score. Okay, so... We are at 14-6, Team USA. Team USA needs one more point. We are playing the 15 points. So let's see if they can finish them off here in this frame. And again, Team USA goes into their familiar spot, center court. Let's see if uh, Jason can really put the hammer down with this ball and put a good ball and keep the pressure on Team Austria. Because now the pressure's on them because there's no mistakes. One more point and Team USA wins. Oh, Jason rolls, but it looks a little firm, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's still a good ball. Just probably not exactly where he wanted it, but it's a decent. Again, stressful now for Team Austria because they have no room for error. One mistake can cost them the game here, right? So every ball's crucial. Okay, come through rolls. Team Austria looks like a good ball. And again, they're playing that little left to right scenario. And that's fantastic. That's a, a, it's a, a great ball in this time of the game, frame of the game, pressure point. Again, these players are all, all experts. They've played in multiple world championships, U.S. championships, European championships. So. You know, the pressure a normal player would feel, they might not feel it as much. And, you know, that's a clutch ball right now because it really makes Team USA think what they're going to do because that's a hard shot to shoot Rafa, but it is possible, especially with the skill level of Jose Bato's shooting. But, you no, know, they decide to go for point. They feel that the best opportunity here is to see where Jason can put the ball and then maybe shoot, uh, if he doesn't make the point, maybe shoot a volo. Let's see. Oh, is it going to hold again? Left to right, it's holding. Speed just a tad firm. Great line. It held the line, but he was just a little firm there. Okay, what's uh, Jose going to decide? What's Team USA? I think they're just going to play it safe here. They're going to try to limit the damage, maybe. Um, he's going to point, try to get it close, and see what happens. Um, and, okay, Jose uh, points. I like the line a little bit. Again, left to right. If the speed, no, a little, no, a little, not far left enough. And as you saw, it came down hard and missed its target. Now, they got to be careful because... Uh, they need a ball in front here if I was them because you want to make it difficult uh, for them to get in. Okay, that looks like a better ball by Jose. Even if it's short, it's okay because it's in front. Going to be in the front gives them a different view of the game. It's not wide open for them. So, again, one little wrong turn of your hand or something and 
the ball goes off and uh, you never know what can happen. So let's see what uh, Team Austria is going to do. They're asking how far balls are just to see if they can come up with a decision. And um, again, they're measuring. He's asking the referee how far the Team USA's ball is. So. Yes, they decide they're going to try to go for point with their balls. Let's see if they can put, Gunther can put another ball in play. Okay, Gunther well, he takes a different line this time, as you see. If he has the right speed, the line looks good. The line looks really good. If he needs the speed, though, as we saw, yes. That's a great ball. Two points, Gunther played it beautifully. He played it for the closest U.S. ball. He just nudged it to make two. Let's see if Simone can uh, do the same thing here. He's rolling. Again, these are big points for them to get back into the game. Four points would bring him to ten. Line looks good. Just does he have that speed? Yes, he does. Three points for Team Austria here. Wow, this is a bad frame for Team USA. But again, not, don't take anything away from the Austrians because they've they've pointed three beautiful balls so far, and it could be four. Again, taking that line, playing it a little right to left, or left to right. I'm sorry, folks. Um, and it goes. Does that have the speed? Mm, I don't know. Let's see what the referee calls. They got three points for sure. Um, that, I don't know. So they knocked all four? I don't know. Let's see. He didn't make a call. Oh, there was some confusion there between uh, the ref and Team USA. Not quite sure what the call was. So let's see what the, the referee marks here. Three points, so Team Austria scores three. So the team, the score now is 14 to nine. This is becoming a very competitive game, as you know I talked about in the beginning. This uh, game of swings up and down. You know, Team USA needs to um, calm down a little bit, get their uh, get their mojo back, like they were rolling pretty good. But again. Austria has the Polino, and they decide to, play, you know, play in the Volo zone. It seems like it's their strength compared. Um, so, uh, Gunther sets up, and he's rolling. Let's see if he can put another good ball in. Uh, the line looks good. Let's see if he has the speed. Okay, yes, that's a, that's a great ball, too, right in front like that, about a foot away. It's um, it's a good ball, and and there to see us. Jose decides, signals to the referee that he's going to uh, try a volo shot. Let's see, big ball here, and you know the stress level is ramping up with such a close game now. Such so shoots, and he misses. He was just high, just went over the top of the ball. Great direction, but just high. And, uh, let's see what happens here. So one ball gone for uh, Team USA. Out of play. Yeah, I think they're just going to try to go for point and see if they can sneak a ball in there and force Austria's hand to make a play. Let's see what Jason does here. Okay, Jason rolls. Let's see if it's gonna go on the other side. Oof, it hits the Austrian ball. Uh, everything, he's measuring this to make sure he did not move the ball more than the length of the stick, which is 70, 70 centimeters, um, because that would be an invalid play if he did. Um, so everything is good, but uh, Team Austria still has the point. And it's a bit closer than it was before, but it's more open, so it's a different visual than it was before. I know Team USA is talking it over. It looks like Jose is getting ready. He's probably going to shoot the Polino. Yes, he calls the Polino, it looks like. 
See if he can hit and get a good bounce again. Is it the nice shoots? He hits it. And let's see where the Polino's not as lucky of a bounce this time. But he did make the point um, and forces uh, Team Austria to point and use one of their balls and see. Again, tricky spot because Polino's close to the board. You want to put the best ball you can, but you can't hit any of the boards here. So, uh, gone through rolls and sets. Let's see if we can put another good ball in. As he's rolling, speed looks good to make uh, make the point. And uh, yes, he made the point. But again, that's there's a lot of room. But he just wanted to make the point. I'm assuming that's going through his mind. Make the point and let Team USA use their final ball. Keep the pressure on Team USA. Uh, you know, uh, Austria still has two balls. Let's see what Jason can do here. This is a pressure ball. Again, home court. Let's see what he does. Ball is getting close to the board, but good. Let's see if it keeps rolling. It might be a tad short. And it is. He just comes up short. Okay, so... Let's see what happens here, what uh, Austria does, it looks like. You know, there's telling Simone to come on the outside, giving him the line to point, because Gunther is the pointer on the team, and he probably has the best feel compared to uh, Simone. So let's see. Lines him up. They're talking it over, and uh, he's getting set. Let's see again. Let's see if he can put some points in. He's rolling. Yeah, good line. Let's see. It's all about the speed here. It's all about, but it might be a tad short, but they keep rolling. Yes, he's a tad short. Wow. Usually in this situation, you know, uh, you don't want to be short because that, that little short balls will kill you on the uh, uh, blocking of the road, as we say. Let's see what he does with this one. Let's see if the same mistake happens again. Uh, he's good. That looks good. And if he has the speed, but he doesn't. Wow. Team USA just got a break here. With uh, they, the Austria has a chance to score three, and they only score one. So the score is 14-10. Uh, Team USA still up here, and uh, let's see here. They need to, uh, you know, see if they can uh, stop the bleeding here. Austria has reeled off a ton of points here. To, you know, Team USA has been had 13 points for a long while, then scored one, and now Team Austria is just making their comeback slowly. Let's see again, Paulino in the full zone. Uh, Gunther just has that spot down. His speed is, is right on. Uh, that one might be a little offline, but the speed is pin high for golf reference there. Um, you know, let's see what Jason can do here. Again, he looks like he's going to play it left to right. Left to right, if he has the speed, it looks like a good ball. And wow, pressure ball there by Jason. That's a fabulous ball. Great time for that ball. Now the referee's uh, looking if it's Bersaglio. But no, it's, it's a one, so he has to shoot this ball. Volo, um, it can only hit the black ball first. So let's see what... Uh, Simon does here. Simon, if he uh, can pressure point because Team USA only needs one point here to win the game. Sets up, shoots, looks, ooh! Just off to the left. He, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a tough one. So that uh, Austria has no other choice. They have to shoot again because it's game point for Team USA. But maybe they might try to shoot Pauline. No. Nope, same shot. They're going to shoot Volo for the uh, Team USA black ball. He goes, shoots, and that one he gets. That one he 
gets, but let's see how the back wall plays here. Again, now Team USA has three balls to one, and yes, as expected, Jose is going to shoot. Um, Austria's ball Vogel is going to have to hit the Vogel shot. Let's let's see if Jose uh, can execute this shot again. Pressure moments, tough shot, shooting at Vogel. Shoots, yes, and he hits it, and he makes the point. Looks like, yep, and well, if it stops, let's see. Spoke to see that he made the point, so, oh, Austria's in a tough situation here, and yes, he is going to try to Paulino because Team USA is two balls and the point. That's his only shot is for knocking the Paulino out to restart the frame or not get close to his ball. Shoots, and he misses. Wow, what a game. Team USA wins 15-10. Nice. It became a very competitive game as expected to be because these are two high quality teams. So Team USA pulled it out. So they now won the doubles game and they now will have to play a singles game. So what's going to happen here? There's going to be a singles game played on court seven, which we we're just watching on in court eight. So Jason will be in one court and Jose will be in the other court against one of the Austrian players. And Team USA needs to win one more game for the victory to move on. So it's been a very exciting match. So we have Ian back We're here. Back. Yes. What? A comeback. Yes, what a comeback. I mean, it was here. almost like match point for forever, forever, it felt like, right? And again, going through this, this it, game's never over until, <laughs> yeah, you got goosebumps here. Your hair standing up Here's on your a, arms. It right? was. It Pretty was, exciting game. It huh? was. So, it was one of those where you thought, okay, this is going to conclude pretty quick. Yeah, and it then looked it like a blowout. Completely flipped. Yeah, you just never know here. I mean, it's, it's the advantage. It's a game of highs and lows, emotion. You know, who keeps them in check and the strategy of the Polino. You saw the Austrians decided to play a different game. They decided to play in that first box, the Volo box, right? Yeah. That's where they felt comfortable. Gunther, their pointer, was putting in beautiful balls. And it's it's amazing how when they were trying to clear, mm -hmm. right, and they missed by just a hair. Yes. I mean, it is it's, this. It's, it's a game of hair. I mean, just uh, Just, yeah, I mean... It's, I mean, it's it's that was the match. That's I mean, the it match. Basically, yeah. flipped yeah, it. Yeah, Gunther, Gunther had the shoot, and that was the first time he shot our game. So it's hard. You know, you're a pointer, you're a pointer, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you have to shoot to save the game. Yeah, it's it's hard. And you know, give him credit. He was there. He just missed it to keep the game alive. But give credit yeah. to Team USA, right? They, yeah, it, they uh, were able to. They were calm. Yep. You can tell they're a veteran team mm -hmm. because. It, no nerves. It, well, I mean, you have nerves, but, you they have nerves, but they didn't show. They didn't show it, right? They're very <laughs> calm and collective, you know. Yeah. And that comes with experience. Again, both teams they have very international experience. They've yeah. been in these moments, so yeah. they, they are they are used to keeping their inner peace, kind of, or their outer peace <laughs> and inner chaos, <laughs> however yeah. you want to put it, right? Exactly. You and know. and the the poise of each team, the poise of each team, the way they are. Um, reacting to the situation at hand and the teamwork. I mean, it, th this game really showed, the match that we just finished showed the teamwork and the communication yes. and knowing each other's strengths Absolutely. and working and, together. And that's a benefit. It. And Jose and Jason have been playing years together, right? Yeah. They, they, they're they very accomplished players here, won many tournaments here and overseas in yeah. Europe and South America. And, and that shows, and it, and it brings, you know, it gives your confidence as a partner. Yeah. If you've played with that person, you know what that person can do, and you, it, it's uplifting as a, as a partner. And you could see that in real time because it's like if there was a, a missed roll, like especially the finesse shots, mm -hmm. it's like the team you know, teammate would roll right and just say, I right. got it. And it got it right. And it's got to tuck it right in. It's and the teamwork, and you didn't, and you don't see, you know, like some sports, you know, frustration <laughs> shows on the face, right? You didn't see any of that no. from either team. No. Either team. And Austria could have very easily gave up. 
you know, down 13-1 in the game, they could have they could have said, okay, you know, let's let's take our luck with the next two, but they didn't. They kept fighting because these games are very important. You know, they're up one. Team USA is up one now. They have to sweep the singles to advance. Really? Yeah, so Austria has a lot of pressure on so Austria. So where are we at here? We, we saw okay. that um, San Marino, yep. I think they took the singles, yes. or the so doubles earlier. San Marino took the doubles. So they moved on. So, they moved, so they're up one on Canada, right? Okay. Now Canada's playing, but it looks can, like they're only playing one I'm not sure, match. Joey, if we can swing over uh, some of our cameras, so we're just kind of waiting yeah. for our... Yeah, they're playing on court nine right now. Okay, so it's two and it's, over. And it's, uh, it's the singles of uh, San Marino and Canada. It looks like if, uh, I'm from trying here, kind of see, Canada see is I red, think it's so it Canada's red, so it's 3-1 for San Marino. So again, Canada needs to win both, and yeah. that's a daunting task yes. when you're playing San Marino. They're a very and great team. And the way they've been playing yep. the, yesterday, they've they, had, had some great matches. Yes, they came out of a group of of top-notch, you know, talent where they had to be focused. And yeah. they've played, I think, I think they've played the the longest game. I think their one game took like two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. You know, That's amazing. So. And to, to stay focused for that length of time, and we see all the action here going on. There's Canada and San Marino there, two mm -hmm. lanes over. Yes, yeah, so it looks like Canada just tied it up. So it looks like three to three. So Right. And again, it goes back to the... It's dynamic. it's dynamic. You can't sit back and go, okay. You, you walk away, and, go yeah, get a and snack, and come back and go, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is a whole different game. You know, it, it, yeah. it is, and that's why I fell in love with this game. You know, yeah. I, I started when I was seven years old playing this game, and I won't tell you how old I am and how many years <laughs> I've been playing, but a long time. And it, it just, once you play it, it's just so addicting, and the competitive juices. Yeah. You know, and, and the if, as you notice, there's older players and there's younger players. This is a game. It doesn't matter age or gender. Everybody can be competitive at yep. if you work at it and play and if you have those competitive juices, right? Absolutely. You yeah. Know, and, and and hopefully that's what we're showing. And, you know, <laughs> and people will want to come in and well, yeah. to the Palazzo and then see this beautiful take facility it up or and anywhere else, yes, wherever they're watching. You're round. You, you know, don't have to. Round, right? <laughs> you don't have to wait for the, You know, <laughs> a lot, that's a lot of things. People, they don't understand. There's indoor courts, really? Yeah. Where? You know? Yep. They're, they're used to outdoor backyard or a park, you know, courts or something. So, and, and we have a shot of the facility here. Yes. And you can see, I mean, well lit. It's, uh, it's really, really nice. Yes, and so I think there's 10. There, the Palazzo has 10 international size courts, yeah. courts right? It's a uh, fantastic venue. The food is amazing uh, and wonderful. That's right. You forget about the food. The food. I mean, they, there's a restaurant it, here, right? It, it, they come, it, you know, and it, we've been, me, I was a referee all week, you know, for the first two days. Keeping and now, us uh, they, uh, nourished. Yes, <laughs> they kept us well nourished, right? No lack of food and, you know, and uh, it's been a wonderful yeah. tournament. Just seen some great bocce. Well, so wonderful far. tournament and, uh, you know, the owner's putting this together yes. and, uh, and treating us so well and yeah. it's been a great partnership and and again thanks yeah. to the sponsors we can't oh, say enough i mean these without the sponsors we couldn't have done any of this absolutely. right i mean absolutely uh, it, uh, it's 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 yes yeah, special thanks to all the sponsors well, let's see um Joey, um, I'm not sure where we're going from here. This is live, yes. right? So, so I, do we, we want to run the uh, what happened on Wednesday? Uh, the on TV cameras were at uh, the kickoff. Oh, at the kickoff. So yes. yeah, we uh, have, Let's uh, see some footage there, maybe. Okay, so it looks like we're queuing it up okay. and uh, just give us a heads up. But yeah, it was a great, a great uh, festive atmosphere yes. with everybody here. Okay, well, or, or we'll step away, take a peek at what happened on Wednesday in the kickoff. Uh, uh, bash, as they say. So yes. uh, take a look at this. On the evening of Wednesday, July 20th, Palazzo de Bacci in Orient Township hosted the opening ceremony for the 2022 International Invitational Bocce Tournament. 20 players representing 10 countries were introduced to the crowd and the media in attendance, and each team was escorted by members of the Power Company Kids Club in Pontiac. Putting an event like this together, having 10 countries come from afar, safe and sound, was a task in itself, so we are thrilled they are here. We went through an invitation process. We wanted to pick the best players from afar to be here for a very fierce competition applying international rules, which is a little different than most people come here to Plaza and want to play socially. 
these players here are the best of the best, and they all are wanting to win our grand prize, which I don't even know if I mentioned, it's $10,000 for the first place prize. The facility last hosted an event like this in 2018. Then, like most businesses, they were forced to close their doors in 2020 due to the pandemic. Organizers celebrated the return of the tournament with 75 games taking place over three days. Teams will compete in the finals on Saturday to determine who will be crowned champion and claim that $10,000 cash prize. When you create a tournament, these people come afar. They don't want to get play a couple games and get knocked out. They want to have fun, but they also want to have an opportunity, many opportunities to stay in it. So that's why there's so many games. That's why we did a division set up a certain way. So they're going to go home and say we played a lot of bocce. Among the sponsors who helped make this tournament possible was Oakland County. Several representatives of the county attended the opening ceremony. First of all, we are in this incredible facility, an international bocce tournament to be able to take place for people all over Oakland County to celebrate. It is being talked about around the globe. This is an opportunity, I mean, to promote tourism, to promote, I mean, support our local businesses, and as well as like, support this incredible sport. It means that Oakland County's on the map. I mean, we have the best bocce players from 10 countries around the world coming to Orion Township in Oakland County for this tournament. And we're getting exposure all over the world for all the great things that we have, including Palazzo de Bacci. So excited. This area really needs this kind of an event. We're very grateful to Commissioner Ginjal for making this happen, and Commissioner Woodward and the whole Board of Commissioners. A very exciting time. The 34,000 square foot facility opened its doors in 2004 when owner Anthony Battaglia wanted to create a place for friends and family to play bocce and enjoy great food. The public is invited to attend the tournament and cheer on your favorite country. There is no admission fee. For more information, visit palazzodebacci.com. In Orion Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News. All right, back here, you saw the action and the interviews with all those movers and shakers to get this facility up and running and this tournament going for 2022. You saw some of the footage was from 2018. We know what happened in between 2018 and 2022. We had a little shutdown around the planet, so we're glad to be back in action with this tournament in 2022. And thank, again, all of our sponsors and uh, Palazzo de Bacci for hosting this fantastic event. So we're just waiting. Um, Leo's out checking to see where we're at here for our next match, but we're going to take a brief time out. We'll keep the stream going. Just stay tuned. I'm Ian Locke for ONTV. We'll be back momentarily with match number two. It'll be uh, U.S. and Austria singles next. All right, I had to make sure... Okay, that's it. Let's go to a break. <laughs>
Okay, everybody, welcome back. We had, took a little bit of break, and now we are getting ready for the first singles of uh, Austria USA on the court. All right, yeah. I'm going to let you go. Gonna let go. Uh, Thanks, they, they, Ian, and they're we'll getting talk ready a to go. Later, yeah. uh, singles, how exciting is this? Have a good, uh, good match, okay. uh, Leo, and I'll see you at the end. Yeah, okay. okay. Thanks, Ian. So we have uh, Jason against uh, Gunther playing the first singles game. Again, Team USA won the first game. Um, and now uh, they're up one game in a three-game match. If Jason does win this game, he, they, Team USA will advance to the semifinals. So Gunther rolls. Again, they start the game in the middle of the court um, on the dot. And uh, Gunther threw a beautiful ball. And it is a bare salary. So Jason decides to shoot a Rafa shot. Where he can shoot either or to hit. Oof. Well, that's the first shot of a, in a game. Uh, you know, Jason was the pointer in the doubles game, so he's coming in a little cold, but so is Gunther. So this, that should, the hitting should be interesting. It might take them a little while to get warmed up. But Jason decides he's going to try to shoot the ball again, and he does. And he shot more for the Polino that time, as you saw. He shot that one open hand, so... Um, the ball has a, a forward rotation, so it will travel uh, all the way down. So uh, he does shoot the Paulino. That was a good shot. I just can't see where it ended up. But Gunther is going for points, so I'm guessing there's a little bit of room. Um, yes, okay, so Gunther rolls. And uh, let's see, okay, so there's a little bit of room. Uh, Jason's ball's in the middle of the backboard, and the Paulinos uh, to uh, our left on the screen, and Gunther puts in a beautiful ball at that distance again. The courts are roughly 7, 87 or 88 feet long, so um, that's a long way to be that precise. Uh, the skill level of these athletes are... Um, quite uh, remarkable. So uh, Jason is uh, going to shoot that ball. He, you know, he decides he's going to rough for the point. So he's setting up um, and he's uh, going and he looks like he's going to do a soft shot. As you saw, he took something off to come off the board. Maybe that oof, he passed right in between. So, uh, yeah, so Jason has two missed shots with two balls out of play. Um, to, uh, Gunther played two balls. Uh, he has holding point. So Jason, let's see what Jason decides to do. If he's going to try to, uh, you know, cuddle it up, make it difficult for Gunther. Or, uh, oof, it might be hard. It's, oh, wow, that's a bad mistake. He, I'm sure he just wanted to be a little shorter, but he rolled and touched the backboard without hitting another ball. So that ball is invalid and out of place. So this makes it a little easier for Gunther to score multiple points. But let's see, again, difficult uh, shot. It looks good. Um, referee looks and he is going to mark the ball. And he's going to measure to see if he has two or one. And let's see what the referee is. Uh, verdict is. Okay, there we get a better view of what the referee is doing here. Um, okay, it looks like it's pretty close. Uh, it might the way it looks it looks like he Gunther was a little short so he only has one point so he was a little short no, no, no. he was a little short so uh, Gunther's just gonna go in see if he can put one more point so Jason uh, kind of tad lucky there with uh, one less point on the board for uh, the Austrian team um, and uh, here he comes. Uh, that speed looks a little bit better. Let's see what happens, though, because he's going to touch. Maybe that gave him enough 
for two points. So Team Austria starts off the match with uh, two, two points. Okay. So just a little update on the Team Canada against um, San Marino uh, in their doubles, first doubles. Team Canada is down. San Marino's winning seven to four, but again, all games are to 15. And if uh, we, the viewers saw the first game, uh, the game's not over until uh, the team hits that 15 mark because uh, the Austrians made a, a great comeback against Team USA in the doubles. So, okay, back to action here. Uh, Austria played the Polino uh, a little longer than they were in the doubles. Uh, not sure if it's because he's more comfortable in his shooting abilities in his Rafa compared to Volo. But let's see. So, uh, Gunter rolls. It's a decent ball, but it should be uh, an easier point for Jason to make. Again, home court for Jason. And this court has been reading uh, left to right. Uh, when we're going down that way, and yes, Jason, what a fantastic ball Jason puts in there. Um, uh, now, Gunther, I would have guessed that he's going to shoot Rafa. Again, it is Bersaglia, where the two balls are close enough to hit, and he can hit either Polino or Ball. He shoots, and he hits. Let's see what happens with the ricochets down at the end, but it looks like it worked at the... Austria's favor here, and Austria has the point, it looks like. Uh, let's just confirm with the referee. And yes, the referee, so Jason lining up, and he's uh, getting ready to roll. Mm. That, that looks um, a little hot, a uh, little fast, but no, maybe not. Let's see if he touches anything, and if he doesn't, okay. Uh, it's getting close to the end. Nope. Good good ball. That was a good ball. He scored. He uh, rolled and didn't touch the back end. So Jason has the point. So uh, Gunther from Team Austria needs to uh, go in and try to get closer here. Let's see what uh, the roll. So he's rolling. Let's see. Uh, the speed looks pretty good from this angle. Uh, let's see, he's going to get there. Uh, yeah, it keeps rolling down there again. It's a little smoother down at the end. So the balls uh, take a little more time to stop. But he's, uh, the referee, uh, Albert, uh, he graciously came, donated his time here. He's uh, from Montreal, Canada. Um, so he is uh, measuring. Let's see who's the point, and he refer and he declares that the Austrian team has the point. He was successful in getting the point. So Jason's up. Uh, he's rolling. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Uh, again, it's all about the speed. He might look a little. He's a little short here so yeah he just was a little hesitant there so he's a little short so team monster still has the the point jason's last point ball that he's rolling uh and he rolls it and let's see if he made the correction uh it looks good um oh but it's taken a weird turn and it's slowed down all of a sudden that was a weird reaction on the court, so it was short again, and Austria has the point. Let's see if Gunther had, can put in another point. This is his last ball. And then again, a difficult shot because you got to keep it between the board and the U.S. ball, and you are not able to hit the board. And that got really close, but the referee says... It was good, it didn't touch, so let's see if he had enough, but it was a measure the first time and that was a little bit shorter, so let's see. Just one, so Gunther was just a little short on that, so the score is 3-0 to zero, Team Austria. Okay. 
down thrower again. Since he scored the point, he has the advantage of throwing to Polino. And uh, he's been keeping it on that side of the court when he has it. It just seems Team USA has struggled a little bit on that end, and he's been a little more comfortable. So, but uh, <clears throat> he rolls the ball. It's a decent ball, but it's uh, it's a beatable ball for Jason. Um, so let's see if uh, he can just sneak one in there uh, and uh, force the action on Austria to make a play. You know that's a little that's a little hot, a little long. It's. Um, it's, uh, Jason hasn't found his rhythm that he had in the first game. Again, we took a little bit of a break and it takes some time to get warmed up again. And uh, so, again, he rolling a great line, but still looks a little long. And he is, he did not make that point. And it's quite unusual, but uh, Let's see, you know, Jason needs to do, make this here because he's at a disadvantage now with uh, three balls played and Austria having a three ball advantage, three to one in ball advantage. But this one looks good. He has corrected his two previous mistakes and put it in a great spot. Um, it's a difficult shot for Rafa because it it's, has, the, he has his ball in front, but he's going to try. He's going to take a Rafa shot. Let's see. Well, this goes, he shoots, and he hits a fantastic shot by Gunther. Um, so Austria has the point. Jason is rolling his last ball. Let's see if he can duplicate that last shot. It's rolling, the line is good, but the speed is, is a little short this time. He overcompensated just a tad, and he did not make the point. So, again, Austria, with two balls in hands, has a possibility of scoring three points as if he's able to put the next two balls in. All right, he took a little bit different uh, path. And let's see if the ball holds its line or is going to hit. The, oof, very close, but to hit in the black, but he just snuck in there, and so Austria has two points right now with one ball to play. Gunther lines it up. Uh, he's pointing. Let's see. He might be a little bit short. And let's see what the referee calls two points. So it's two points for Austria. So that brings the score five to zero for Team Austria. Uh, Gunther is off to a great start here. Uh, he's, uh, it looks like he hasn't lost his rhythm that he had from the uh, last game. And uh, okay, this is, uh, he decided to play the pulling a little bit long. Um, let's see, uh, what he does here. Okay, that ball is a good line. Gonna tail into the board a little bit, but then come back out to your right. He has a great speed. That's a fantastic ball. Gunther is, uh, po is pointing really well and keeping pressure on Jason right now. Um, Jason is, um, Gonna shoot again. It's Bersaglia, which the referee called, which he can shoot either the ball or the plane. When he shoots Rafa, it's great shot by Jason. He sticks the ball right next to the Polino. He replaced it almost where the Austrian ball was. So that's a fantastic shot for Jason. He needed that, you know. So let's see what the Austrian Gunther from Austria decides to do here. I'm assuming he will probably shoot also. And it's Bersani also, so Gunther has the option for Polino or Bell. And he was aiming more for the Polino, and that's a strategy because he had a ball down there and uh, he would have had two points, but he missed. So now the pressure is on for him. The point. A good ball. 
and where uh, Jason has uh, two balls advantage to Gunther. Okay, he's short. Wow, two bad air throws from Gunther. Very unexpected here by him, um, a veteran player like himself. So let's see if he can shake those two last balls off. And okay, Gunther rolls and Gunther short again. But at least, it, it, uh, as we say, it blocked the road. It makes it a little bit more difficult for Jason to get in, especially the way this court is playing from the, as we're going down that way, left to right. And uh, But if anybody can do it, Jason can, just because it's his home court. Let's see if he can sneak it in there. You see how that ball's just turning. He played it perfectly. So Jason has two points. So let's see. Jason, you know, puts three or four points in here. He's right back in it. Okay, Jason goes. He, he played a little bit further to the right. Let's see if it has the speed. He might be a little... Yes, Jason, he, this one, he made it a little short. He's a tad short there, but that's okay. He has two points with one more ball to roll, and uh, maybe he can put a third point in there. Jason plays again a little bit more to the right, uh, but if he has the right speed, he still might make the point, and the referee, I believe, signaled three points. So that's uh, a good way to get back into the game. Uh, the score is five to three for Team Austria. Uh, and Jason, let's see where Jason decides to play the Polino. If he's going to stick with the center of the court, or if he decides to play somewhere different. Okay, no. Looks like he's going to go to his staple uh, in the middle of the court, a little bit longer. That's where, again, they feel the most comfortable and knowing the courts, it helps. Jason is uh, setting up. Let's see if he can keep the momentum going here. Uh, well, he's going to roll again. The line's a little off. Uh, the speed would have been decent if he was just a tad straighter, but again, Pressure moment sometimes, you know, we all, the littlest glitch in your mechanic can throw the ball off. Uh, very similar to uh, putting in golf here when you're pointing, uh, your hand's just the putter. Um, so Gunther rolls, but Gunther made a game of a break. He's short and uh, he left the point for Jason. Wow, Gunther has played three short balls, and it's very unusual. Um, let's see here what he does with this ball. Oh, he might be short again. This is uh, this is incredible. Actually, uh, this usually does not happen. Um, but uh, Albert isn't the referee is measuring, but no, he is short. So Jason with a um, decent ball, not great, um, has uh, Gunther throwing his third ball. So definitely an advantage for Jason. Um, Gunther's trying again, again, the line is perfect. It's all about the speed. That one looks much better, but uh, uh, where he should make the point, that looks like he made it, but let's wait for the referee to, to declare. Um, yes, Gunther has made the point. So I think Jason with the uh, three ball advantage, he's going to Rafa the point ball, and that is exactly what he's going to do. So uh, Jason gets set and gets going and shoots and hits it nice and clean and he has the point. That was a great shot by Jason. 
So Gunther's down to his last throw uh, of this frame, last ball. Let's see. Again, lined up in the same area, throws it a bit higher. Um, yeah, looks short. Maybe he snuck through just enough. Let's see. For the referee says no, Gunther was short. So Jason with two balls in his hand has an opportunity to score a couple of more points and tie the game or take the lead. Let's see what he does. And a quick update on the San Marino Canada first singles game. Uh, San Marino is winning 13 to 4 in that game. So okay, back. Jason, wow. Jason's line is not good. He looks like he's gonna hit his ball and he just gave the point away or as we say sold the point um wow that's that's a tough tough one um let's see if he can regroup uh jason is going to shoot it looks like but wait they're measuring to see if it's one or two points albert is saying it's one point so jason is going to rafa the point ball um, and let's see if he can connect and maybe stick again like he did going down the other way and make two or just hit it and make one. Shoots, hits. Let's see if it comes back off. Nope, one point. So good shot by Jason. Unfortunately, he only scored one, but that brings the score five to four for Team Austria. So the good thing is Jason gets to uh, keep the puck, throw it where he's the most comfortable. Let's see again, if I guess, middle, long, that's that's his spot. Um, okay, that's a little longer than than uh, they've been playing. He's at the deep end of the court, uh, just maybe a foot off the last white line, which is in play. If the Polino were to pass that line, it would be out of play and Gunther, the would have got the throw to Paulino, but Jason rolls, and that's a fantastic ball at that distance in front. I mean, there is a little room, but it makes it difficult for Gunther. He has to be very precise on the angle he takes to not hit that first ball and knock it up. So let's see how he goes. He goes from the right side of the court like he's been in that spot lately. Uh, I don't know, it might come down again, see, that front ball, it's great position, that he, and he hit Jason up a little closer, that's a very deceiving to the eye when a ball is in front like that, so it looks like Gunther might want to shoot the black ball out because it's very difficult the way this court plays to point in now. And he's checking to see if, yes, it's so Gunther, it's a better salary, so he is able to hit either of his ball or Team USA ball. Let's see what happens here. He shoots and he does. He hits Jason's ball out, Team USA, and he keeps the, and he has the point. He has one point. Let's see what Jason decides to do. Okay, Jason decides to shoot, even though there's a little bit of room, but he has ball advantage, and if that ball goes away without moving anything else, he still has the point. So Jason is going to uh, set up to shoot Rafa here. Gets set, shoots, looks good, nice and clean. Let's see how the balls react at the back, and it looks like Jason has two because he made the ball stay closer, but let's see because the one team Austrian ball came a little f further back than I expected off the board. So, but he's going to look to see if it's one or two. Oh, so they didn't make the call. Uh, team Austria wasn't uh, did not need to know if it's one or two because that was going to change his play. So he is going to go for point. Uh, plenty of room that he'll make this. Let's just see how close he puts it and what kind of uh, situation uh, he puts Jason in. Okay, looks like uh, it's almost like the same spot as he had it before. 
Let's see what Jason decides to do if he decides to shoot. Uh, yes, he's committed. He's going to shoot Rafa. He's going to try to stick the ball close to the Polino. So maybe he has three as long as there's no bad bounces on his shot. If he hits, shoots. Great shot. And look, everything looked clean. Let's see here. It might be three points. It could be. So now Austrian team, Gunther, he wants the referee to measure to see how many points he actually has because this can make a difference in his strategy of either going for point or shoot, trying to hit the Polino down to where he has three of his balls. So let's see here. So referee needed the uh, big tape measure. So there might be a minute here in between, but just to give you a quick update, um, in these first singles match, Team Canada against San Marino. San Marino is winning 13 to seven. So Canada is coming back slowly, but, and see, so Team Canada must win this game, otherwise they're out and they would finish in fifth and sixth place. So a lot of pressure on the Canadian player, Pat Pezzan from Canada. So, as uh, now the referees are measuring to see uh, exactly how many points there are. Uh, back to the Team USA and Austrian game here. So it is two points right now for Team USA. So let's see what Gunther decides to do here. So there's two points. Austrian's asking which ball is the closest for Team USA. I'm guessing he might play long to try to concede one, so Jason can't make multiple points. Uh, but let's see how he rolls the ball. And that's exactly what he's doing. So he's playing it a little longer. So, you know, he's going to make Jason commit to try to score multiple points or to give him an easy one. So let's see what Jason decides to do. I personally would take the one because of the distance, because of the length of the court, you're guaranteed you tied the game five to five. And yes, that's exactly what he was going to do. So Gunther knew that that was an easy point for Jason to make. He conceded the point, so Jason did not need to throw that ball. Uh, that's a common courtesy that happens, you know, at this level of play um we all know each other uh playing and you know we just it's a com it's a professional courtesy as you can say uh so yes jason gets a point and he ties the match up five to five after starting the game five to zero down so jason again with that polino decides right smack dab in the middle of the court Let's see if he can keep the pressure on the Austrian team. Great line, it looks like. Um, speed looks decent. Uh, yes, okay. That's a uh, that's a good ball. Uh, it's it's uh, makes it a little difficult for uh, Gunther to play again. A tricky line there because. It, got to hit that exact spot otherwise your ball goes off a little bit and got the rolls uh, it looks like it has great speed if it holds its line and it's coming back in and it does that's a beautiful ball by Gunther uh, great ball so Jason's going to Rafa it looks like um, he can, again, he can either ball to Polino in this case because it's Versailles. Oh, Jason sets up, shoots, and he hits a beautiful ball. Clean did a good thing by shooting it open hand again. Uh, so his ball goes down to the end, and it prevents uh, uh, Austria to maybe take a shot at the Polino because... Uh, Team USA wouldn't have any balls down, so Team Austria decides to uh, go for point. That might be a little short, though. And it is, so Gunther did not make this point this time, so uh, still uh, Team USA point. And uh, Gunther's at it again here, trying to 
see if you can put it in. As he rolls. Uh, great line if he has the speed to hold. And he does. That's a great ball. Great positioning of the ball. Um, again, when you shoot rough in these situations, the American ball is very close. Jason's ball, so Jason needs to be precise with his rough. I can't be off just a little bit, so let's see. He goes and shoots. Backhand tries to stick, and he just hits it just enough. And he makes the point. Yes, so good shot by Jason. Um, they got one ball apiece, so let's see what Gunther uh, does with this ball. Looks good here. Uh, it depends if it holds its line or not. There, it's a funky spot. Oof, might be a tad short. And he did not make the point, so it's one point for Team USA right now. Let's see if Jason can come up and put another ball in there to make it two points. Uh, again, difficult spot with the two red balls in the front uh, to get through. Um, let's see how uh, Jason plays this ball. The line looks great, and the speed is perfect. What a ball by Jason. Two points for Team USA, so we're at 7-5 uh, to five for Team USA. Jason takes the lead after being down 5 to nothing. So uh, another quick update, uh, Team Canada and San Marino. Team Canada has closed the gap a little bit more. The score is 13 to nine in that match. So Jason again throws out the Polino in his uh, usual spot, middle of the court. And um, he's gonna get down and uh, See the ball they can put in here. Keep the pressure on Team Austria. Okay. Looks, uh, line looks good. Uh, speed might be a little hot, maybe a little, a little long, but the uh, line was great. Okay. Uh, it was a little hot, but not bad. That's, uh, that's a decent ball. Um, again, uh, looks easier than it is when you're out here as a spectator than as a player so um, yeah gone through lines up going through uh, the speed looks good if it can hold its line that's a delicate spot if it comes back and it does it came back just enough there to make the point so one point right now for uh, Team Austria and Jason is going to point this ball. Let's see. So let's see if he corrects just a little bit of the speed. The line we know he has. If he corrects the speed or just touches that Paulino just a tad, he could make two points. And he just missed the Paulino but made the point. So that's a good ball. As you can see on the screen, it's probably a foot away. Um, that was a great ball by Jason. And uh, Gunther's going to try to mimic that, actually. Uh, let's see if he's capable of it. Uh, the line is good. Speed. Speed looks good. If it holds, that's a great ball by Gunther. Beautiful pointing right now, right here. Some great balls now. It's going to be hard because Jason, if he shoots, can take out his balls in the back and give a big opportunity to Team Austria. But he's going to gamble. He's going to take a risk here. And he's going to try to shoot the point ball. Let's see what happens. He shoots. Great shot. And he, okay, so one of his balls moved, took it in a ricochet. But he left the point ball in play. So that was a great shot by Jason. Let's see if uh, uh, Gunther can duplicate that last shot because it's sure not easy to do that two times in a row. Okay, Gunther goes. He threw it a little further to the left this time. It might not make it back in. Yeah, touchy cord and it won't 
break back in in time, so it's still Jason's point and uh, last ball for Gunther, and Jason has one more ball to play after this. So. Oof, it looks like, okay. It looks like he's short. It looked like he dropped the ball in his follow through. Uh, it wasn't a smooth uh, flow like he normally does, so it gives Jason the opportunity to score another point here. Uh, to score two points. Let's see if uh, Jason can capitalize. Again, looks good. If it holds its line, it's got to hold the line. It did. Get up there a little bit. Get up a few more rolls and maybe. So ooh, close. So let's see. If he had just enough. You know, that's a complicated. If he's too hard, he could sell the point. So he had to be just right. So... One, I think the referee called one. So it is, yes, one point. So it's eight to five USA. So uh, Jason is uh, keeping steady here, one point at a time. Um, this time, and uh, this time he throws the Pelino a different spot. I don't know if that was done purposely or if. Uh, by accident, but uh, let's see what he does with this ball. Okay, Jason rolls. Line is good. Again, speed, it's all about speed. It touches it just a little bit. And let's see if his ball did not roll out to where it's, again, if you hit a ball, you can only move it so far. and. This time, his ball rolled outside of that stick that Albert was using to determine. So Gunther decides to put the Polino back in the place it was originally, but Jason Ball stays in play. So let's see, Gunther capitalized. No, Gunther short. Wow. Um, he's short. Um, very, very, he's struggling a little bit with that uh, consistency. Uh, let's see if he can pick it up here. Mm, he rolls, it looks like the same line, but again, the speed, it gets by, okay. He got by and he made the point, I believe he did make the point, so. He came very close to hitting his ball, which would have probably prevented him from uh, making the point. So, so that ball is a secondary also, so he's going to move it that uh, little quarter of an inch or whatever it moved back because Jason decided to, and uh, Jason's going to shoot the point ball, and uh, he sets up, let's see if he can hit this clean, he rolls, he hits it, oh, bad ricochet. Bad break this time on uh, Jason's part. Leaves Austria with two points. So Jason needs to put a good ball in here to uh, to try to limit the damage with the two balls with the two points Austria has. So uh, let's see what Jason can do with this ball. He's coming up. Great line. It's speed. Will it? it should make the point. Good ball. Okay, so he made the point. But if I were to guess, I think the Austrian... Oh, he's got a point, which is interesting. You know, if he were to shoot that ball, he would have two points. So it puts the pressure on him. He has to make this point. Otherwise, he just... His point is a little firm. Is he going to hit it? Okay, he leaned up against it, but it's still only one for the Austrian. Um, interesting decision on his part, but it worked out. Um, so let's see what Jason does. Uh, he can put a sneak a ball in there. And uh, maybe take the point away and make it difficult for Gunther. 
He rolls the ball. Let's see if it has the right speed. And it doesn't hit the board. It should come off because it has a little bit of a radius. And it's a beautiful ball. So let's see what Gunther decides now. Last ball. Always dangerous to shoot. Especially that angle because if he hits the if he hits the Jason's ball and it moves to Polino, it could give Jason multiple points at the back end because Gunther has no balls back there. He's sizing it up. He might shoot. Dangerous move. That's why I thought he should have shot from the beginning. To, to not be in this position. Oh, he's going to shoot here. Sh soft shot. Let's see what happens. Oh, bad break. Again, questionable strategy on the Austrian here. Um. Jason might have walked away with two points here, which is, is, is speechless because that's a huge mistake at on Gunther at his caliber of play. I did not see two points. What a swing! That was huge. I mean, from Gunther making two or three to giving Jason two points. So the score is 10-5 USA. And again, Jason is changing it up. He's putting it close to the board. It worked out good for him that time. Let's see if it uh, happens again. Jason goes again. He's a little. That's good, actually. I thought it was going to be a little firm, but no. That's that turned out to be a, a fabulous ball on Jason's part. But again, he might have left it where it's Bersaglia. Let's see what the referee says. Very close. So the referee's measuring. So it's roughly a three to four inch span. If it's within those that stick that he has at the bottom. And it is Versailles, so he's able to hit either or. Let's see what he does. He hits here. I'm assuming he's aiming more for the Paulino. Yep, that's what he is. But look at the bad break he got. Look how far the Paulino came back. He just had a couple of uh, bad bounces here, which is uh, in favor of Team USA. And uh, let's see if they got, I think they got a measure to see whose point it is because it came back so far. Yes, the referee says it's too close to call, and they're going to need the the measurement. Um, or no, you made the point. Sorry, my fault, folks. He did make the point. They call it for Team Austria. <coughs> so Jason is pointing. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, folks. Uh, this should be an easy point for her. Uh, for Jason. And he did. He just made the point. That's all he needed to do. Okay. okay, quick update in the um, San Marino Canada game, and it is a final. And San Marino won the first single 15 to 9, and San Marino does move on, and they would play uh, Team Chile in the next round. So San Marino moves to the semifinals to play Team Chile. So Gunther pointed and he might be a little long and still might be Jason's point. So Albert is measuring. So everybody, if uh, the winner of Team USA and Team Austria, the winner of that gets to move on to the semifinals to play Italy, which is probably the team that's favored here, probably the best in the world. So whoever wins these, these matches are going to have a next tough encounter. But uh, back to this, Gunther was a little long with that ball, so it was still Jason's point. And uh, Gunther rolls, and it looks good line, but he might be short. Wow, he might be a tad short, and it still might be Jason's point here. Let's see what Albert, the referee, has to say about it. He did not make the point. Oh, wow, that's tough. So Austria, Gunther with his last 
ball needs to do something here, otherwise Jason with two more balls in his hand can make a, a, a few more points. Oh, that came off really hard. Let's see, he might have, this might be the first, it is. Gunther hit his first ball and it moved with his 70 centimeters, which is that length of the, the stick. And it's an invalid shot. That's incredible. So Jason, the ball gets put back and Gunther's ball gets taken out. Jason is wide open to make multiple points here. Let's see if he can capitalize. Again, Jason hits. Oh, and it might be just enough. Again, they're going to measure. You have to see if it's a primary. If Jason hit his ball too far, farther than 70 centimeters. He did. Oh my. Wow. So, again, ball was invalid. His ball comes out because, and so he still has one point though. Let's see if Jason can put one more point in. Okay, Jason rolls again. It's half a ball like that. Okay, so that was good. So Jason did come away with two points, so that's still good. Uh, so the score right now is 12 to 5, Team USA. Again, if Team USA wins this game, they advance to the semifinals and they would play Italy. If uh, Austria does win this game, they would have to play one more singles match. So very important for Austria to get the game here um, to, to keep themselves alive. So a lot of pressure on Gunther here to, uh, to pick it up a little bit again. This game started with Gunther leading five to nothing on Jason. And Jason has scored 12 consecutive points. Yeah, uh, it seems like Jason has found a little bit of a rhythm here and uh, a couple of lucky breaks that went his way. And uh, yeah, I guess it's been good for him, Team USA. So Jason plays a decent ball in front. Again, that ball in front plays tricks on your eyes and your depth perception. So it may, can make it difficult to point sometimes. Um, and, but Gunther seems like he felt confident but he Ooh, might have taken the last roll to make the point as you see the ball kind of uh, wiggled there at the end so let's see what Albert calls he has to measure this um, it's a close measurement he wants to get as close as possible um, okay and it is Albert um, excuse me, Gunther did make the point. So I'm guessing, yes, uh, Jason will route for the point ball here. Um, again, yeah, if he hits it uh, without moving anything else, great shot. Shoots. Oof. Errored shot. So he hit the Paulino, but that's not what he called. So Team Austria has the, the, the option to put it back or leave the play as is. But of course, since he had the point, Austria decides to put the Palino back and it's still his point. So Jason's ball that he just threw is out of play. So let's see Jason, if he can come back with a good point here. Um, that looks a little on the outside. He took a different line and he did not make the point here. So this is Gunther's opportunity. He has three balls to Jason's one. Let's see if Jason can really make it a little more difficult on Gunther here with a, 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 a good ball here. Um, he played it. Um, the line looks decent. The speed though is critical. Oof, very close. Um, very, very close. I'm guessing he's going to have to measure that to see what point it is. And Albert is measuring. Let's see. It must be close. He has to measure. Mm -hmm. That 
that's really close. Yes, you know, I just go back and forth again. There's a lot riding on these games with a, a you know, first prize of $10,000. So Jason did make a point, but unfortunately, it's what you call Bersaglio. And Gunther can hit all three of those balls. He could take two of the black ones out in one shot. But he's been having a lot of bad breaks on his on his Rafa shots with uh, bad ricochets and bad bounces. So let's see if it continues or there's a little swing here. He throws. Oh, bad break again. Hit what he hit, but he leaves Jason with two points. Three, two points. So Gunther has a decision to make. Does he look like he shoot again to give himself more room, or is he going to point? He did make that point last time out. So that's what I'm guessing he's going to line up to do, and he is going to try to make that point. So let's see here. A lot of pressure on these balls. As your opponent gets closer to 15, there's... I know you squeeze the ball a little more. Yeah, you tense up a little bit, and... Uh, it makes it a little more difficult, but he did it. It looks like if it well, well it might be a little long. He might, Jason might still have the point here. It's pretty, you know, uncharacteristic from uh, Gunther. Uh, they're measuring for two here to see. Again, Gunther has not had the breaks when he was shooting Rafa. He's had a lot of bad bounces go his way. Okay, so they measured and Jason just only has one. So I would guess Gunther would come up. If he can touch the penalty just a tad, he could make two points. But it's a delicate line, you know, that you have to keep here. It's a, a good line. Again, the speed, he's a little hard. Wow, that that's that's amazing. I, I, I three balls in his hand, and he gives Jason one point. So uncharacteristic on Gunther again. He's a professional high top player for Austria. Just uh, not doesn't doesn't have it right now. But again, it's still early. It's thirteen five and. Last game, I believe, was the same score, and Austria made a, a valiant uh, comeback, but was able, your team was able, was able to pull it off. And let's see if uh, Jason can just uh, put a, apply a little more pressure on him. You know, he just needs to get a little bit closer uh, to keep it on him. That's a beautiful first ball, uh, especially in these courts, but. Gunther is feeling his confidence and in pointing instead of shooting rough, so that's what he's trying. Um, uh, Gunther rolls, but he was off on the line and the speed. He just dropped it. If you notice, when he rolls, he, he dropped the ball instead of rolling it, which caused the decrease in speed. So now his only choice is to shoot Palino and hope to save something. And he missed. Oh, he's pressing. He, he he needs to, right now, he needs to hit that Palino, knock it out of the, the corn so he can um, start to frame over. And I think that he's going to try again. That's, yes, he's going to try the Palino. Let's see what... Uh, what happens here? He shoots. Good. Looks good. Okay, he hit the Polino. Again, he made the point. Didn't jump out, I'm assuming. But Jason has three balls to one. And there's a lot of room to uh, for him to score a point. So let's see if Jason can do it and keep the pressure going on him. Uh, line is good. Speed looks good. If it gets, yes, it looks good. And he makes the point in a good spot. That's a really clutch ball on Jason's end. Let's see, Gunther is now just, he has to try to sneak in there. You know, again, Jason needs two points, so the game's not over. So if he can put a good ball in here, he can salvage uh, the game. And the good ball looks like good speed. 
is it going to hold? Beautiful ball, looks like, by Gunther. Yeah, and he did make the point. As you see on the screen here, it's a great ball. But I think Jason's going to shoot Rafa two balls to one. If he hits, it gives himself a ton of room if it goes well. Or he can win the game if his ball ricochets back. He shoots. He hits. Oh, but this time his the Austrian ball comes back. He hit it on the wrong side. But he does have the point. So Jason with one ball left. Point on the crown. If he puts this ball in, Team USA wins the game and advances to play Italy in the semifinals. Let's see if he can do it. Okay, he rolled a little bit different line than he did last time. Uh, gonna pull to the board, but he's short. I think he's short. Oh, all right, so. He made that ball a little short, as you can all see on the screen. And um, score is 14 to 5 in favor of Team USA. Let's see if Jason is able to uh, close it out here. So again, Jason changing sides, keeping, I guess, keeping Gunther on his uh, toes here by uh, changing sides, changing distance. Again, the lot, it's a lot of player strategy sometimes because especially if it's your home court, you should be comfortable anywhere and come, you know, coming from uh, the outside, it's a little more difficult and Jason rolls the ball just a tad long this time. The line was good, but gives Gunther an opening here. But again, Gunther's been struggling a little bit here to find his rhythm and pointing one yes one no so he needs to really find this rhythm one more point and it's uh game over for him and he needs to bear down here to bring this into the third game yeah, and he does he puts a great ball in let's see jason again jason's gonna probably shoot this ball and he is he's uh signaling rafa um, he's going to try to hit Gunther's Team Austria's ball, and uh, he lines up, shoots, hits it, went clean, great, great shot by Jason, and it looks like he has two points right now, but again, a lot of room for Gunther to repeat the last shot. And Gunther lines up, um, let's see, the line is, again, good. Speed looks good. Yes, and Gunther should have the point, at least from my view, yes, and Albert says yes. So, let's see what Jason just, Jason decides to go for point. There is uh, quite a bit of room there for him to be able to make it. Let's see if he can accomplish that. Jason rolls, um, he, he, a little off on his line, yeah, and bumps up the red ball, Gunther's ball. Uh, yeah, just, just missed, a couple inches off he was, otherwise the speed would have been perfect, and, uh, yeah, got, uh, Jason's last ball now, let's see if he can, uh, put a good point in here and force Gunther to execute. Jason rolls, it's, that's a good ball, that, that was, yes, look at that, that's a fantastic ball, ladies and gentlemen out there, this now really puts Gunther in a predicament because Jason has three balls around the Palino, Gunther has one, and Jason just put his ball right behind uh, Team Austria's ball, so, um, Gunther decides to calm down, take a look at the situation. Uh, really difficult. Um, he's, I think he decided, I think he told the referee he's gonna shoot the Palino, which is a good strategy because he does have a ball at the end on the board, but so does Jason. So it just depends the luck of the, of the bounce here. Uh, again, he has not gotten very many lucky bounces, so, oh no. Volo, he's decided to shoot Volo, Jason's ball. Again, difficult shot here. 
Oh, he lines up. Oh, oh, Rafa, I'm sorry. Rafa, his ball. Great shot. Let's see. Oh, boy. Bad break. Again, great shot by Gunther. But Jason still has the point. This is Gunther's last ball. Game point for Team USA. Gunther singles Rafa. Point ball. Big shot here. Big shot. Lines up, shoots, hits, and yes, saves the game there. And Gunther scores two points. Great, great shot by Gunther. Clutch, two clutch shots. It uh, brings the score 14 7, Team USA. Those are very good shots by Gunther. Timely needed them. Um, um, again, that's what makes these guys so great. They're just, don't feel the pressure a lot of times. They've been in these situations over and over. And uh, yeah, Gunther is going to play back in the ball zone like they did in the doubles. Um, you know, that worked out good for them. They made that comeback, just fell a little short last time. Let's see if this works for them this time. Gunther lines up and uh, points. Good speed, it looks like. Good, yes, great ball by Gunther. Unfortunately, he's going to leave at Bersaglio, where it gives the opportunity for Jason to shoot it as a Rafa shot and not Volo, because that's the only time that can happen is Bersaglio with the Polino when it's in the Volo zone. Let's see if Jason can execute. He shoots, oh, just missed to the right. Wow, okay, so. Let's see, if it was me, I think he needs to shoot it again because that's a great ball, yeah, and he is. So he's gonna shoot it again, let's see what happens. Lines up, shoots, and hits, and let's see what happens at the back end. And that ball's gonna come out, and Jason's gonna have the point, okay? So, the, missed the first one, hit the second. Let's see if Gunther can keep the pressure on and put another great ball in. And he does look at that. That's, I mean, that's been his spot all day here. He's been putting great ball in. I think Jason needs to just go in. I mean, Jason, again, knowing the court, he can go up and just lean himself up against the red ball to make the point so a short ball is not really that good in this situation just be a tad firm oof he played it off the board wow i think that was a misplay on his end and he was he was long i think he wanted to lean up against this ball but tough break and uh this is his last ball let's see if he can close it up and Okay, Jason plays. If it holds, it might be good because he's gonna lead. Yes, again, yeah, that's what he probably wanted to do with his first ball, and he did not. We had just a miss shot, and it happens to all of us. And uh, let's see if it's a ball. If he made it a Bersaglio shot where he can hit either Paulino or ball as a Rafa shot, or if he has to shoot Volo. So I, sorry folks. Okay, Gunther has called the Paulino here. Let's see what he does. I don't know if it's Bersaglio or not, where he can hit any, oh my God. Gunther hits his own ball out. So what is Jason gonna do here? Jason has two points on hand on the floor. So is he, oh, Jason decides to put it back. Interesting, very interesting. I probably would have left to really put the pressure on on, uh, on Austria, but Jason, because Austria now hits that ball and can go clean and Austria has the point. In the other words, you've almost forced Austria to shoot the Polino or point. So that's an interesting, interesting uh, tactic. Let's see what he's doing. See what he calls. I didn't see what he calls. 
He called the Polino, so he's going to shoot. And he missed. Game is over. Team USA wins 14 to 7, and they advance to the semifinals. What a game. Gunther tried to make a little comeback there, but it fell a little short again. But Team Austria had a great tournament here just to make it into the um, final six. And um, yeah, tough break in Austria. They've come a long way, but just fell a little short. So team, the semifinals will be Team USA against Italy and uh, San Marino against Chile in the semifinals. So we have our special I, guest back I'm here. Back. Ian's back. Yes. Ian's back. Yes. So uh, what did you think of that game, Ian? That was a nice little back and forth. It was, yeah. Uh, you know, Austria got out early. Yeah, Austria took that big lead, mm. 5 nothing, and yep. then just Jason and found looked his And looked dialed run, in. Looked dialed in, and then yeah. Jason just, he, you know, he made some flip the, the script. But Austria had some bad bounces again mm. this game, you know. And unfortunately, it happens. You know, you can make some great shots, and it just doesn't um, work out for you. So, and the last, I mean, it's so like we were talking about it. Every shot counts, right? right. And especially at the end, there he had two chances. Yes, two, two chances. solid chances, yeah. and the the door was open. Yep, and he just he just didn't he walk missed. Through. It, yeah. it, it, again, it's it happens, yeah. right? It's. It's a game of of <laughs> hairs, as we said earlier. You know, it you miss is. ball uh, by a hair, and it's, it absolutely it's, it's is. Just, uh, uh, but uh, it, that was a really nice match. It was it was very entertaining. Okay. It had a little bit of everything. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, you've seen these guys play before, yes. and we're noticing that this goes to strategy. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of different placements yes. on the singles it seems of games. the Polino yes, yes. so as, as opposed to like the, the oh, doubles right so what I'm uh, my my guesstimate is right you never know what the players are thinking unless you ask them <laughs> but I think Jason felt that he that he had the um the momentum right and these are his home courts yeah so being his home courts he's comfortable anywhere on the court yeah. right so keep keep the opponent off guard you know, keep the opponent off guard, yes. you know, by doing that, you know, you're it, changing it up. You're not make, keeping get making him get comfortable. And that's the key. You want to keep your opponent guessing. You don't want to get him, make him get comfortable, right? And you could see that uh, this strategy worked because yeah. it was, you know, on the right side, left, mm -hmm. it, near, far. Expe I mean, it was all over. Especially towards the end of the game, you know, it, he was being very consistent at the beginning of the game. He was putting it in the middle long, putting it in the middle long, right, consistently. Yep. And then as he, as the score, got, as he kept scoring, getting closer to 15, he flipped the script he on absolutely him. absolutely did. And he decided to change yeah. it up, which I thought was a great strategy, right, because you're keeping him off guard on your home courts. It's just an advantage yep. to the home team. And knowing the nuance of the, the court, I mean, home field advantage, right. we've seen it in sports exactly. across the board, mm -hmm. and it, it felt a little home field advantage it on did. here because he knows the role of those edges and just tucking the ball in. I mean, just really Right, as we saw a couple shots. of frames earlier where he tucked that ball, just it just went perfectly behind the yeah. opponent's ball to make the shot, to make Gunther make two excellent shots to keep the game keep alive. Going, to keep it alive, yeah. To keep the game alive. So, and we right? have to so say Gunther had a heck of a shot to keep it yes, going. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it was match point for a while. Mm -hmm. You know, so as you saw the different techniques, he did the first shot, a nice soft shot, but again, he had to make sure his ball went over the D line, otherwise <laughs> it was no good. The <laughs> Rafa shot has to travel past that to be good, right? So it was that delicate nuance of different shot selections, right? Yeah, and, and we saw everything in this match. I mean, mm -hmm. the variety of shots. I mean, we talked about them all, and um, we saw it in, at a high level, yeah. just like we saw earlier. But it was there was a lot on the line because an elimination right. match, right? And maybe that was part of it. It I don't could know. be. You know, again, it, it's a whole different feeling when you're behind. When it's game, you know, you have to win that game, yeah. right? It's, it's a must. Otherwise, you go home. <laughs> you come all this way. 
right? Yeah. And, and it's a disappointing loss. Yeah, I and mean, to get this far. To get this far. And they've had some outstanding matches through the few days of tournament here. Yeah. And to lose, it's frustrating, and it's... <laughs> Again, you go, nobody's happy but, when they lose, right? No, but but th but that's the game. That's the beauty of what we're watching here. Is you know that it it is high level competition. It is the skill that you don't even like. I'm a lay. I'm a layman right. watching this, and mm -hmm. you were going, "How did he do that?" Right. Or the backspin on the ball to just stick the. Ball it's like right a nine there. iron right. on the green, yep. and just put the backspin on it, it and just right stops it. Right. So, Very. Mean, a good thing there's a microphone on me. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. How is that happening? Yeah. Or, you know, but it's and it, it was a lot of fun. And you're right. You saw different shot selections, right? And and the, and what this game, as a professional level, the different shots we can all do. It's not your going back to the beginning <laughs> yeah. today. Backyard watching, yeah, right? Yeah. There's, no, uh, it's, it's just there's so many things. It's a yeah. thinking man's game. Like I like the oh, absolutely. Uh, it's like strategy. strategy. It's, it is chess. chess. I mean, it exactly. really is on a, on chess. A chess. Yeah, it's a chess. We're, we're watching Masters mm -hmm. today. Yes, so. this is this is so. a ton of fun. So it's been great, and the next matches should be semifinals. I mean, you have San Marino against Chile. You know, Chile was the number one seed in their division, and San Marino's number two. That should be an outstanding, you know, match. Two different contrast styles of play. Yep. You know, Chile from South America, they play a little bit different of a game than the Europeans do mm -hmm. or than the Americans do. So that's, that will be a very interesting matchup. And do you, so do you know, I mean, and that's... That's the doubles, right? The semis. Yep. And, and do we have them on our? Court? I believe. I, I believe. I have like, to check. That's I believe this game we're going to have San Marino, Chile, Chile. but okay. we have to double check. Yes. I'm not 100. percent So we're. Sure. I'm kind of like. You know, it would be nice to see them, right? Yes. And then you know, the USA will have their hands full against the favorites, heavy yeah. favorites. Not you know, but again, the advantage we the USA has there, it's home Both court, are. home court, yep. and. You know, you never know what can happen. You yep. know, we can all have a bad day. So <laughs> best of luck to that, you know, to the Team USA. Yeah, so um, so I think that's it for our first half yes. of the day. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a, a brief break. I think I, I know no one at home is going to understand what I'm going to say to our director. There, I go, hey, Joey, I got a uh, graphic up on uh, Channel 2 for a full page. If you got a thumbs up, okay, great. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to direct from the table, but sometimes it happens. Just yep. let them know I had it set up. But okay, okay, great. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to take a break. Uh, okay. We'll be back shortly. We'll be sh shortly for the next match. Yes, the semifinal hopefully they're doubles. as exciting as these first oh, two were, right? It's been a good time. All right, next okay. match, semifinal doubles. See you guys doubles. soon. We'll see you guys in a bit.
Hey everyone, welcome back to the live stream of the Palazzo de Bocce 2022 International Invitational Bocce Tournament. Um, we've had an interesting first round we and we have Ian back here. Um, uh, some, some great matches. Some great matches, and yes. It's, it's working great so far. Everybody mm -hmm. can see it. You're getting some comments back yeah, home. Yeah, some comments back home. In. They're saying the camera is working out great here. So yeah. we're going to be starting back with the live stream here. Uh, we have San Marino against Chile going to be playing here. They're starting in here. Yep, so the, the match has begun. Um, go ahead. Uh, Yes. Don't need to see us. Who nope, cares about not us? See us so. And just a recap. Um, this is the double. So this is the yes. semis. Tell us about so a little is, bit about Chile. Yes. So this is the semis. So we have uh, Chile against San Marino. Chile was the number one seed in their division. So they had a bye this morning. So okay. they got some rest. And uh, they play a whole different game than the rest of the world. They shoot a lot of volo shots. And they're, they're very aggressive. Don't point very much usually. So as we see... You know, shooting, they're excellent shooters. They stick balls as we were going back. If you remember the reference we're, earlier. And we're seeing the action already. <laughs> we're seeing the action already. That's what they do. You know, they, they believe in pressing the issue and making your the opponent make mistakes here. And but San Marino yes. is very more sophisticated uh, game of playing. Very finesse, but can also has the talent that the Chilean team has in in shooting and things like so that. So you can say they're so balanced across they're the board. They're quite balanced. So, uh, you know, it'll be an interesting matchup on, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, uh, um, Chile's getting ready to shoot another ball where we saw the last game, the United States and Austria were pointing these balls, right? They were. So the Chileans are just more aggressive and it should be very interesting and fun to watch here. And so if you're just tuning in, there are other, there's another match yes, going on. Yes, so another the match. second semifinal. So, so second semifinal, we have Italy against uh, Team USA. Again, Italy's probably is the, fam uh, the favorite. You know, they went through the whole tournament only losing one game. Wow. So they're they're on a hot streak. They're they're you have two of the best players in the world there that have won world championships. Wow. But you know, again, Team USA home court advantage. Anything can happen here. Just and like we mentioned at the like end of the singles yeah, match. Right? So that should be a very interesting game and we'll keep you updated on their scores and Yep, we're and lucky enough we can see the scoring. It's all displayed, yep. so we'll, we'll try to keep you going on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, dig into this yes. match here because it's bound to be a, a, a doozy. And yes, and it will. It, there's so a lot on the line as we said. There's right? a lot on the line. Winner oh, semifinals, winner goes to the final for a chance to win ten thousand dollars. Wow. So, All right, yes. action continues. Okay, action okay. continues. Uh, I'll see you later. Talk to you later. Okay, we're uh, in action here, uh, Chile against San Marino. Um, it's, uh, this was the first frame. There's been some action here. Uh, so it looks like uh, San Marino has one ball left, and uh, he is shooting to try to make multiple points, it looks like. Um, Gets set, he shoots. Um, let's see, that he doesn't look like he had the right bounce, and it looks like Chile might have two, maybe. Let's see what the ref is calling. They're looking. Um, let's see what uh, they mark, and our referees are Oliver from. Uh, uh, Cleveland and Sal from here in Michigan, and Chile did make one point. So as we were mentioning at the top, and, you know, the Chilean team loves to shoot Volo back home. That's pretty much their their game. So you're going to see a lot of Volo uh, zone play here. Um, as you see, the Ch uh, Chile player is pointing, and uh, he's in the Volo zone. That's a, a good ball there. Uh, you know, we have Franco and Rodolfo from Chile and Jacopo and Enrico from uh, San Marino. Um, again, very experienced international players here, have played in world championships and uh, very uh, talented in the different types of shots they go. And the San Marino player now is going to get set and uh, shoot the bolo here. It's ready, shoots, and hits. Unfortunately, uh, 
Chili still has the point. He just hit part of the ball that it wasn't able to bring it all the way down, but um, is giving, they're discussing, maybe they're going to be aggressive and shoot to Polino, but um, and to, to, to change the game, because again, this is Chili's uh, bread and butter zone here, and uh, they don't miss very often, usually. But again, different from game to game, but uh, the San Marino team decides to go for a point. And uh, looks like a great ball here. Yes, a very good ball. But again, the Ch Chilean team, they don't waste any time. They've already called Volo. And he, uh, he's setting up. And um, I feel sorry for these referees uh, in this game because they're going to get uh, a workout here. And he goes and shoots and hits. Now let's see if he gets okay. It, he didn't have any bad bounces there. He, Chile still has one point. <coughs> so San Marino decides still go for point because uh, Chile has a ball down at the end. So uh, they don't have much choice but to point here. And uh, he's pointing in. Looks like a really good ball. These San Marino players all week have been pointing just out of this world. I mean, it's been a pleasure to watch. I mean, the finesse they have. And again, the uh, Chile is going to shoot Volo because they have a ball advantage. And I would assume they would do it again if this ball gets hit. Go shoots. Uh, no good. No good. The ball landed short of the 40 centimeters. So uh, San Marino has the choice of putting it back, which they are. And the Chile, lose, their ball gets taken out of play. So uh, good break for the San Marino team. And now uh, the Chile pointer, Rodolfo, a world-class player, has finished second in the world championships before. Uh, very experienced, um, makes it a little short. Okay, so this there's a lot of room here for uh, San Marino to make two points. Let's see, uh, again, first ball's jitters might come into play, uh, but uh, let's see how he does here. And you're going to notice the San Marino team is a little bit more deliberate in their play. They're a little bit slower. Um, and uh, the Chilean team plays on a, on a quicker pace. He might be a little short here, it looks like. They're all crowding around the ball to look. And now they let the referee get in and so he can make the final call. <coughs> They gotta get the tape measure out. It looks like so he can uh, measure. Um, so it looks like um, Italy and uh, USA has started, and it looks like the Italians might be up four to zero already on the team USA in the double. So again, we'll keep you posted on that as it uh, continues. And here, uh, San Marino scored one point. Okay, so it's one to one right now. San Marino against Chile. <clears throat> okay, so San Marino's strategy probably is going to play against the uh, wall and longer, in, not in the Volo zone. Uh, and that's probably by design because when you shoot a lot of Volo, your balls tend to bounce out of the court. So. Uh, that's probably why they're playing it over on that end. So let's see uh, how his first point ball here is going to be. Okay, he's pointing. Uh, it's coming. That's a great line as we've seen from the last match if you're with us. That's a great ball right in front and uh, Ch Chili team wants to know how far. But they're going to shoot. Like, you know, real quick decisions, that's what they do. Uh, he's lining himself up on what he thinks is the best um, line. Okay, 
He's getting set to shoot. Oh, great shot. That would if the Palino didn't move, that would have been a he would have replaced the San Marino's ball, but it went back and he moved the Paulino, so San Marino has the point against the back. And uh Chile team decides the point. Let's see here. That's probably if any one criticism is uh Chile is not as good maybe at pointing as the San Marino team, but their hitting skills are amazing. So that's why it's going to be a great matchup here, but that's a really great ball for uh, playing at the end here. And San Marino, again, they decide to go for point. Looks like a great line there. Looks like he has the right speed. Oh, it's going to take... Oh, he found the Polino. That was a saver there. And... Uh, Looking if he moved it too far. It's secondary, so they get to move the Palino back. Um, let's see whose point it is. Oliver, the referee is measuring. And uh, we'll see whose point it is. And then I got another update here for uh, Italy against USA. And it is 6 to 0 for the Italians are up. So 6 0 Team Italy. Okay, so it looks like San Marino did not make the point in this court. So they are going to point again. Wow, he, he cut that one a lot, but it might hold off from the fence without hitting the sideboard, but it is. It's straightened out, so the speed looks excellent, and he made the point. But, and uh, Chile's getting ready to shoot. He doesn't know that the referee mark, and he's already in place to get going, and he's going to shoot Rafa. Shoot. Oh, hits a beautiful ball and it goes clean, so they still have the point. That was a great shot by the Chilean shooter here. Let's see if the San Marino player can duplicate his uh, previous effort. He gets set. Again, very deliberate, very slow paced, smooth delivery. He has a, oh, the line was just off. That's a big mistake here. He uh, hit the Chilean ball and it moved it too far. So his ball gets burnt and it goes back. So it gives the opportunity for Chile to score two points here, possibly. If he's able to point another ball in. Good line if it straightens out. Good line. And it's great speed. Two points for the Chilean. Those were awesome points that uh, Rodolfo put in there. And um, so we got a score of three to one for uh, Chile. Let's see uh, again. Yeah, this is probably going to go into the Volo zone. is as to be expected here so again that's their strength that's what they play all the time is they're just big roll hitters so when Rodolfo goes on and goes for point this uh, direction looks good it might taper off to the right there like this court does but the speed is great and uh, Oh, 
Nope, there was a uh, discussion between the referee and the players. The referee marked the wrong color on the scoreboard, so it is three to one for Chile. So. Okay, San Marino's going to play a little aggressive, and he's going to shoot the Polino down to try to take it out of the photo zone. With the concentration shoots. Oof, it looked like it might have jumped over. Um, tough break, but I think they committed, and now they're committed to shooting the Polino again. don't think they have much choice, and yes, he's... Uh, He's setting himself up again for the Polino. He's lining himself up. Goes, shoots, and he hits it this time. And wow, look at that. That that he had a great bounce. He's right next to the Polino, so that worked out great for them. But Chile is getting ready already. They they're gonna do a Rafa shot. And um Let's see uh, what kind of reaction we get on the backboard. So that shoots. Oof, he hits it. Both, everything moves. And let's see what's, who ends up with the point. Wow, that came off hard off the backboard. All three, the puddling on the balls. But Chile made the point. And it's actually a really good point. So... It's going to give uh, San Marino something to think about what they want to do. Okay, they're going to go for point. So, Eric's going to go for point. And he's playing it left to right here. Uh, speed looks pretty good from this angle. Um, is it going to come down? Wow, good ball, but it just might be a Tad off center there, and he did not make the point. That was a great ball, though. You know, it closes in, makes it difficult for Chile. He sets, he plays it the same way, but he just he was a few more inches out than he was the first one has a great line is the speed there though see how that table I think he might be short no what? no no referees saying no but the San Marino players are questioning it and asking him to measure It must be, oh, it must be very close here. Okay, it is still Chile's point, they're saying. So let's see. So Chile's going to tr probably try the same line as uh, San Marino did. Let's see if they're able to get that line. Um, looks good. Might be it's short, though. That's, that's he, he played it short. And again, he's probably better off because you have a point in tight quarters there. You don't want to uh, give them the point here when you have a point and you control the Polino and you uh, dominate the game in the Volo zone. So let's see. That looks short also. So it looks like one for Chile. So it's going to be four to one for Chile. So a uh, rough start here for San Marino. Um, again, they've played out of this world this week. And uh, they're just struggling a little bit. But let's see if they can get it back on track and and perform how they can perform. So Paulino again. Ooh, this one just went a little over. Uh, is in the Rafa zone, but close enough to the Volo line. So let's see... Uh, Okay, Rodolfo's lagging, and um, that's a beautiful ball on his part. So, they, San Marino has to shoot Volvo that ball, or they're going to shoot the Palino. 
Let's see what they're, they, they're, they're discussing there and what to decide. Again, I think they're trying to push the issue and trying to get it out of there and force the Chilean team to play long. Okay, so they decided uh, to shoot Bolov for the point. Let's see, and uh, to give you another uh, update on Italy against Team USA, Italy is up now 11-0. Okay, sets up, shoots, and it's good. So, San Marino hit the ball, let's see whose point it is. He made the point. So San Marino has the point. So uh, Chile has to go. Okay. Rodolfo's pointing. Uh, looks like a, another nice ball. Great line. Um, and it's okay. So this one just made it over that D line. So it is a Rafa shot. So it's a little bit easier shot. Uh, it's uh, it's touching the Paulino, as we can see from this angle. It's a little bit to the one o'clock position where it's it's going to end. So let's see uh, how the reaction goes once he hits it. Shoots, hits, good shot. Um, wow, bad break there. It ends up in a corner with uh, two points for Chile, it looks like. It's just a bad bounce. That was a great shot, just bad bounce. So, But again, as we know, part of the game here, it can happen. So let's see how uh, the San Marino player decides to play this. I'm assuming he's going to play it to go in right in, in the middle of that group there. He could be a little firm if he wanted to, had to use those as backstops, but that's easier said than done sometimes. And uh, he looks good. That's a beautiful ball. Wow. That's a fantastic point there to uh, put some pressure on Chile because you never know what's going to happen here, how he shoots. He could take both of his balls away in a ricochet. So. Let's see um, the reaction of the balls once he hits them. It's up, shoots. Oh, he missed. Wow. Okay. So now that's going to make an interesting decision for San Marino. Uh, he's asking to come up to look at the game to decide if he wants to put that errant shot um, to leave it as is or put all the balls back the way where they were. So let's see what he decides to do. Okay. They're, uh, it looks like they're leaving it. Or no, yes. Nope, they're putting it back. So San Marino decided to put the, all the balls back the way they were. And uh, so San Marino still has one, but uh, he's gonna shoot again. Let's see uh, the reaction of the balls this time here. So that shoots. Oh, he missed again. Wow. That's unusual. I mean, he's been he's been shooting all week at a 90% clip, and uh, he missed two balls in a row. So let's see if San Marino can put another point in here. Quick update over on uh, the USA Team Italy game. Um... It is 11 to 1. The United States scored a point. Um, and uh, 11 to 1, Italy. So I'm going back to this. Some Marino points. Looks like another beautiful ball. Wow, fantastic. Two balls by the San Marino pointer. Those were pressure balls. And uh, they made two some scores. 4 to 3 for uh, Chile. Just goes to show up the you know shooting uh, that Chile does compared to the pointing that uh, San Marino do. If you uh, miss a few balls and playing against good pointers, that can come back and cost you. So we'll see if they decide to change any strategy when it comes to that after they miss a ball. So 
some Marino's playing long and to the left here. Um, looks like a good ball. Okay, it's a nice, it's a nice ball in front. Um, it's a little short, but those are difficult balls to get around. He's gonna shoot. No, he's asking the referee how much room he has. Okay. So he's quite a bit of room, so he is gonna point. It's down sets. Looks a little short. Yeah, that's short. That's way short. That's a uh that's a bad mistake there on uh Chili's part. Hopefully uh, he's able to recover and make his adjustments and he gets up again. If Chili just plays really fast and uh, that looks like it's going to be short also. So he leaves his partner in an interesting predicament here. Uh, especially the way the balls are set up. And what's San Marino with three balls? Um, are they going to try to come around, or they're gonna, yeah, they're going to play on the outside this time. But again, if you're not, if you don't put it up high enough, it's going to come right hard, and then you're not going to make the point. So that looks like a great ball, though. It's got to hold its lamp. Made the point. I would guess some Marino would shoot this ball uh, with three balls advantage, and yeah, he's going to he's going to shoot Rafa for this point. That shoots and he hits the ball. Great shot, best John Marino hitter, and that pumped him up. He's this, you know, he's a very emotional uh, type player. As you see, after every shot, he, he wears his emotions on his sleeve, where his partner tends to be a little bit more uh, reserved. And but uh, the uh, Chilean team put two points in there now forcing San Marino to shoot again I would guess so San Marino's getting ready to gets ready he shoots and he hits a great shot by San Marino shooter so they have one point and uh, possibility of scoring two. Let's see if uh, he's able to lag this other one in. Okay, he's pointing. Uh, is it going to hold? As you see, all the balls have started to come out, but it looks like it's good. Yep, two points. So two points for San Marino, and that brings us five to four advantage San Marino. They have taken the lead here. Let's see where the Polino placement here is going to be. Okay, he's going to go back to the uh, to the sideboard. Uh, deep. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's a deeper, uh, deeper throw. Again, trying to keep uh, Chili out of their uh, norm, out of the, what they're used to. Trying to make them uncomfortable. And uh, let's see what kind of ball he can put in here. Okay. Mm, looks like a great ball. Yeah, it's in front, about a foot. Foot and a half and something, two feet maybe, but that's a great ball in front. I think maybe Chile might shoot that ball. Yeah, in in Franco, the Chilean shooter is getting uh, ready to shoot. They don't, uh, again, they are, they're heavily in dependent on shooting. So, but with their skill at shooting, I would too, I guess. Sets up. Taking his time here. And he hits. Let's see how it uh, plays out here for them. Nope, they did not make the point. So still some Marino's point. These backboards have been live all tournament long. Balls have been coming out, you know, 
off the backboard quite a bit, so that makes a big difference in the game, especially when you're used to everything, the backboard being deadened when a ball goes back there, so, wow, some, not a good ball from Chile here, that was uh, a short ball, but they made the point, but that shouldn't be a problem for the San Marino pointer, the way he's been lagging in there today. As he plays it, giving it a little bit of an English off that board. Let's see if it comes down at all, but he's going to make the point. And um, yeah, not, not the greatest ball, but again, made the point. That's what matters. And they have uh, an advantage here, having the last ball. And uh, Rodolfo, the Chilean pointer, is uh, placed a beautiful ball here. He made up for that first errant shot. So let's see if he's what he can do. He has to be careful because uh, he can have a ricochet off of uh, his own ball if he hits point ball. So. Okay, he's going to shoot Rafa point ball. He's setting up. Shoots. And hits it, and it went nice and clean. Yeah, that was a great shot by him. That was a clutch shot. Let's see what the, where he, Chile puts this ball. Franco, usually the shooter, not known for his pointing, but he put in two good balls, last frame down. Um, that looks good, might be a little hot. A little long, maybe? Oof, let's see. The referee's calling, but they're asking for a measurement. Okay, so Oliver's getting set to measure. We'll see. And while we wait, there's an update on Court uh, USA, well, Team USA and Team Italy. US, the score is 12 to 2 for Team Italy. Okay, they need a different thing to measure. Well, that wasn't long enough and it's closer than they anticipated. Okay, they got the tape measure out. And it looks like it's Chili's point here. So let's see what uh, they decide to do. Okay, they're going to shoot it. So, San Marino lined themselves up. That's a nice throw. And he hits it. Good shot. San Marino scores one point. So that's six to four for San Marino. As you notice, San Marino, San Marino players are very methodical in their decision making and the way they play. And uh, that's uh, you know very uh, very European type of play. Um, they think about everything they do. They're as we talked about earlier. It's a chess game sometimes out here and. Ooh, he uh, again puts it close to the board. The ball looks really good. That's a great ball from the uh, San Marino player. And it uh, only looks like uh, it's not Bersaglio, so it looks like he has to declare what he's shooting at. But let's wait for the ref to declare that. Okay. So it's only one, so he called the point ball. So he's aiming for the San Marino ball to hit. Rafa guts up, shoots. Oof. And he's just a tad off today so far. Let's see if he can get his rhythm back. He's been 
just just head off in his, his approach. It's kind of like golf, you know, in your swing. The little stink and throw it off by a tad, but he's going to try it again. Well, let's see if he can adjust. Nope. Nope, nope. This time he overcorrected, and that was a big miss on his end. So he missed a shot. They're going to put the Palino back, and the... Uh, Rodolfo has already declared to Polino before the referee put it back. He is going to try it again. Um, I'm guessing he's going to try and hope that it flies off the court um, so the frame can start over. But let's see. Oh no, he's shooting it over the hand. And I mean, he hit it, but just didn't go the way he wanted it. Um, plenty of room for the. Uh, San Marino pointer to get in there to make a point. So he is uh, setting himself up. Uh, it looks a little short from this end, but he should make the point. Yes, he made the point. Okay, so Chile with their last ball is going to go in and uh, see if he can put a good point in it, make it difficult for San Marino to score. Um, looks a little short, but again, once it gets further down, the court's a little worn out and it rolls a little more, so it might have just got there. No, it's um, still San Marino's point, so uh, they're going to try to get in there. They're going to they're going to try to play it safe. They're going to play far away. His partner showing him where the point is, and it's in the almost in the middle of the court. So there's a lot of room. So let's see if he's able to keep the line. And he rolls, and um, let's see it. And looks a little short, and the San Marino player is a little disgusted with himself here. But uh, yeah, that was that was short. That was a uh, that was a rush throw. He he did not. He's trying to calm himself down as he's pacing back and forth. You know, very emotional, like I said earlier. Um, let's see if he can adjust and. Uh, Okay, they changed his line. Let's see if it um, if that has the speed. That, and if it goes through, it's a good ball. If it should stop, it looks like two for San Marino. Yep, two for San Marino. That was a, he made up for his uh, rush play earlier. He made it a little short. So right now we're at a score of eight to four for San Marino. And again, this is a semi-final match. Um, to go into the finals, the first game of the doubles. Um, an update uh, on the U.S.-Italy game. Italy's up 14-2 now. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to see the game, so it's uh, can't give you more details on the score right now. So. Um,
He's setting up, you know, putting himself on a tad angle to try to cover his ball in the back. He's uh, focus, gets set, and shoots. Wow, great shot. He hit it clean. That was a really good shot on his part. If it leave the Polino where it's at and them having the point. So it's a great job. Let's see if uh, Chili can do it again. It might be short. He's finally trying to push it along. It might just have enough. Ooh, let's let's see here. The Chilean player thinks he has it, but the referee hasn't made his call. He's going to mark the ball. Uh, Oliver's going to get down and uh, measure. He's going to get the tape measure out again, and Sal's going to go over to help him. Let's see. Chili still thinks it's their point, but Oliver is not sure yet. Okay. Yes. It's official now. Chili has the point. So let's, uh, let's see what San Marino decides to do. Um, a quick update. Uh, score of Italy USA it is 14 to 3 right now for Italy still 14 3 Italy is ahead okay San Marino is going to go for point here um, it looks a little short here yes he made it a tad short okay well let's see what uh, his partner can do here because again Chile plays an aggressive style here so it's going to be interesting to see where he puts this and what options he gives to the Chilean hitter back there and he's chomping at the bit here he has a lot of nervous energy if you watch him he's uh, always pacing back and forth so San Marino's pointing here and it looks like it's tailing off. If it can get around that ball, nope, it's not. Just a tad short. So, okay. Now, interesting decision here. It, what they're going to they're going to point. He's directing them where to stand and how to throw the ball right now. Let's see if he can follow those instructions. Okay, he's rolling. He's begging for the ball. He's thinking it's a little fast. Yeah, it's a little firm. Okay, so he stalls another ball to make it up. Let's see what happens. And, folks, we have a final in the Italy-USA game. Italy has won the doubles. So it's going to go to the um, singles games that they're going to play at the same time. Okay, so Chili just pointed, and it looks like two points. He put in the second ball, uh, so two points for Chile, so it's eight to six. So getting back to Italy and uh, USA, yes, they have to play two games at the same time, the singles. Um, if Italy wins one more game out of those two, they advance to the finals. And if the USA is somehow able to pull off two victories, they would advance. So I will keep you posted on that. Back to Chile is pointing. Interesting, they put the Palina a little bit longer in the Volo zone. Um, that's a decent ball from Dolfo there. Um, let's see what, what uh, San Marino is going to decide to do. Um, he's asking how far so they can gauge so okay they they quick decision they're gonna point they feel they can make this point so he's lining himself up he rolls let's see if he has the speed he's good if it stops it was a little firm but Worked out. He touched the Paulino, brought it with him, and kept it within the legal 
uh, range of uh, being good. So that was a great shot. And uh, of course, um, Chile is getting lined up to uh, shoot that ball. He's putting himself in the corner. Um, he's he's uh, missed a few balls here, which is very uncommon. Let's see if he can get back on track. Shoots, yes, and he does. Um, great shot. Um, it looks like, okay, one point still for uh, Chile. Or two points for Chile, it looks like, from here. Um, San Marino's getting down the point. Let's see if he can do it again and force uh, Chile to shoot again. Looking good. Looking really good. That's a great ball again. Two beautiful balls by the San Marino pointer. So wasting no time, Chile gets up and uh, he's going to shoot. Let's see here. Let's see if he can make it two in a row. Line up. Get sets, shoot, and he missed. He pulled it left a little, but he's just off step there. And he's not, didn't, he's something, he has a glitch somewhere that he needs to fix because he's missed more than in one game than he's missed in multiple games here. So let's see if he can adjust it. And Rodolfo's going in, he's going to go for point. That's actually a very good ball from Rodolfo, and he makes the point. That's a great point by Rodolfo to, to make it difficult on San Marino here. As uh, San Marino comes down and chats about it, they make a quick decision. Uh, I would just believe he's going to shoot. Um, Rafa, again, they got to be careful of where the Paulino ends up, if the Paulino moves, but he's getting himself set, but he is... He has a shot where he can bounce and hit it clean and shoots. And yes, what a fantastic shot that was. He hit it perfect to knock it clean. So let's see now if he can get his emotions back in check here to be able to point another ball in there. You know, his partner puts him, is trying to put him in the best possible position uh, line to get it there. And um, let's see if he can follow through with the instructions he's getting set here points it looks good from here let's see if it gets there great line let's see if it has enough it should yes great ball great hit great point by the San Marino shooter there so San Marino gets two more points, which brings them 10 to six. 10 to six, and the uh, singles games in the other court have not started yet. So that's just minutes away. Let's see here. Let's see where San Marino, if they're gonna go back into that corner, uh, the right corner. If you're watching on TV, they've been playing a lot of. They haven't played much at all on the on the left side of the court here coming down. So it seems like they're favoring that side. Yep, okay. So he is uh, setting up. That's down. And rolls. Let's see if it's going toward the board, though. Is it going to... Nope, it's going to be safe. Good ball. That's a great ball by San Marino Pointer. And, uh, yep. Chile is going to shoot. Let's see if he can get back on track. He's He needs to find his rhythm. He's just off just a tad on his release point. Yeah, he's just not following through, it seems like, and he's dropping it low and coming across it's he's struggling right now it's uh but he's gonna keep at it and that's what they do they just keep shooting until they work out of it and shooting again and again missed wow ah, he has to be frustrated here because he's he's one of the best hitters in the in the world and he's just struggling so 
He's uh, his partner is gonna try to shoot now and see what happens. And oh, what a break! I don't know if you folks saw that at home, but he hit the point ball and it hit the Paulino and made it jump out of the court. That was a lifesaver for them in this frame. So the frame starts over. If the Paulino jumps off court, um, it is the whole frame starts over. So uh, that was a great shot by Rodolfo. Um, come through. Let's say he's trying to pick up his player. Uh, give him words of wisdom and encouragement. Uh, oh, San Marino again plays it. Oh, deep and on that right side again. So we're seeing a pattern here from San Marino. They like it in one area, seeing that their Chilean team is struggling, so they keep putting it back. So let's see if he can put that first ball in and keep the pressure on. There it goes. It looks like a great ball again. Wow, back to back balls. And uh, well, this one might be make it a little bit easier for the Chilean. It might be Bersaglio. The referee's checking that. And it is. So he can hit either or. So he's a big target. This might help him get back into the rhythm of uh, hitting balls again. And smooth release. Wow, that was a great shot. Yes, so he's shot and stuck, and uh, his ball probably four feet away from the Polino from a shot. That's that's a great outcome right there. So uh, San Marino Pointer is going to see if he can do the same thing he did last time. There he is. He's pointing. Looks great also. Great ball again by San Marino Pointer. Wow. Almost in the identical spot, but a little bit closer to Paulino. So let's see if the Chilean player can take this clean because that's what he's going to try to do. Pick it clean without moving the Paulino. Shoots, and he does. Two fantastic shots. So we, San Marino has to be careful here because both Chilean players are awesome hitters and they all stick. So. Um, if he makes a point, I would probably bet anything that they're going to shoot again. And if they hit, then San Marino really needs to uh, think about what they're going to do. Let's see if he makes that point, though, first. That's the most important. Then he comes close to the wall but doesn't hit it. And again, great ball in front of the Paulino. A lot of things can happen when they shoot. But uh, Rodolfo's lining himself up to shoot the point. Let's see if he can do the same thing that uh, his partner did. The shoot and stick, they have a big frame. That's usually what they do. And they're, they're, he turns his hand for backhand, he shoots. And look at that, everybody. What shots. Three in a row. Right now, Chile has three points on, on the ground. And uh, um, San Marino has one ball, so what does San Marino do? Are they going to try to limit the points they're going to give up? They're going to try to play aggressive. Let's see what he he's going to do here, what they decide. Okay, it looks like they're going to they're gonna take their chances and see if, if uh, Chile can hit four balls in a row. If he makes the point, let's see here. It might be short. Oh, my God. Let's see what he did. They're saying it's Chili's point. Okay, so they're gonna gamble. They're gonna they're gonna try to go for four here. He's gonna shoot. He's gonna just try to stick this ball. Let's see. That's a big chain game changer here if you can hit this. Sets up, shoots. No, he misses. Wow, yeah, they tried. I don't know whose point it is. They got a measure here, so let's see. That's a big swing there. They could have had four points, and uh, he missed that shot. But, uh, the Chileans are not on rhythm here with their shooting. 
Okay, one point for Chile. So at least they saved the point here and they got the Polino. And uh, they'll probably put it in the bonus zone, I'm guessing here. So the score is 10 7 for San Marino. Again, this is a semifinal match of this, uh, to get into the finals. Both teams have had great tournaments. Uh, again, San Marino finished second in their division only to the Italian team, and Chile won, uh, came in first in their division. So let's see here. Uh, yep, Polino in the Volo zone, and with awful plates, a beautiful ball in. So is San Marino going to shoot Volo, or are they going to shoot the point ball, or are they going to shoot the Polino? Let's see what they, oh, they're going to, he, he signaled Volo, so he's going to shoot uh, point ball. Let's see, he lines himself up, and you can notice in the styles of the Chileans and San Marino, the Chileans, when they shoot, they start all the way at the back, and, and the uh, Italians take very few steps here, at least the San Marino team. Um, he has a great shot. He hit it, and he had a great, um, great bounce in the back. So he has the point. It looks like at least that's what the referee called. Yes, both referees called it. They're questioning whose point. They didn't see the referee make a call, but look. so they see it now. Yep. And okay. And Rodolfo's going to go for point, seeing if he can match that last shot he did. Okay, another great ball. Let's see what the summer in the Yep. He's uh, going to shoot again. That's what they're going to do. They're going to shoot Polo. Let's see if he can two in a row. Yep. San Marino shooter is lining himself up. Approach, shoots, hits it again. Great shot, but let's see what the back wall does to this, though. Wow, looks like looks like bad break for some Marino, and uh, Chile has the point. So now it's going to be interesting how San Marino plays it because you, again, you have a shooter here that uh, shoots and sticks and can uh, they can score three, but. He has been struggling, so big chances here, big decisions. You don't want to give him too many points. But okay, what's he doing? Oh, they're calling Polino. They're going to be aggressive here, folks. This is a, a, a good call. Um, trying to take it away from Chile to make the shot and he hits it and it might it looks good oh fantastic lucky bounce they have two that was a great shot by the San Marino pointer at first shot of the game for Polino that was uh, a great shot okay let's see what uh, Chile decides to do here they're gonna shoot the point ball He's hoping some reaction. If he hits it on the left side. Ooh. Wow, he just, he's off. Yeah, the Chilean player is trying to figure out what he's doing with his wrist that he's not. The frustrating part of this game is, uh, is not being your your consistent self and figuring out how to fix it and it's hard sometimes and I think the frustration got to him because he pointed a ball that wasn't uh, up to up to par for these type of players. Now they're looking to see if they have one or two. He could have left uh, San Marino with two points and that yeah another mental mistake you know it's like it's a it's a game of uh, emotions here got to keep them in check to 
So let's see. One. They called one, so San Marino is one point. And just to give you an update on the two U.S. singles games uh, in court 10, um, Team USA is winning 3-0, to zero, and in court 1, it looks like Team USA is losing 1-0. So those games are just underway. All right, San Marino plays. Yes, points in, pretty easy for him. That's two points for San Marino. That brings them to 12 points. So the score is 12 to 7 here. So they're inching their way closer point by point to the victory if Chile can't uh, figure out their few mistakes they're making here. Again, it just takes a couple of good shots to get them back into their groove and it can change the whole game around. So. Okay, interesting. The San Marino player decided to play the Palino in the middle of the court this time. I'm wondering if it's because he's thinking that Chile's getting comfortable at where the, he was putting the Palino and he just wanted to mix it up a little bit, but whatever it was, he put a gorgeous ball in there. That's fabulous. And uh, let's see if uh, the Chilean hitter can uh, redeem his... Uh, Miss from last frame here, if you figured anything out. Sets, shoots, and he hits it. Good shot, good shot. He hit it, let's see what happens here. Oh, unfortunate break, the San Marino ball popped off the backboard and gave them the point, so Chile is pointing right now because San Marino has the point. Pointing. Um, decent ball. A little short though, but it's in the way. So, again, those short balls in front of that Paulino can be uh, be a little difficult to uh, to judge the speed on. As you see, the Marino player it looks like a great line. If it holds, as we know, it will come back a little bit, but the speed is. Uh, fantastic, and he makes the point, but Chile is already set and ready to for the referee's ready to mark. He's ready to shoot uh, Rafa here. As he gets set, he goes, and he hits it great, and then he had a good bounce at the end, and he might, oh, bad there. Uh, one point, okay, so... The balls were ricocheting off the back, and it was almost Chile almost ended up with three points, but they didn't. So, San Marino, can, uh, let's see if uh, he can put the ball in and keep the pressure on Chile. Mm, good ball by the San Marino player. That's a fantastic point. He seems to have found his uh, his rhythm and his concentration level. You see it in his eyes. And Chile shoots and he hits and stick. Great ball. Two points for Chile right now. But uh, San Marino has the last ball, so let's see if he can uh, point another ball in there to... Uh, steal another point away from Chile here and keep it going. Okay, he's pointing. It looks good. The line's great. Yes, and he did it again. So beautiful ball by the San Marino players. This frame, they pointed four great balls to keep their point streak going, 13 to seven. Again, one point at a time and you will never lose the game if the other team can't score. So, San Marino's doing a good job at, uh, at keeping this game, adding to their lead. Okay. Again, San Marino plays it, playing it a little bit deeper. Seems they're 
getting the groove down in that end, but that's a funny spot where you put the palino, that court duck can do a lot of different things depending on the on the direction you play. He decided to try to play it kind of a off the board kind of, not touching the board, a horseshoe motion, and it's a beautiful ball. Wow. That's he's, he has his his rhythm going now for pointing and keeping the pressure on the uh, Chilean shooter here. Shoots and he got that. that was a nice shot. Great form there. Maybe he has figured it out. And he has the point because he's stuck, so. Let's see if the San Marino player can uh, duplicate his last shot here. He's playing it the same way. That looks a little bit faster in speed. Same line, but it's a good ball. I mean, made the point and it's behind, so it makes it difficult for the Chilean player to see the ball clean without having the Paulino in its way. So yeah, they, they decided the point, so go for point he's gonna probably mimic the way he threw it but he didn't he did not do that rainbow but it's still coming out if he has the speed it's good I don't know he did not make it he's just short so well, so they're asking how far Okay, he's asking how far the distances were, and they said in centimeters. The San Marino ball's 50 centimeters, and the Chilean ball 70 centimeters away. And okay, he's going to take the same line, and yes, the ball should dip. Is he fast enough, though? Does it have enough to get there? He might have. No? San Marino saying no, but let's see. No, okay, the referee said no too, so. Oh, he's telling him the weight. Is he, what's he, the, I think uh, they're in do or die motion here. He has to try to do something. San Marino has two balls and at the point, and he has one ball. So this is a big shot for Chile to see what he's going to do. He's going to shoot because he wants to, and he's going to shoot a volo. This is a long volo. So he's going to shoot San Marino ball volo. Let's see. He has the arm for it, so it's not a question. He gets up and shoots, runs. Boom! What a shot. Bad break, though. He put so much backspin on it. Came back and opened everything up. Wow. But that was a fantastic shot. But it opened up. The opportunity for San Marino to win the game here with two balls in his hand gave him, uh, you know, an unobstructive uh, target. He just needs to have the speed and line right. So let's see if he can finish Chile off. He's lining up. Let's see if it's going to hold the line because they break there. They break there. He doesn't have the speed. Oh, that's a... He's short. That's, wow, maybe, though, let's see. They might They might shoot the Polino for the game. If he hits the Polino, it could be game point if it goes in the right direction. He's calling him. He's talking right now to his player. He's telling him, shoot the Paulino, giving him encouragement. If he hits it and it goes in the right spot, it's game for San Marino. Let's see if he can do this. Let's see if he can make up for that bad lag. He goes, shoots. He hits it. Let's see where it ends up. Let's see. It's game. He hits a beautiful Paulino to win the game. Wow. Fantastic shot. So... San Marino wins this game 15-7. Um, 
So now they are one game away from the finals. They will have to play now two singles games. And Chile needs to win both. Just to give you a little update on the USA-Italy singles game. In court 10, Italy is up 5-3. to three. And in court 2, I mean, I'm sorry, court 9, it is a tie game 2-2. Two to two. And it looks like in court... A on uh, court nine, it is Jose Balto against Alfonso Nani, and in court ten, it's Emilio Benedetti uh, against Jason Wisniewski from Team USA. So close games over here, a lot closer than the first one was. So let's see if uh, they can make it interesting on that end, and uh, we might be taking a break here. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, nope, we're going to recap here um, for a second, uh, go over a few things, but uh, we saw an interesting game here. Chile was a little off. Um, and uh, Ian, welcome Hello. back. Are you here? <laughs> what a welcome match. Back. What, what a match. match. It was a, uh, it was that was a chess match, like we talked about. Completely, very, yeah. Ch the Chileans are very, like we said, very aggressive and right out of the gate, yeah. throwing it. I mean, it, I'm gonna say they were the aggressiveness uh, paid dividends early. Yes. And then you, <laughs> what can you say about these? Guys? San Marino, they, they, they just, they just stayed the course, right? They're consistent. They, they don't, they don't change their game. When, even when they go, they, they know it works and they keep at it, right? That's that, and that's what they did. They pointed and they shot. They pointed and they and shot. their aggressive game also paid it, right? Yes. It, it, they matched them shot they for matched shot. Them. And, and then Chile missed some. Chile, the Chile struggled a little bit here. You know, their shooter normally doesn't miss that much. Yeah. And he did. He was a little off on his timing. Something was wrong. Yeah. You know, he needs to try to figure that out <laughs> in these next two games because it means it's a big difference here. It One is. game and... They're done, and it, it, yes. it's to go to the finals here to, uh, you know. And there was so much going on, and we saw something that we haven't seen yet. Start over. Start over. We right? have not seen it right. Yeah, no. that. And and again, I know that it's they couple of times in each game they've tried it, but it did not work. But this time it, it, it absolutely worked. worked. It, it almost worked. hit our camera. Guy. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> it worked in the favor of uh, of doing that, and and that can be part of the game. Which I had no clue. Yeah. Right. I mean, so like you said, there's so many different rules and different things, and we can see on the screen here the singles mm -hmm. between the U.S. and Italy going back and forth. Yes. And that's a little bit more competitive this time than their their doubles game yes. was. So they're a lot uh, closer. Fifteen to three, I think, 15, was the I believe, final. Yes. Fifteen to three. We were trying to update some of the scores as it was happening, but yeah, yeah this the yeah. implications yeah. here too, right? Yeah. U.S. can't lose. They have to win yeah. both, and it's going to be tough. Again, you're playing against two top players in the world and uh, yeah. it's going to be tough. <laughs> Best of luck to them. Can they do it? Absolutely. We all know they have the talent home court. They can do it, right? Yep. And same thing with Chile. They have the talent. They can take the two games, right? Yeah, it, like, when, like you said, it's like you're not up against the wall. You're kind of up against the wall because you do have to win the two. Right. But uh, if, uh, it all depends on who's stronger in responding yeah. to exactly. the style of play as yes. your opponent, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if and, and one's better than the other, right. it could and be... And it's going to be interesting. So the San Marino player, their pointer, the one, and he is, he's an outstanding pointer, and he can shoot also. Of course, in this game, he only had to shoot once, but it was a great shot was <laughs> that he made, right? Yeah. It was fantastic. But... It, you know, so it's going to be an interesting matchup. Is the is the veteran Chilean player going to play against the young yes. shooter of San Marino, or you know, so those matchups are going to make a big difference young here. Young shooter, they all, they both the San Marino guys. They're young they're both guys. young. Yes, yes, <laughs> they are both young. But, but it's it's I I love the, the the Chilean team coming in. They've got. They definitely have that fire, mm -hmm. and they're the first team I've seen to show emotion right. during. But even the right? San Marino shooter, he was very emotional. The pointer, he's very reserved and, mm. and has that inner And the calm. activity 
around all of the shots. This is the first time we've seen that much yeah. walking and measuring and looking and because they know it's at stake. Yes. And you could tell the... The level <laughs> is up a notch It was elevated. Here. It's elevated to the next level. Yeah, we and didn't see that activity on the court no. of with the other, no, other matches. With the other, so. with the other matches, we did not. No. Wow. So it's going to be interesting. So fun to see how this turns out. And there they are, getting ready for the yep. singles. Uh, getting San Marino ready for the doing yep. what they do best, right? Mm -hmm. Calm. That's it. Taking a breath, <laughs> eating something, <laughs> taking a drink, right? Yep. Yeah. So what so. are we looking at here? So we're probably going to take a break. Okay. Um, while they get set up for the singles. Uh, we can get a sip of water or something because that was a nice long match. Yes. Was an there's a lot of action, but uh, so what do we see? So Italy, right now uh, we US have in, tied. Yeah, in court 10, we have Italy up 6-3. to 6-3. to three. And in court 9, we still have a tie game. The frame, it's been a long frame. It's 2-2 two to two still. So that. Okay. So uh, about to warm up here on our lane. Uh, Joey, does that mean you want to take a break or do you want Couple to minutes. hang here? Yeah, let's take a quick break. All right, so the singles match here, we see our we see who we have. Yep, we see who and, we have. Uh, we saw the already experience. these guys warm up quickly. So yes. if we're going to do it, let's do it now. We're yep. going to step away real quick. We'll be back with the uh, singles match right okay. after this.
Hey everyone, welcome back. After the short break, we are here at the Palazzo di Bocce for their 2022 International Invitational Bocce Tournament. And right now we are in the second games of the semifinals of Chile against San Marino. Just to recap, San Marino had won their the very first game, so they're up one to none out of a three game match against Chile. So Chile needs to win all two games to advance to the finals. Is it a tough task, but again, when you're one-on-one, -on -one, anything can really happen, right? That's I mean, right. These are gonna be interesting matches right now. You have the two younger guns, as I like to call them, <laughs> on court uh, eight. Uh, so against the two more experienced players here on court seven that we were watching that they have started. Yep. And as we see, the San Marino player has uh, has uh, continued what he, what he, how he left do. off, yep. right? And um, and it looks it, like the, the second match on eight has underway as well. Yes, so they're both first underway. Ball is gone. Yep, first ball is gone. And Chile right off the bat. Again, he aggressive shoots. play. Aggressive play. Shoots. Nice two shot of the action here. Yep. This Hopefully is, we can do that for the, mm -hmm. for the remainder of this. Let's see how that works out, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Again, flying by the seat of our pants here at Palazzo de Bocce. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's an enjoyable viewing experience for our yeah. audience here. We and appreciate uh, all the YouTube viewers, uh, mm -hmm. comments, uh, posting comments on YouTube. Okay. Cheering on their favorite uh, players and great, teams. Great, and great, it's Good stuff. So, all right, I'm going to leave okay. you to it, uh, Leo, and I'll see you at the end of the match. Yep. And just a quick update here on the U.S. against Italy. In court 10, it is 6-3 to three for Italy. And in court 9, it is 4-4. Four to four. Tie game. Very close game there. So let's get back to here, the Chile against San Marino. So we have, I saw Chile just shot, and Rodolfo just shot and missed. And now he's going to have to point. It looks like San Marino has two balls left. So let's see what Rodolfo can do here with his last ball. Wow, he made that ball short, but... Can't do that against caliber players like this. He played two inconsistent balls for points. And let's see if San Marino can capitalize and start the game off with a three-point play. And that's one. That's two points, I should say. Two same beautiful balls by the San Marino player. Sets up again. And he plays. Looks good. Good also, I mean, wow, oh, is it gonna hold the lit well? Yeah, perfect line, so right off the bat, San Marino continues where they left off with the stellar pointing here. And um, so they're up three to zero right from the start, but still early here. Again, it's a game of momentums, and we've seen teams go up early and then come back and not hold it and lose, you know. Um, the Austrian against Team USA in the singles game, they were up 5-0 and he wasn't able to sustain and Team USA came back and beat him. So let's see if San Marino can just keep this pace going. Okay, so he again keeps the ball to the right here. It's going into the board. It should be fine because it shouldn't hit. Okay, a little short, but yeah, uh, they had trouble. Chile had trouble there the last time. So let's see if they can right the ship here in that spot. Asking for how far much room they have. He gets down and plays very quick. Uh, let's see if he has that line. I, he might going to come on the outside. Yeah, he came on. Let's see if he made the point. Yes, he had made the point. So, um, not quite sure if that's the line he wanted, but it worked. Let's see. San Marino gets up, gets ready to play. Ball looks good. It just needs a little bit more Yes, perfect ball from San Marino. 
Uh, Rodolfo from Chile has already said he's gonna shoot without even he's getting ready. And he shoots. Oof, again. You, we've seen some great shots with some horrible breaks. He hit a beautiful shot and then he moved the Polino and uh, and San Marino has the point. And it's relatively good for that distance. It's a few feet away, but again, not easy to point that far. And then their uh, game next, uh, the other singles game for San Marino and um, in Chile, it's uh, San Marino 1, Chile 0. Camera, we just saw Rodolfo play and he was long, so it's still San Marino's point. <clears throat> this point that has a great line to it, and it looks like it's great speed, so that's a, he, yeah, so that's a fabulous ball right there. Great, 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 fantastic ball. So See, I would assume the San Marino player is going to shoot because um, Chile's out of ball, so he has a two to one advantage here. So let's see if uh, yes, he's shooting. up and shoots I nope no good he hit the Palino first it was not Bersaglio so he missed the target shot he was calling so it's gonna go back the Chilean player is putting it back and it's still his point so let's see what San Marino decides to do if he's gonna play he's gonna shoot again he's gonna see if he can pick that clean without moving anything else or with anything ricocheting back off that backboard because it's so live. So he oh, he bounced over everything. So okay, good break there for uh, for Chile. So we're at three to one, and uh, Chile's got the Paulino, and that was a betting man. He's gonna put it in the Volo zone. So let's see if uh, that's what he's gonna do. And that's exactly what he's going to do. So, let's see if his pointing can be right there for him. Okay, that's a little long, and you see he moved it. The Palino is good, but it's what they call secondary. Again, secondary is when you hit a uh, stop ball and your ball moves then more than the stick the referee has in is in his hand which is 70 centimeters so it was giving the San Marino player a lot of room to point here so uh, I'm almost confident that he's gonna make this point and he does and he makes a beautiful point there It is Bersaglio, so he can shoot Rafa and hit either or. So that's it. He shoots. Oh, he picks clean. So he has two points, but again, there's a ton of room there for the San Marino player to uh, come on in and make an easy point, which he makes. Let's see here. Yep, San Marino's coming, kind of the same thing he did before. Uh, just left a little bit more room, but it looks like the Rodolfo is going to shoot again. Interesting. The referee has to mark all the balls before he shoots. Gets up. Oh, he's shooting Polino. Okay, then. Oh, it looks like Nope, didn't go the way he wanted, so San Marino has one point in the back there. That was interesting that he was shooting Palino. Um, let's see what 
he's going to do here. He's Mike going to he's going to shoot his close ball that's in the Rafa zone. So he's going to shoot the third point, which is the ball over that other Rafa line. So he goes, he shoots, he hits. Let's see what the ricochets are like here. It might come back off that wall to make the point. Again, these walls are live. These back walls are live. And so there's a lot of action back there. Let's see what Oliver says. They're going to measure. Let's, so let's see here. He did not make the point. So it is uh, San Marino's point. So let's see with uh, two balls in hand if he can put any other points in there. goes he's pointing great line let's see if he has the speed though right back there is very touchy a lot smoother balls are very difficult to stop back there but that's a perfect ball yeah that's two points two points for San Marino let's see uh, if he can put that third point in Great line. If it has the speed, it's three, and it does. Great balls by the San Marino player. So again, the aggressive nature of uh, Chile leaves them open for those big frames. You know, they either score big or lose big, and uh, this time it just did not work out for them. So we are at a score of six to one for San Marino. Okay, it looks like uh, the San Marino player threw the ball and it hit, the Paulino hit the wall. So it is not, it was not good. So the Chilean player gets to throw to Paulino now, but the San Marino player still throws the ball. It's whoever scores gets to throw the first ball. So. So San Marino's lining up here. He's getting ready to to roll. Looks like a good, pretty good ball there. And the Rodolfo already has signal he's going to shoot Bolo. So let's see if you know if the aggressive nature again will pay off. It's like shoots and he misses. Hmm. Now that 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 uh, gives him a uh, some difficult choices here. So he looks like he's getting ready to shoot the Palino now to bring it down. He shoots. He hits. Great shot. But again, leaves a lot of room back there for San Marino to point in. So let's see what he can do. And then in their uh, second game, it looks like it's a tie game, three for, to three for San Marino and uh, Chile. And then update on Italy and USA. Court ten, Italy's up eight to four, and court nine, USA is up five to four. So they still have hope here. So we'll come back to this game, San Marino points. And let's see if it stops. Wow, what a fantastic ball by the San Marino player to that length to stop it right before that back wall. So, and it is only one. So he has to shoot the shooting the ball. Let's see. Oh my God, he passed in the middle. That is insane. That's. Uh, oh 
Okay, so that falls out because he missed, and so he's down to his last ball, and he's shooting again, sticking with the aggressive nature here. See if he can make something happen. Okay, he hit it. He might have got a, he got a great bounce here. Will it stop? Yes, he made the point, so okay. So it's uh, one point for Chile, but San Marino has two balls in their hand, and he is going to shoot point ball, it looks like. Okay, point ball. Let's see if he can, taking his time, gets up, rolls, shoots. Oof, he missed. He was trying to slice the ball over and hitting it on the right side, but just missed. All right, big decision here. He's going to do it again, or he is doing it again. He's going he's to be aggressive here. If he can hit it right without moving anything else, he might be able to make two points, but... Gets up, shoots. Great shot, he hit it, did he hit it hard enough? He did, two points, fantastic shot by the San Marino player there. So San Marino, another two points. The aggressive play is just getting to the Chilean players. It's not working out, they're missing and it's not. they're not getting the bounces when they do. So let's see if they keep that up or if maybe he has a little bit of a game changing strategy of Okay, so San Marino puts it a little deeper in the Rafa zone. Let's see how his first ball is going to be here. Okay. Looks good. Looks good, just a little long, but that's a good ball, a foot and a half or so away from the Palino, especially the way the Chile has been rolling here. That's not a bad ball. Let's see what he's asking how far. Okay, the referee gives him. He's going to set up the point. He's pointing the line is good. If he has the speed, looks like it does. Yes. No, a filter off there at the end, but I still think he makes it. Let's see what Oliver says. He's looking to measure. I don't think it's that close, but maybe it is. Again, I'm at a different angle here. He's right on top, and he did make the point. Okay, so let's see what uh, San Marino decides to do here. Okay, he's going to point again. He feels confident that he can point in there. And uh, that one's, nope, that one's not going to do it. it. It has too much speed and it held and it did not come down, so. Okay, so Marino needs to uh, regroup here. Let's see if he can put it in there. Okay, that looks like a better line. It's coming in. Speed looks good. Yeah, very, very good ball there, but unfortunately, the aggressive nature of Chile, he has three balls in his hands. Let's see what he's gonna call. He's gonna call ball, he's gonna shoot. He could take a few of uh, South America's balls, I mean, South, San Marino's balls away. Oh, bad shot. Let's see, the Polino went out, so San Marino can say to restart the whole frame. No, he's calling it. He's restarting the whole frame. Yes, that was a break for him. The Polino jumped out. No, the Polino jumped out of the court on a bad shot, so it's his choice on what to do because of the bad shot Chile made. And... Chili shot hit the Polino and knocked it out, so San Marino decided to start the frame over. Lucky break for him. Bad break for Chili again. 
Seems like that's been the story of these games from the teams that have lost is the bad breaks sometimes. Let's see if San Marino puts it back in the same spot. And, uh, okay, similar spot there. Let's see if he can uh, adjust and throw a uh, first ball like he did the last time there, his last ball. And the score is 8-1 to one for San Marino again in uh, court number 7. And in court number 8, the other singles game, uh, San Marino has three, and Chile has four. Okay, great. Nice point there by the San Marino player. Again, a tad long, but it's a good ball. Let's see if uh, Chile can keep up the pointing here. He's going. It's a little short. Yeah, that's short. So, let's see. He, I'm guessing he's going to shoot. No, he's going to point from a different angle here. So, Okay, he's pointing. Let's see if it's good speed. Yes, good ball. That's a great ball. Great way. He, he, uh, he adjusted very well on that one. So, Submarino's going to shoot this ball. Here he goes. Gets up, shoots, and he hits it. So, one point for San Marino. Rodolfo, the Chilean player, is going to try to do the same thing he did last time. Looking good. If it holds, ooh, hit his ball, but still might be enough to sneak in there. It's secondary, so some reader can put the... There's a little bit of a language barrier here of what to do. The both players are going to come down. Oliver's not able to um, communicate exactly what they're asking. So if they want to know if it's left the same way, whose point it is. Yeah, they didn't like the way that that he did with the tape measure. So let's see if there's a different outcome. And just to go back to the Team USA Italy game in court 10, Team Italy is beating USA 11 to 4. And uh, in court 9, it is a tie game 5 to 5 other court for Chile and San Marino. San Marino's up 5-4 to four at the moment. So again, Chile needs to win both games to advance to the final and San Marino just needs to win one out of two. So a lot of pressure on Chile here. Okay, he rolls. It looks like he's going to do the same thing he did last time, but this time he's going to make the point. So he's going to make the point. He's going to put that ball back, but the other balls will stay. Oh, no. no oh, oh, that was a mistake on the referee's part. It was a secondary, not a primary. So now, and he had marked it. You know, so that was a, just a mistake, Lax. Uh, on his part, but players on their players understand there's mistakes that happen on all parts. So let's see what's he's going to shoot. What they're going to call the third point, which is Chile's 
Well, that's in front of their point. Shoots, if he hits it, okay, he hit it. Ouch, bad break for San Marino here. Very bad. So, Chile has no more balls, but they got three points right now. He was waiting for his partner on the other side to shoot because he was in eyes distraction. So let's see here. He's going to point. Let's see if he can make the point. He, if he hits the board, he can leave Chile with three. But nope, he put in a perfect ball. So one more point for San Marino. We're going to go. The score is 9 1 San Marino in court seven here. So it's a. Uh, some Marino's players playing excellent at pointing and shooting um, let's see if they can keep it up okay everything is good you're worried the Polino's going to hit the side again but it didn't He's lining himself up to point. There he goes. Ooh, yeah, that one's going to come close to hitting the board, and it does. Wow, that's the second time today we've seen it. And you cannot hit the board in this Punto Rafa Volo game, the international rules. So that automatically comes off the court. So it puts him right out down one ball. All right, let's see if he makes that tad adjustment. Again, he's flirting with that board, but he played it a little straighter. And he's just a tad longer this time, but it's a good ball because it's hard for Chile to shoot that ball. So I'm assuming he's probably going to point. Lines up. Points. He was a little short, um, but it's still in a good spot because he could just touch it just a little bit to make the point. So, again, there's a little bit of a language barrier here that, um, okay, they understood. He wanted to know how much he needed to move the ball to make the point, and he just showed him, so... And that's what he's probably going to try to do, maybe to make two or to make it one and make it difficult for San Marino to shoot. So here we go. He's going to glance off, and he's going to make one point. Okay. They asked how many points now because he did touch that ball to see. the six in court eight and Chile is winning in court nine it is seven to five for team Italy okay they came back and it, they, he has to, he just touched it enough to make two points so the Italian uh, or San Marino player is going to come in and try to go for point and uh, back to court ten Italy is winning 12 to 4, so Team USA needs to make a little bit of a comeback. Well, San Marino went through that and without touching anything, and it was just a tad long and did not make the point. So, uh, Chile still has 
two points. Let's see, he's going to try that again. That one looks good if it holds its line. But it falls, but he might have made the point. And yes, he did. That was a spectacular ball. So now it's up to um, the Chile player to decide what he does. He could shoot this ball, Rafa, and hit. If he hits on the left side, the ball will go, as we call it, clean without moving anything of his balls, and he would still have to remember San Marino burned a ball with the first point, so he has no more balls. So Rodolfo from Chile has two balls to play with, so that's what he's gonna do. Um, he's probably he's gonna try to hit that San Marino ball. If and it goes right, oof, that's the problem. So he hit it so solid, it took the Paulino down. And he gave San Marino two points, I think, here with that shot. They're saying that uh, it's close for two, one or two points, so that's what uh, he's going to look at. Uh, it's one point for sure for San Marino. And the Chilean thinks it's his point, but he is going to shoot. His ball that is on. Okay, the referee's gonna point at it, right? Okay. He's gonna shoot Rafa. He's gonna try to bring it down to make two. And hopefully he doesn't move any other balls to. But you never know with the last ball. Oh, he shoots and he misses. So now they're going to measure for two. Chile thinks it's only one, but San Marino player thinks it's closer than they uh, than what he's saying. So they're going to one for sure for San Marino. Could be two. So they need the long tape measure. So let's see if they find it. Here, they have to call an outside uh, ref here to get the tape measure to, to measure, so. And while we wait, let's give the updates on the other, other courts. Court 10, Team USA Italy. The score is 12 to five for Team USA. And in court nine, we are nine to five for um, Team Italy. So let's, uh, okay. Okay, let's see. They're getting the big tape measure out for this. And, uh, oh, it seems like it's not working. So, or, oh, there they got it here, okay. And uh, in court eight in the Chile uh, San Marino matchup, uh, not on the featured court, it looks like uh, Chile is up seven to five. So, again, all these semifinal matches, the winners will go on to meet in the finals for a uh, top prize of $10,000 to the winner. And uh, again, we couldn't have done this without the uh, sponsors of this event. Um, it was a great, um, great event that's been put on here at Palazzo, and uh, they have done this once before, and it just seems like it's getting better as it goes along. So let's see here what the final verdict was. Um, okay, so it was one point for San Marino, so it's 10 to 1, San Marino. Okay, San Marino plays the Paulino again. He's going up against the board here. He's thinking that this is their um, best, his best chance to keep uh, Chile on the defensive and for him to score points. OK, 
Okay, so San Marino points. That looks like a very good ball again. Uh, yes, excellent ball. In front, about a foot and something change away from the Polino. Um, I believe uh, that would be a ball for him that he normally shoots. And he is. He's, he already uh, has made the announcement of shooting. Goes. Shoots. Oh, again, bad break, but the Paulino has jumped off the court, and the frame starts over off that ricochet, so uh, we'll do it over again. Again, 10-1 in court 7 here. If San Marino wins this game, they move on to the finals, and we'll meet the winner of USA and Italy. Okay. San Marino, let's see if he puts it, yes, he's going to put it back. Not quite in the same spot, but it seems like he has a definite area that he's been concentrating on to try to get that Polino to his advantage. So um, it looks like he's rolling. Let's see, he doesn't look too happy about it because maybe it's firm it's a little firm the line is good uh, but it's not too bad again they're uh, they're perfectionists out there so a ball like that to them sometimes seems not too good but it's actually a very good ball um there comes uh rodolfo he is uh pointing here um, not sure what ridge it's going to take. It looks like it's a little long, and it is. He's a little long. So yeah, it seems like San Marino has been able to keep the Paulino in different spots on him where he's not hasn't been able to get comfortable. So here he goes. He's back again. This time he took a little bit different line because it should filter back in if he has a speed yes see how that ball came just in enough and he has the point and San Marino um, he's gonna get himself that's a ball that he would shoot and just deciding what angle to take on the ball and how he wants the, re the reaction or what he thinks the reaction is gonna be after he hits it he is uh, lining up shoots wow what a shot Pick that ball clean without moving anything else. So it's a fantastic shot. He has the point. So, okay, court eight, just a score update. It's a tie game, 7-7, seven, seven, San Marino, Chile. Okay, Rodolfo points back on this court, back on this court. He points, he makes the point again. Let's see. And, yep, San Marino's going to shoot one more time here. Um, again, he has to be careful of the ricochet, so he's going to need a precise shot, Rafa shot here. Let's see if he can pull it off. Shoots. Yeah, that was a bad break. Again, he had to be up, and he had to have a perfect shot there. And it might be two points for Chile right now. So let's see what the referee ends up saying here. Yep, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna come for point. He's not gonna ask that question. And right now he needs to put a really good ball in to make it difficult for Rodolfo, but Dolph's already blowing on his hands down there, and he's just going to shoot no matter what because he's going to try to stick this ball to make three points to get him a little bit closer to the, close the deficit. Got set, shoots. Oof, he hits it clean. He didn't stick it like he wanted, but he still made two points. So, um, so that brings the score 10 to 3 for San Marino. So again, games this game is has peaks and valleys, right? Ups and downs for every player. So game's never over until that man you hit that magical number of 15. So let's see if Rodolfo can change the momentum here and get some points here. 
again, he's playing it in that bolo zone. And uh, he's pointing. Looks like a good ball. Very good ball, actually. So it's going to, you know, let's see what some Marino uh, player wants to do here. Okay, he decided he's going to shoot the Polino. He doesn't want the Polino that short. So he's going to try to hit that Polino. As you see, he takes his time, sets, shoots, misses. He pulled that one, came across his body. So now, now he might be in a little bit of a pickle there because he committed and he might be committed to do it again. Right now, they're having a discussion that uh, San Marino shot the ball and it did not pass the D-line, which would not be a good shot. The referee did not see that, but the Chilean player decided to tell the San Marino that that's what he saw. So let's see if he can make an adjustment here. He's doing it again, and this time he hits it, but he just touches it. So again, this is tough because some uh, the Chilean player has the ability to shoot and stick and and he can lose a lot of points so he might just shoot the Paulino again he's waiting for his partner on the other court because he's taking a shot and yes some Marino the player he's going to shoot the Paulino again he's committed he does not want to leave the Paulino there he knows he can lose a ton of points if he points, so he's taking this risk. He shoots and he misses. All right. So some questionable strategy here on the San Marino part. He felt confident in making the shots. Unfortunately, he had missed a few. We'll see here. He's shooting again. Oh, he needs to hit this, otherwise it's four points for Chile. Let's see, lining up, follows through, and he misses. Yes, yeah, so he is uh, conceding the four points. Uh, it's a professional courtesy a lot of times in these uh, high games because of the caliber of players that uh, if there's a lot of room, they don't let the players throw the ball. They just concede those points that they have. So this game has gotten a lot closer right now. The score is 10-7 to 7 for San Marino. And wow, the uh, court next to them, their uh, counterparts, it is 10-7 to 7 for Chile. So we have the same score, just opposite teams winning here and wow Chile just had a big opportunity to keep the pressure on San Marino but lagged a long ball that's that's tough you have you have the momentum and you, you give it up let's see if San Marino can recoup though from those misses and he puts a nice ball in there so let's see it's uh and He's shooting. Wow, Chile's gonna shoot. Even if they don't have a good ball, he is shooting. Oh, shot the Palino? Okay then. Okay, he shot the Palino. My bad guys, I thought he was shooting the ball. But he shot the Palino, he hit it, and then he hit his other ball, so he has two points down here. So, it's, uh, well, it's an uh, interesting uh, turn of events here. Made this game a little more interesting. The pressure uh, San Marino must be feeling a little bit more. Just to give you updates on the USA-Italy um, game. Uh, court 10, Italy is up 14-6. And in Court 9, Italy is up 12-5. And now back, San Marino just pointed an amazing ball. That is fantastic. 
So uh, Rodolfo from Chile now is going to get set to try to uh, raffle his ball out. So let's see what uh, what happens here. Shoots, he hits, and he gets that bounce. See that bounce off that back wall to knock his ball closer. So it worked out for the best for him to knock it closer. Um, San Marino is going to have a choice here on what to do. If he's going to go for point or if he's going to sh maybe shoot point ball. Or he's asking how many points. And it is only one point for Chile right now. So let's... Uh, Oh, he's going to point, okay. He's going to go for point. I mean, he did put a beautiful ball in there last time. Let's see if he can duplicate that shot. He has the line, but he's firm, it looks like, maybe. Because it doesn't... Oh. Nope. He's just crooked. And, nope, not enough. So it's still Chili's point. One point for Chile here, so let's see. I don't think he has any other choice but to come for point again because he can't risk moving that Paulino on a shot and giving Chile multiple points, so he's going to see if he can sneak another ball in there. As he's lagging, that is a little bit different of a line. Will it get there? Well, it yeah, will. Is it going to stop? He needs to touch that Paulino. He does. What a shot. That was a perfect ball. So now uh, Chile's coming down to take a look at what he can do. But it's dangerous here because, again, with the live back walls at the reaction you have, you don't know what's going to happen. They can either score big or lose three points here, depending on the ricochets. So let's see what he's going to do. He's blowing in his hands. That usually means he's going to try to shoot, but let's see. This is going to be a, a hard shot to pull off, but let's see if he can let's see if he can do this. Shoots. He hits it, and that's the reaction. That's the bad break. I think San Marino might have two points here, see? It was a risky move. That that backboard live reaction there, that, that heavy kickback that these boards have, he hit the ball so solid, it hit the Paulino and it made it kick back out. So let's see, they're measuring for two. San Marino did have one. That's... That could be a big swing here, especially after he just made, Chilling just made four points. Two points, San Marino. Holy cow, what a change. The score is 12 to 7 for San Marino. That was a, that was a, gift. Bad break for Chile. He hit the ball, but these back walls are so so swinging alive. It's hard to predict what's going to happen. So it was uh, yeah. Okay. Bad break for Chile. So we're at 12-7 to 7. Chile. I mean, I'm sorry. San Marino was winning 12-7 in their counterpart game on court 8. It looks like the score is 10-8 for Chile. Again, San Marino wins one game. They're into the finals. And just quick update, everybody. It looks like it's a final over against Team USA and uh, Italy. And Team Italy has beaten the USA. And they are moving on to the finals and uh, Team USA unfortunately fell short this year, uh, finished in third or fourth place. Um, so good try. Last time they had come in second, but uh, tough draws they had. So better luck next time to them. So 
Italy is in the finals, so we are down to the last semi-final game here with Chile and San Marino. And Chile had just shot, and again, bad bounces not going their way and put another perfect ball in for San Marino. So, so we'll see what uh, it's... Uh, one only, so he's gonna call the ball. He's shooting the ball off. Uh, let's see, he needs the hit. No, he came off on that one. He let it off go. He's talking to himself with anger. So let's see, he's gonna do this again. So let's see if we can correct that mess up. And he's such a great shooter. Oh, on the other side. Oh, this is dangerous territory. One ball left, and San Marino has three, and he's going. He's going for it. This is their aggressive nature. He's either going to hit it and keep the game alive, and he hits it. Let's see the back live, and look at this. The wall has not been a friend to Chile today, and it looks like he's given him the game. So much room. So we have a. Final here, Chile and San Marino. San Marino wins 15 to 7, and they don't have to finish the other game. So our finals are set. Italy against San Marino. This should be interesting. But we've seen some great bocce here this this week, and uh, we're going to have our special guests come here. Uh, Ian again to uh, recap what we've seen and probably take another little break I'm guessing but let's see so yes so Ian wow. what a, a turn of events this game was huh it looked like a runaway yep and then one end flipped Yep. The script, we've seen it before earlier today, yes. right, in the doubles, but this was dramatic, and the, yes. and then at the end... They were all dramatic. Again, yeah. Chile's aggressive play, they're in for it all. It's gonna, They're yeah. going to win or they're going to lose yeah. with the way they play. They didn't change. I would, nope. you know, personally would have changed a little bit, but that's not them. That's their style. They go for it, and this time they fell short again. That backboard <laughs> and these cords, their nemesis. yes, was not their friend. Mm -hmm. Was not. It's so hard to predict what's going to happen off those boards, and, and it killed them today. And it, that whole sequence where everything was kind of out front mm -hmm. and it was still kind of wide open, right? And then that one shot that pinned yes. Polino in the back. I mean, right off. I mean, we saw he's yeah, measuring it. It, so it was like, like nothing, that. Yes. just off the wall. And then it was blocked, and then now you go, what do you do? And well, he took the risk, and I was saying, if he hit, depends how he hits it, and we don't know how that back wall reacts with that live ball. Yeah. And he hit it so good <laughs> that it hit, and the Polino came and, and gave back. him two instead of the it one. Was, it, it, was, it just was that not was his wild. friend. I yeah, think, I think that was the wildest shot of the match. Yeah, it was it, not their friends. You no, know, and to see the way they closed it out and... You know, just concede at the end, just say, hey, you know, this is yeah. what it and, is. And, and again, that's that's the sportsmanship of the game, too, right? We know they're good enough. <laughs> Give them that. They're going to make it. So yeah. let's not waste time. Yep. You you deserve it. You got it. You won. San Marino so deserves the victory. They and do. And they go to the finals. Finals uh, Italy against, against Italy. San Marino. And it's <laughs> funny. Same country. Well, same region, land region. Yes. Different countries, yep. right? Different governments kind of thing. So Absolutely so wild. It's it's an amazing it's been an amazing day of play here and Italy finished it off over there against the US. They were just too much for them, yeah. it looked like. Yeah. It was just they had too much firepower. And right? and a couple of them it's the couple of the matches uh, for the US and Italy and San Marino and Chile, they were pretty they even. They were close, yeah. They're pretty even, but it was kind of the that one the heavyweights. Game, the heavyweights came did through it. and did it, and that's what they All do. All right. right? Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to step away wait. for a bit as I step up. Uh, I'm getting the wrap-up sign, so we're going to okay. step away for a little bit for a break as we set up the.
for the final finals. Finals, and the, the next match will be the finals doubles. doubles. We're going to have the doubles. Same and process as same this one. Thing. Doubles and two singles. <laughs> Let's hope they're just as exciting, guys. Absolutely. Okay, we'll be back after this short timeout. Okay.
And we're back here at Palazzo Debachi in Lake Orion, Michigan for the Palazzo Debachi 2022 International Invitational Bocce Tournament. And we are, have been, I should say, on uh, lane seven all day long. And here's Leo coming back after the break. Uh, we have Italy, San Marino in the finals for the doubles right here. It's uh, coming at you in just a moment. I want to thank some of our sponsors. We have uh, banners hanging throughout the, uh, the venue here. Without our sponsors, this event would not be able to take place. Uh, Oakland County, Michigan Board of Commissioners, thank them for helping out to uh, make this event happen. K Automotive Graphics, just down the road here uh, next to the uh, venue. And we have Detroit Spectrum Painters Incorporated, uh, UBS, Giffen, and uh, we already said K Automotive. Again, we're going to have uh, slides with all of our sponsors on it uh, to give them their due because without our sponsors, this event does not happen. Remember, these teams are uh, battling it out for a top prize of $10,000. So, yes, this is Ian Locke for Orion Neighborhood Television. Just uh, welcoming, you, welcoming you back. If you were tuned in to the, the last match we had on, um, on lane seven, it was a doozy. Uh, Chile uh, for San Marino bringing, <laughs> opened up their bag of tricks and playing to their strengths, and there were some solid plays, some miss hits, and some near misses. And it was just, uh, it was one of those matches that just really, really, uh, as, as a novice uh, bocce ball uh, uh, connoisseur, I guess you would say, <laughs> or a fan, um, I learned a lot during those matches. And just to see the skill level of these players is just off the charts. So uh, here we are, the finals. We've been waiting all week for this. It's finally here. And uh, the two teams are getting ready to uh, get situated here as uh, the finals are underway here. The doubles are first, and again, you have to win two out of three. So uh, taking the doubles uh, win in, it, it right off the bat gives you a huge advantage. And um, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Italy, heavy favorite here, but San Marino really showing their medal. Uh, bringing their A game, as we say, uh, uh, for this competition. Yeah, we want to thank all of you for tuning in all day. We've been streaming since, I believe, 10 a.m. Since 10 a.m., and uh, we're getting a little fatigued, but, hey, with all this uh, great action and the matches have been so competitive, so competitive that, uh, you know, what do we do now? Can it only get better? So, uh, sorry here, guys. I uh, got pulled away. So, okay. thanks for Are we ready? He wants in. a thumbs up for we're the We're ready. We're ready. If we're if you're ready. So, the okay. first time the referee asked if we were ready. Yeah, right? Uh, well, you know, this is the big game, <laughs> right? The this, this is what the, the three days have, have come down to. Finals. The championship finals. So, I filled in the best I could. A lot of ums, a lot of ahs. That's okay. <laughs> I've done that a lot too today. So, we're, we're all good there. So, so uh, do we. So, anyway. Uh, they're yes, about to get ready to go. They're going to get ready to Leo, go. Leo, do you have some uh, business to attend to uh, just before we get underway rolling here? Our tournament director is chatting with us here uh, as we are live on the stream, getting ready to go. Gave the referee the thumbs up and about ready to go, cleaning up the, uh, the lane, doing a nice job. Uh, to, to give you an example of kind of the physicality of these games, uh, prior to the the last game we had on air in lane seven, a chunk of the tile was dislodged um, and on the playing surface due to um, the bocce balls flying all over the place. So I'm surprised these guys don't have helmets out here or steel toe boots. First roll of the championship finals for doubles. Italy had honors and would you, would you know it? Nice roll there. Nice roll there, and uh, San Marino is up next. All right, how, 
house me away. <laughs> so okay, this is a house, start. Housekeeping. Uh, I'll take it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you got I, this. I can go. As I'm I done for the day, through, right? You already got uh, <laughs> uh, compliments uh, in the comments section on YouTube as we are uh, streaming this live, saying great insight from our announcer. I know they're not talking about it me. It has to be you. It can't be me. So. <laughs> All right, Leo. I'm gonna hand it over. Okay. As perfect. It looks and like uh, we're resetting. We're here. resetting. It looks like he missed like a, a shot fault. that he was doing. So. Okay. They had to reset. I'll leave you at it. And everybody. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll talk uh, chat later. Share Hopefully after we're, this one. We're gonna see some great games here. Okay. Have a great All match. Right. Thanks. Okay, folks, this is it. This is the finals of this fantastic three-day tournament here. Um, Italy against San Marino. So let's see uh, if, uh, again, Italy is the powerhouse. They are probably the favorites here. Um, but, you know, they're never, they never know um, here, so... Um, it looks okay. The Italians are going. Let's see if this ball is going to... Okay, it's a good ball. Let's see if he has the speed to make the point. Again, very difficult shot playing down at the ends. And it looks like he's just short. So um, let's see what the Italians decide to do here. They're probably going to go... Um, oh, he's going to tell them to shoot the closest ball just trying to see if he can get some action down at the end and get maybe a little bit of luck let's see and again we're probably going to see a very methodical game and strategy here because you're playing uh he hits it he gets the ricochet and it looks like it kind of worked here so um okay they made the point and uh they're closer, but San Marino has two balls here. So let's see what uh, they decide to do and uh, if they decide to shoot or point. And uh, he's going to shoot. He decided he's going to shoot to see. Let's see what if he hits this and what happens. Again, that reaction against the board. Oh, it's been killing teams. He made the point better and gave him two points. It's just, this has been crazy seeing these live action boards here today. It's been, it's been frustrating for me, I'm sure for the players even worse, because this is not usually nor normal with these reactions. Oh, well, they're, they're gonna be aggressive here and they're gonna shoot. And maybe they can hit the Polino or Move things. Oh, he shot the first one. Well, he took one point away. Um, so it's, uh, or he missed. He was calling the point. So he missed. Okay, so he, he missed a shot. So uh, Italy has two points holding with Afonso Nani having a ball to try to uh, make three to start off the game. I'm wondering if... San Marino teams might have a little bit of jitters because, again, Italy's daunting uh, history. And, uh, you know, they're just always the favorites. So I'm wondering if there's any intimidation factor here. And, wow, what a beautiful ball by uh, the Italian player, Alfonso Nanni. He, he uh, pointed such a great ball. And uh, so they made three. They start off three to zero. So Italy up three zero. So this was going to be uh, an interesting um, battle of the placement of the Polino because they seem both to like it long and in the middle normally. So I'm wondering if that will change depending on how this game goes. Okay, Emilio Benedetti is the pointer here for the Italian team. And he sets up and he uh, goes again. This court has that left to right break and he, it looks like he read it perfectly. It's a great ball behind the Polino. Very difficult shot. Gives him very few options. You know, it's almost he has to point, forces him to point on a ball like that. or or shoot the Palino Rolla, but they are gonna point. They're gonna see if they can do the same thing.
Okay, the Sambarino player again. He's been pointing lights out to you today. And look at this ball. Wow, it's fantastic ball here. So it looks like uh, they are playing with very similar balls. It looks like those San Marino has the yellow in the ball. So that's just something to keep uh, to keep track of, okay? Uh, yellow San Marino, more red it looks like in the Italian ball. And Alfonso Nani shoots. Eddie, it's a beautiful ball. He hit it spot on clean and Let's see if San Marino can uh, can duplicate his first ball because it looks like Italy has two points right now. Okay. San Marino goes. It looks like another good ball. It's going to filter in, touches. Is it going to hold though? Let's see if it held. Um, it's uh, that was a good played ball, just a tad hard. So uh, we have up on the screen is the doubles match. We have Afonso Nani and Emilio Benedetti from Italy, and Giacomo and Enrico from uh, um, San Marino. So well, let's hope that this will be a great game again. They have played against each other many of times, coming from the same region. Um, so the familiarity of these players will come into play. Um, and strategy, and look at these balls. They are just, oh, what a bad break on that Polino. It came back. Emilio pointed a beautiful ball, but the Polino just filtered a little to the left, more for San Marino. So let's see what the Italians decide to do. If they got one ball left, um, it's going to be dangerous to shoot because you give San Marino a chance to shoot with one ball taking both the Italian balls out. So let's see, because it's early, they might want to force the issue, but that's what they're talking about right now. They're talking, they're having a discussion here. It looks like they're gonna go for a point. So Nani is gonna is, is putting himself down and he's gonna try to lean up against the San Marino ball. Let's see if it holds. I don't know if it'll hold, but if he can filter right in between those two balls at the right speed, he's gonna make the point. Let's see if he made the point. I haven't seen a call yet. He has not made the point, so it's still San Marino ball. They might just take one point, and they are. It's They're just going to take the point. It's too dangerous there to risk. Uh, you know, you have a point in hand. Take the Palino and put it where you want it and go from there. So the score is Italy 3, San Marino 1. Let's see the position of the Palino here. So, again, uh, the San Marino team is playing it in the middle. Um, kind of like where they both like it. So let's see what adjustments they're going to make as the game goes on here. Here he comes. Again, they've, San Marino has played back-to-back uh, -back games here, so they are familiar to the court compared to the Italians that have not. Um, let's see if that's going to make a difference in the long run. Okay, good ball by San Marino. Let's see, you know, of course, there's going to probably be a lot of pointing in this game because that's what they do. They're more finesse, and Emilio is a spot on. Look at these balls that he is. He looks like he has the rhythm right now. San Marino decides they're going to shoot. It's a Rafa shot. He's, he's getting himself set. Lining it up. Takes off, shoots, and he hits a perfect ball. Takes it clean without moving anything else. So that was a great shot by San Marino. Let's see if uh, Benedetti can do this again, that he did the first ball. Again, 
the caliber of these players and the skill is is just amazing to watch and the consistency as you saw the line was the same just that speed was just a little off where he couldn't uh, stop the ball to make the point so his partner Nani is, is getting set he's going to try to point and He's lining up. Let's see if it's going to hold the line. Looks good. Yes, good ball. So his partner picked him up here, and that was a great ball. Um, let's see what the uh, San Marino team, you know, they do have an advantage of balls here, but they're going to go for point. Again, uh, very, very uh, strategic plays here. I don't think you're going to have a lot of the um, uh, risk taking that the last game saw with Chile. So, but when you can point like that, why do you got to take any risks? So, it looks like he's debating if he's going to. His partner is telling him to shoot, so he's going to shoot. And again, you got to be careful because you can ricochet and hit your ball and still leave them with the point. So let's see if he can take this. And he's gonna try to stick it. All right, he hit it. Great shot, picked it clean, and kept the point. So San Marino still has one ball though, so let's see if he's able to, uh, to come back and make that point. Hmm. Oh. He's, they're talking about, sh they're going to shoot Volo here. They're not going to take it. It's interesting. I would think they would point, but they're going to shoot Volo. He, he must feel comfortable here to, sh to a point. I mean, there is a lot of room there. Is that what they're talking about? I mean, he told the referee to mark it, but I don't know if that's... Uh, that's going to happen. I don't know. So he's, his partner is telling him where to... Where to point, but yeah, the, he decides he feels more comfortable shooting. So let's see. Again, anything can happen when you shoot with that last ball and uh, the ricochets. And let's let's see if he can pick this clean. Shoots, hits, and it did. He hit it clean. And again, by shooting that volo shot, gives him a better opportunity of less uh, action of ricochets on the court. So that was a beautiful shot by the. San Marino player, and now we are at uh, three to two for Italy. They are on top. So let's see here. It looks like he played the Paulino in the Volo zone. Hmm, interesting. But still in the middle, but in the Volo zone. So. goes he's pointing it seems a little firm yeah he's a little long on that one that's not a good ball against the Italians again they do make mistakes but rarely so let's see oh he don't he didn't like that ball you saw that reaction as soon as he threw it he, he pushed it he felt that it's long he knew instantly yeah Maybe he might have got lucky, but he uh, he did not like that. But he's going to measure. Referee's going to measure. And we're going to see. He did make the point. Wow. Okay. He's not happy, though, with himself. And looking at his facial expression and his hand movements, uh, he's very... Uh, Passionate. Okay, so uh, Giacomo rolling from San Marino. And uh, okay, I mean, again, not the best ball, but enough to make the point. So let's see if uh, Emilio can uh, make up for his mistake from last time and adjust and put a nicer ball in it. And it looks looks good yeah that's he he fixed his problem there that's a beautiful ball and i think it's just a volo shot here so 
Let's see how we yell. It's just one, so we can, it's not a Bersaglio, so he does have to declare if he has any shooting follow, so he's marking it up. Let's see, um, let's see what he does here. Enrico is lining himself up, trying to decide what the best line is here. You know, you have to be careful because he hits it. Could ricochet his other balls out, but it can also ricochet the Italian. So, all oh, matters how he hits it. And he hits it, and yes, he, great shot, but just hit the ball on the wrong side and caused the reaction to move his other balls out of the way and gave the Italians the point. So, bad break, and that's a frustrating shot when that happens. You hit a good vol shot, it's hard enough as it is, and then that happens. So, let's see how he comes back from that. They're, we're talking about maybe he's shooting the Polino, but... Um, no, his partner's telling you the point, so let's see if uh, what happens. Up. Enrico Rose. Again, San Marino just played their games on here, so they are quite familiar with the course, and that shows on that throw there. Throws a beautiful ball, but you know, Nani has two balls here. The Italians have two balls. They're gonna shoot, and they. Uh, that's hard. That's hard to overcome when you leave them with two balls at the, the plate level they are. And he sets up. He's going. He shoots. And he hits it. What a beautiful shot. Let's see what they're looking at here. They're going to go for two. They're giving them the two points because there's a lot of room. Again, that professional courtesy. So we are at a score of five to two for Team Italy against San Marino. So we've seen some great pointing, some great hitting, but also some bad luck here on the after set shots on the San Marino side. So let's see if that corrects itself. Yeah, now Italy's gonna play it a little bit to the side and longer, so they changed it up a little bit. We were wondering how long that would take uh, for him to do. So. Maybe new points. Looks good. Line is great. That's a fabulous ball, man. That's stellar. So, there we go. Enrico's from San Marino's getting ready to to line up to shoot Rafa here and he, again it's a Bersaglio so we can hit either or there so lines up shoots and he hits it clean and his ball stays close so the great shot here so Emilio has to go again here let's see if he can repeat his uh, his performance He might think it's a little light the way he's following it. That's usually what that means when they, they start walking behind it. See, they're trying to give it that little body English. Of course, it doesn't help, but we all do it when we play. But it's still a great ball. So let's see what uh, some real decides to do. I think they're going to have to shoot. They got the point. If it goes clean, doesn't move anything else. So, yes, they are going to shoot. Go sets up. Getting ready. Shoots. Yes, he hits it. And again, his ball stays closer than any of the Italian balls. So San Marino right now is two points. So let's see if yeah, the, they're gonna they're gonna point. Okay, they're gonna make him play long. So again, a different strategy. They're gonna put a ball long and force them to. Uh, oh, maybe not. 
He didn't listen to his partner, it seems like. I mean, he played it a little bit longer, but I don't think that's where his partner wanted him, where, you know, he originally had talked about, but... Okay, let's uh, see what... Samir, oh, okay. Enrico tells his partner to shoot. Let's, uh, they're, they're, they're playing aggressive here. He needs to shoot twice, and he can make uh, four points if he hits correctly. He shoots, and he missed. Ouch. Yeah. The, the tides turns fast when you miss a ball like that. You have ball advantage and you miss and now you're gonna you're gonna leave it to the Italians and he, he's gonna shoot again. I think his his strategy is to come to just leave him with one maybe. Yeah, that was a strategy. Yeah, they want they, they're just gonna give up the one point and move on. Okay, so okay. So very interesting because you know Alonso Nani has a a stellar backhand throw to stick a lot of balls, so they were afraid to give up two points, and instead they gave up the one point by him hitting their point. So we are at a total of uh, six to two for Italy. Again, very close games, one or two points at a time, except the opening frame, but. Um, Again, on a bad luck shots there, so there we go. I mean, no rolls. Let's see uh, if he likes it or not. Uh, he is going to love that ball. Yes, yes, he is. He is very dramatic with his uh, uh, movements on the court, as we can all see here. Um, so let's. Um, Enrico is it's a Bersaglio, but uh, in Europe they when it's a Bersaglio they call Bellino, but here in the United States and international rules is they it's either or is good and that's what he did and it worked out for the best for him. Look at that, he shoots a, that is his ball I believe. Yes. So um that was shot. It went well right next to his ball, and the Italian, it's only one, so it's not Bersani, so they gotta declare what they're gonna hit, right? Okay, he's gonna call the Polino. So they're gonna try to kick the Polino back to his other ball with a little bit softer of a shot that he normally shoots. He throws, he's gonna come down and hit on the right side, he does. Now, is it going to get over enough? Let's see. Yes? No? I did not see what the referee called, so... Oh, it must be the point because uh, Giacomo is getting ready to throw for San Marino, and he gets set, and he rolls, and... That's, uh, um... It looks like a very good ball. Yes, very good ball on his end there, keeping the pressure on the Italian team to do, to uh, force the issue and make points. They're not going to shoot; they're going to have a point, and uh, they're good enough to make these points. Just if they got to find the right line here, and, uh, and there he goes, He's following the ball. I'm guessing he thinks it's short by his mannerisms of. Yeah, and it looks a tad short. Yep. A tad short. So let's see what uh, Alfonso Nani does, his partner, um, here. Um, he's going to go for point. Here, oh. oh, okay. You know, Emilio tells his partner to shoot because his ball, he thinks his ball is good enough. Even though the San Marino team has two balls left. Interesting. Let's see what happens. He shoots, he hits, but that ricochet is a killer today. Look at that. It went back closer than what it was. You just... Uh, these boards are, are playing havoc on strategies these players normally do. So, something... They, uh, they're having a hard time adjusting to. 
So San Marino has one point. And Giacomo, oh, he had a golden opportunity here, and he made it short. That's, mm, that's tough. That's tough, but it happens. Let's see what Enrico does here. Lines up, rolls. Let's see if he can uh, sneak a ball in here. The line looks good. Speed seems well from here. And, yep, two points. Great ball by Enrico there. So San Marino scores two. So we are at a score of six to four for Italy right now. Okay, so uh, Giacomo and Enrico are uh, conversed a little bit there to see what they're going to do with the Palino. And, boy, they're, uh, they're deciding to play it short in the Volo zone. So... A reverse from what they did against Chile, right? They, against Chile, they always played long and kept it out of the Volo zone. And now they, they switched it up and decided to play in the Volo zone. So. Right. Giacomo rolls the ball. Great line, but a little firm. Thankfully, he touched the Polino. Let's see if he moved it too much. Nope, everything is good, so it all worked out. But it is a Bersaglio, so the Italian team can shoot this Rafa if they want, because it is a Bersaglio with the Polino. And yes, he's going to shoot at Rafa. Let's see. Alfonso shoots, he hits. Let's see what happens back in the board. And nope, he did not make the point. It is still San Marino's point. So let's uh, let's see. I mean, I was lining up, deciding where to stand here. What's the best course? Okay. Oops. There was a referee that came in on the back end to mark balls, um, and so Emilio backed off to let him do it, and this way he's uninterrupted. Uh, he was in his uh, sight, so he is pointing, and it looks like a very good ball also. Yes, very good ball, and that is not a Bersaglio, so they either got to hit the ball, point ball, volo, or they have to shoot the Polino Rafa. So let's see what they decide to do. They're going to shoot Bolo here, so Again, every ball counts in these types of games because they're so good, you can't make a mistake. So that's a great shot by Enrico. It looks like two points maybe for them. Let's see if the ref what the referee says. Yes, two points for the San Marino team. So let's see. Uh, Yes, so they say it's just going to go for a point. I think they're going to make them do it again. Can they repeat that? Okay, he's pointing. He's not happy with the direction of the ball. But, you know, it's short. That's where you want it. Because, again, you have those reactions that it can hit something. Uh, yeah, San Marino is going to shoot at Bolo, and Rico's going to try to duplicate what he just did. And uh, that's that's huge because they do have the ball advantage with two points. They could have a big frame here, maybe. Uh, he needs to hit this, though. Sets up, shoots. He does, but he just hits it on top. But he still made the point. Let's see. Okay, so... They only have one, so it's a big. That's a big difference. It's a big difference from having three to one. So he hit the ball, but just too much on top of it, it's on the top of the head of the ball, as they say, not in front of it. So it brought it down. So let's see. Let's see what he's going to do here. He's going to shoot the Polino. Okay, he's going to shoot the Polino. He's going to give up two if he misses. If not, they can might might score big. He shoots. He sh hits it, and let's see what happens. Oh, I heard some ricochet. They're throwing up their hands. Can't see what's going on quite, but it looks like, oh, let's see. They're measuring, they're measuring a point here. 
It's close. Uh, Enrico saying that it's close. So let's see what. Um, Whose point this is? Albert's measuring. Goes in. You get a really good view here of how he's measuring and seeing. He's trying to see who's closest. He measured uh, San Marino's ball first. It looks like it's the it Italy's point, but it's so close. He's double checking here. You know, again, we're playing for such high stakes, and you can't make a mistake. You just gotta, you gotta make sure. You don't want to cost these teams a chance of winning the uh, the grand prize. Oh, San Marino's asking for a better measurement, so they're asking for inside measure with. Uh, Let's see what uh, what he's going to get. He's going to go get the tape measure and see if that will give him a better idea. So, again, every point is critical here when we're in the finals and uh, talking about the prize money that's involved. Um, again, thanks to all the sponsors for uh, helping Palazzo Di Bacci pull this amazing event off I couldn't have done it without them so it is let's see whose point it is it's the Italians point um, ball so they're going to shoot the point it looks like let's see what he does shoots hits Great shot. He has two points. Two points. Two points for San Marino. Wow. Great shot by Giacomo. This is, uh, again, kind of game we're expecting from two top teams. Um, six to six tie game in the doubles uh, final game here at the Palazzo di Bacci. 2022 International Invitational. Again, they're putting the Polino short. They're um, switching it up here from their last game, and it's been working so far. So it's uh, six to six here. But again, there's no. If you look at these players, they don't uh, blink when it comes to close games because they're so used to it week in and week out when they play back at home so it's a great ball they're going to shoot the Polino the Italians are decided let's change this up let's get rid of it let's see it's a hard target to hit because it's so small he hits it but he just nicks it um, but makes it a little bit easier to make the point here so this the point should be easy to make Emilio gets down, gets in his routine, rolls the ball. Let's see, he thinks it's a little fast by his mannerism, but it looks pretty darn good to me here. That's a great ball. It's in back. He's going to have to shoot that ball off the side, or they got a comfort point. So let's see how they um, decide to play this. But his ball goes out of play. It hit the fence. So one less ball for them. So that can uh, play a big part in the game. I think the Italians are talking about it to shoot the Polino because of what just happened. But maybe not. I maybe mean, they decide to go for point. So let's 
Let's see where Amino puts this ball. Good ball. Again, similar to the last one. He's hoping it for on the Polino. Oh my. Oof. Just came off. Just came off. He wanted to put it right on the Polino. But now this is a Bersaglio. So it gives the opportunity for Enrico to make a Rafa shot instead of the Volo shot. So uh, let's see though. The, the Rafa shot's risky because you can move the Polino. But he's still going to do it. I think he's going to give it a little bit more art to try to jump it so yes perfect shot by Enrico two beautiful balls that he's hit so now it's up to Alfonso Nani and he's lined up already they had already predetermined what was going to happen here it looks like he is shooting the Polino so they can make four he shoots he misses he gives San Marino three points wow What a swing here. So three points for San Marino. It brings it nine to six here. Very interesting game. But again, these games are played the 15, so there is uh, a lot of game left. And it's been a long day, long few days for all these players. So let's see if they can hold up uh, under the uh, these tournament conditions they've played in. Um, so again, the uh, San Marino team decides to put it in that app, Bono zone. So, uh, Giacomo gets set, he's rolling. Um, looks a little, oh, like, yeah, a little long, but still a great ball. So, let's see. Alfonso and uh, Emilio are discussing. Uh, let's see what they decided. Paulino, I'm guessing, by the angle he's taking. Yes, he's going to shoot the Paulino Rafa. Shoots. Hits up in the air and out of play. So, here we Another time the Paulino jumped out of the court, but it was a valid shot, so it automatically starts over. Nobody gets decide if it does or doesn't so okay let's do that frame over again again the score is nine to six for San Marino uh, very uh, intense game here You're seeing some precision shooting and pointing uh, had a few bad breaks on both sides of uh, bounces so let's see who can withstand those breaks and come out as victors here. Okay, Jackal lines up, gets ready. And he points the ball. Okay, again, very good ball, very similar to the last one, just a little more on the side. Again, the Italians made the decision right away, shoot the Polino. Let's see if he can, Nani can hit it again like he did last time he shoots, he misses. Wow, okay then. Uh, I think they are committed again. They have to shoot it again. Once you commit to shoot the Polino on that first ball, you gotta do it again. Again, these guys are such great players. Missing twice in a row is a rarity, but it, it happens, so let's see what he does. Nani's go shoots, and he hits it. Great shot. Knocks it down. Might not have gone where he wanted, but the game has changed here. So the game is long again, and uh, let's see what uh, Giacomo points. <laughs> again, it's a very difficult pointing at the end because the courts toward the end get a little bit more faster. So the speed is very important to to find that right spot uh, and uh, let's see where this is going it's a good ball that made the point so yep. just good enough to make the point especially with uh, a uh, two uh, with a ball advantage they have Emilio's getting set for point and usually these are pretty routine with that much room but when you're in the finals and 
you have so much riding on it, things, you know, aren't so easy anymore. Let's see if he's short. No. No. Hey, might be short, but he has the angle, so let's see what the referee is going to call. Um, Albert goes and sets marks. Does the same thing on this end. Set marks. Yes, I mean, they did make the point, so let's see. I would be a betting man. He's going to shoot the ball. Enrico, especially the way Enrico's been shooting. He's, uh, he's been dialed in here on his shot. So I think that's the conversation they're having. I think his partner, Giacomo, wants him to point, and I think he wants to shoot. He's just feeling it right now. Yeah, okay, they're talking about now if he's going to shoot where he's going to line up where... Okay, he made the signal to shoot the ball, so he's gonna do a Rafa shot. Long way away, 87 feet, 88 feet long, so it's not such an easy shot, but they're used to it. He shoots, and he hits it, and he hit it perfect, so what a great shot. It might be two points, one point still. One point for San Marino. Okay, they're down to the last ball, so I mean, you know, as, to roll in to try to make the point. Let's see what he does with this ball. Mm. He uh, stopped and reset. Now he sets and throws. Let's see. Its ball is rolling. It's rolling. It looks good. Now is it short? I don't know. Again, he's putting that. It looks good enough. Yes, looks good enough. So. They're going to shoot again. again. Now could be a little dangerous. You have that ricochet with that Paulino with these boards. So let's let's see. He's going to he's calling it. It's a Rafa shot. So Enrico sets. Maybe taking a little longer than normal. Gets going. Shoots. Hits the ball perfectly. Let's see what happens on the ricochet. One point. One point San Marino. Okay. So the score is 10 to 6 for in favor of San Marino here. San Marino's just plugging away one point at a time. That's, you know, perfect strategy. Keep the Polino, keep scoring. That's a recipe to win these games here. Oof, oof, oof. He did not throw the Paulino over the line. He just lost the Paulino. That's, that can be devastating. Now you're giving it back to Italy, and of course, it's deep. They're playing it deep and against the board, and, and uh, so let's see how this changes the whole play the game okay Jack almost sets up is pointing looks pretty good though uh, looks pretty good maybe a tad short um, yeah I mean you'll think so yeah this you got this so let's see That's points. Looking good. That's a great ball he played. What a ball. Great ball from Emilio. And of course, uh, Enrico's uh, going to get set to shoot. He shot a lot already this game, but he's been hitting. He's been... Uh, uh, on his game here. Getting set. And shoots. He hits a great ball. So. Mm -hmm. So San Marino has the point. And let's see, the Italians are discussing, do they wanna maybe be aggressive and shoot and stick their balls but no 
So they're going to point. Here he goes again. I mean, he's playing. That's a great line. As long as it doesn't touch the board, you're good. Good line. Great ball by Emilio there. It's a little more difficult for him to see, so I think they're going to have to point uh, because of where the ball... I mean, they put the ball, and yes, yes, Giacomo's going to go for point here. Let's see if he can uh, make this point. Okay, he threw it, but he threw it a little out, but it should drift back in as it is. But does he have the speed? Does it have the speed? Is it going to go? It's good. close. Let's see. I don't know if he made the point or not. He did not make the point. So Enrico has to go. So let's see if he's going to go and try to nudge his ball up to score the point. Or he's going to try to shoot. Ball. Let's see. No, he's going to point. He's just directing him on where to line up and what the target is to roll towards. Okay. He's setting. Good point. And he rolls. What a smooth coming off his fans. What a roll he has. And it's coming and looking good. Looking good. Is it just short? Mm. Let's see. Could that little bump of health make the point, or is it still short? Robert's measuring here. Okay. And he goes back. It looks, still looks like it's Italy's point. He has not made the point, so it's still Italy's point. So let's see what uh, what they're going to decide to do here. I, I, I think they're going to just play them, try to put another one in because they got the Polino, they score the point, and, you know, he's going to try to make it come on the outside, maybe. Okay, there's a little bit of a discussion I think Alfonso wants to come and look. He has permission for the referee to go and look at the game for himself and uh, take a few extra seconds to talk it over with his partner. Um, so yeah, so those are close. Those are going to be hard to point more points in there, but let's see if it's... Like, us see if they can do it. Again, here we're in the finals of the doubles. Um... San Marino is up 10 to 6 uh, in the powerhouse Italy right now. But the game is 2.15, so there's plenty of time. Let's see what they have decided. Oh, they're going to take one. Wow, two balls in hand, and they're taking one. Okay, they're, they're, they're in the mentality of let's take the one and get the Palino. And, you know, again, th this was a cause of Giacomo in that frame making the Palino short and giving it back to the Italians to throw. So let's hope that doesn't come back to taunt them a little bit here. So, um, okay, Miguel puts it again in the Rafa zone. He's pointing. Might be a little short this time. Yeah, it's a little short. Okay, I mean, respectable, decent, but he's not happy with it. Unless it's on the Palino, they're never happy with it. Uh, Bocce players are greedy when it comes to that. So, there he goes, Giacomo's lining up, but uh, Giacomo made the same mistake maybe. Wow, he's short. Is it sneak around? He snuck around, maybe. So let's see. Albert has to double check with a measurement. 
he did make the point. So it looks like Amino's just gonna go for point. He's gonna try to make it. He feels that that's an easier point to make. Okay, let's see he, uh, how his ball is falling back into his. If he touches it, he can make two, and it looks like he made two. That's a great play by Emilio. Uh, so. Let's see. Yeah, the, yeah, the uh, San Marino team has no choice but the point. So yeah, let's see if Giacomo can come through and make these points here. Is it going to come off the board? It's short. Wow, he's not happy with that. He knows it. He couldn't. He didn't need that there. Again, you left. You have a ball advantage, and now you uh, you leave Nani with two balls to and two points. This this could be a big swing. Okay, they're going to take the. They're going to shoot the Polino. They realize that. Let's see if uh, Enrico can uh, pull this one off here. Sets, shoots. Oh, that was, he was shooting the ball. What a shot then, I misunderstood. So he called the ball and the ricochet he planned on trying to hit the two balls with uh, with the one, and he did it, and they have some Reno has two points. Wow, let's see. Well, okay, so now they're going to shoot. The hand's going to shoot the front ball of some Reno. He's going to try to stick and maybe do the same thing. Nope, did not work out. He was trying to stick. It would have been two points if he could have took both their balls out. So. Let's see, he's going to tell him to shoot again. So, maybe he's telling him the point. No, he's going to have him shoot again. Okay, he's gonna shoot again. Let's see how this one goes. He's probably gonna try to stick it as he turns his hand. He wants to keep it close to the Paulino, and he can look at the shot. Just had a little bit too much English on that ball where it came out. But so they have three. But San Marino has his up all left, and that's a lot of room. Unless he really makes a mistake, it's. Uh, Looks like San Marino might score here, but let's see how he throws this ball. Sometimes when it's too easy, we lack concentration, but it doesn't look like that. Yep, good ball by Enrico here. Great, 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 great ball. So he made the, he made the point, so. San Marino scores, so we're 11 to seven here, everybody. Looking good here. Great game. Some uh, interesting decisions being made. And um, so let's see if the Tangs keep uh, playing their same strategy here because it's it's not their normal. It doesn't seem like so. It might be there. Might be. Sh Shooting right away at the Paulino again. That's what they've been doing. Just, I guess, depends where Giacomo puts the ball. Uh, it looks like a very good ball here by Giacomo. And he's going to cover the Paulino, so he can't shoot the Paulino. So he's going to have to shoot full at his ball, at the point ball. So let's see what happens here. Marks the ball, remembers 40 centimeters between the bone the line. He has to land in between to make it be valid. He runs, takes his time, shoots, and he shots and sticks the ball. What a shot by Nani. That was a clutch shot. 
that's what he was trying to do before with his backhanded Rafa, but he he did this with the Volo, so but San Marino's gonna get uh, up already and they're talking about maybe shooting the Polino right away here instead of shooting the ball, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna uh, see what he declares. He declared the Polino, so he put the OK sign up in the air, meaning the Polino, and he sets not an easy shot um, at all, but let's see here, Ron shoots. Yes, Enrico's just been clutch today in this final match. He's been playing awesome with his shooting. So uh, Nani needs to get up. Now he's going to shoot. And let's see uh, again what um, he's going to shoot Rafa at the ball. Rides up and shoots. And he hits it. Let's, wow, look at the Polino guy. Look at that Polino. Incredible. And even the San Marino ball, look how far it came out from the back. These are incredible bounces. I mean, that was a beautiful hit by Nani, and the ball just came out. So let's see what uh, Emilio does here. Emilio Nani shot both of his balls, made both of his shots, but now Emilio's going to point. Going to see if he can uh, place his ball in a difficult area where um, if they shoot, something can break their way, right? He puts a beautiful ball in, but still open. And Enrico's just been on fire here this game. Let's um, let's see if he can keep it up. I mean, he's been hitting everything. And he's setting up. He's getting ready. He shoots. Oh my lord, he misses that one. Wow. Okay. He is human this game. Um, it looked like he was a little off rhythm there. He uh, pushed the ball on his, uh, didn't do his complete follow through. But, you know, he has a partner, Giacomo, that's capable of making this point, and he's thro it's thrown well. And he hit the wall. He hit the wall, the sideboard. Oh, what a mistake. So they're giving him two points. Uh, again, professional courtesy here. Ladder room, they're giving him two points. That was uh, a mistake there. Uh, so now we have a game of 11 to nine for San Marino. And uh, Italy has the Paldino. And uh, let's see if they keep throwing in the same spot. No, he didn't want it there. It just drifted off, it looked like. I mean, you know, had that look in his face after he threw it. So, yeah, so let's see. He's re, uh, trying to reconfigure his line that he was he's going to take to that. So... All right, he sets up, gets ready, and he rolls. Hmm. Let's see what ridge it takes. It should come down a little bit, but the speed was perfect. I mean, pin high is, and uh, that's, that's a good ball in that spot. Um, he did take in a different line that most people have throughout the day. But again, this is their first game on this court today where San Marino has played uh, their two games already here. So, you know, they have a little bit more of the knowledge of this court. And um, if you, let's see if he made this point. measuring looks like he made the point from the way he measured but it's close it's, yep he made the point okay 
Nani is uh, setting up here, getting ready to shoot in Rafa. He's going to shoot an open hand. He aims, he shoots, he hits, it goes clean. Textbook shooting by Nani this time. So he makes the point. And um, let's see if uh, Giacomo can uh, put the ball in again like he did last time. Okay. Here comes the ball. Looks good. Looks actually better than the last ball, uh, speed-wise. Uh, yes, very great ball that was. It's fantastic ball. So Nani's lining up. Getting in his stance. Gets ready. Shoots the ball. He hits it clean again. Fantastic shot by Nani. Let's see. I don't know how many points they have, though. Refer referee is taking a look. There we go. We got a better view. It looks like... Um, they only have one, so some Marino's going to shoot because it looks like they have two points that that ball goes and stays on the back wall. Oof, this is going to be a killer for the Italians. Let's see. Let's see if he can make up for his last miss. He does. Let's see what happens on the ricochet. Let's see. It, he has three points. Two. Oh, no, they called two. Okay. That ball just rolled out. That could have been a disastrous play for the Italians because it's 11 to 9 and we're playing to 15. If San Marino made four points, that would have been game. All right. Benedetti legs. He took uh, Giacomo's line here. Looks pretty good, but it's going to fade off, I think, uh, just a tad. But, hey, it's a good ball. He puts the pressure on Enrico. Again, with these weird bounces at the back of the court, we never know what can happen, right? We've seen it all day. So, let's see. Yeah. Enrico lines up. Gets ready. up, shoots, hits it, let's see, oh, oh, you can see those bad breaks, the balls at the end hit and caused the Italian ball to stay in that position, and it might be one point for Italy, whose point, nope, okay, San Marino may still had the point. That was close. These these backboards have been killing teams today, but they still scored the one. Okay, back into the Volo zone for San Marino. They're setting up here. Giacomo points. Great ball that just seems to be his spot right now. I mean, he's been pointing all over the place, but that's he likes that spot, it seems like. So Nani and Daimino talking, he declares the ball for Bolo. These are some big balls now for the Italians. They need to, to start scoring. And it's getting close to the end of the game. Okay, Nani hits. He keeps the ball closer than there. So one point for the Italians. As you guys all notice here, the demeanor of the Italian players in San Marino, they're very stoic. Um, for the most part, and uh, they don't they don't show worry. It seems like in their face, even after these after these balls, Jocko was just on fire. 
but he did put this one in Versalio, so allows Nani to shoot at Rafa. Which he's going to do, let's see. Gets up, shoots, he hits another beautiful shot by Nani. Now, now San Marino has to worry because they might shoot the Polino because they can leave the Italians. So yes, he is. Enrico's going to try to shoot the Polino because otherwise he can leave the Italians with four points. He's setting up here. Big shot for Enrico here. He does have two shots at him, even if he misses this one. But he missed. Wow. All right. He has to do it again. And in these caliber of games, they do it. Either they're going to score big or the other team's going to score big. But this can be a big swing because it brings the game to 13 12 if he misses. He goes taking his time, takes off. Shoot, he hits it. What a beautiful shot. And the Paulino went in that corner. Amazing. So they have three points right now, but the Italians still have two balls. So let's see what they decide to do. They're talking it over. Let's see if uh, maybe they try to hit one of their balls down and try to get into that uh, that pile into that corner. But again, with these boards, the way they've been reacting, there's no guarantee. So they might be better off shooting the San Marino's first ball and seeing if they can take out two as you see them discussing It looks like they're kind of at a loss here in the decision making, which is unusual. Let's see, he's uh, okay. He's gonna shoot the f his first. No, nope. okay. So he's he's gonna shoot his own first ball. He's gonna hope that he can get some uh, action down at the board where his ball stays. He shoots and then he sticks his ball close. How many points? And I think San Marino still has three points. So, uh, Italy needs to do something here because it's game. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Emilio decides to do here. This is a big ball. Okay, so. He wants, I mean, he wants to shoot the Polino, and his partner's telling him to shoot his ball in the end, and I would have to agree with his partner. But if he hits it right, this can be game. He hits it, great. If he doesn't, it's game for, oh, oh, look at this. It might work out. If it, it might work. Wow, what a shot. That worked out. One point for the Italians. That, he hit a perfect ball there. Clutch ball again. If he misses, it's game for San Marino. So let's see. We have a 10, 12 to 10 game for San Marino right now. Uh, game is tightening up. San Marino had a little bit of a lead, a little bit of a cushion, but the Italians are just nickel and diming their way back. They're fighting though for every point. Nothing is easy. change sides this time he went on the opposite side that he's been going on and let's see if this makes a difference Giacomo's been pointing out lights out on this side against Chile so it uh, I don't know if it's going to give him an advantage but that's a good ball by me though it's in front I think they're going to they're going to shoot it to open it up and that's yes let's see uh, Enrico is going to uh, line himself up. Get set. And shoots. He missed. Wow. Just, just 
by the slightest margin. That's tough. So he is. Uh, I think they're they might. No, they're gonna go for point. Mate. No, they're gonna shoot again. And Rico's gonna uh, try it one more time. Let's see what happens here. He's lining up. Let's see if he can hit this one. He shoots. He skins it. Wow, very close. Let's see the back ricochet again. But he did not make the point. So San Marino is again in in the back position here. The Italians have an opportunity to score, but San Marino has come up with some amazing shots to prevent that. So let's see what happens here. Again. Giacomo's been pointing outstanding all game, but it's specifically in that spot of the course. So they're going to, the Italians have to shoot, right? But this is, uh, they have to hit a half a ball to hit it clean without moving the Paulino. So it's going to have to be a precise shot by Nani. And he misses. Wow. So. Let's see, he has to line him, he has to shoot again. Again, the Italians have the ball advantage. And again, he has to get a precise shot so the Polino doesn't move. He lines up, he shoots. He hits a great shot, but he had bad ricochet at the end. And he made the point. It's his point. Okay. As we see the, the far view here. Um. Yes, so the Italians have a point, and their other balls are all at the back there. So let's see, Giacomo's going to point, and he's probably going to try to put the same thing and keep the pressure on. It's diving to the board, but okay, just missed. Again, great balls by Giacomo, keeping the pressure on the Italian team. He has to sh have another perfect shot to hit that clean to keep the point. Or, let's see, he's there, they're discussing and lining up, but that's how he's going to line up and shoot. Let's see what, uh, what happens. He gets up, gets ready. He's going to shoot a soft shot off the board. He hits it clean and makes it. Two points, it looks like. Yes, two beautiful shots by Nani and Emilio. The tightest game up. This game looked lost for the Italians at one point because they just weren't getting any breaks. But they are now came back and tied the game and... Wow, we seen that we saw this from Giacomo. He lost the Palino playing it short. And then Emilio just threw the Palino and hit the side. The Palino is such a big part of the game, but let's see, he does get to throw the first ball, so it's a little different now. So let's see what he does if he can regroup and put a beautiful ball in. As he rolls, looks like a great ball there. It is, and uh, Giacomo has already signaled his partner to uh, get ready to shoot Volo. But this has been an outstanding game, folks. Uh, we're, we're tying 12-12 in the finals of this 2022 Palazzo di Bacci International Invitational. We have San Marino against Italy in the finals, all tied up. Enrico's getting ready to shoot. Shoots, hits a beautiful shot, and his ball sticks around for the point. So, let's see what the Italians are going to decide to do. Are they going to try to shoot the Polino? They do that once. They're going to have to do it with all three balls, as we saw the uh, San Marino 
team do earlier in the game? Or do they point and hope that there's a a miss or a bad break on the San Marino team? I guess that's what they're discussing, and uh, they they are going to go for point. They're going to see if. like a great ball but again he's he was trying to put on the Polino he just can't get the proper direction of the ball even though his balls are good he just he just seems like he's off and he's not happy with his balls I mean we would normally love those type of balls but this caliber for play those those are not great but this ball is very important from Enrico if he hits it, it puts Italy in a uh, shoot, and he hits it. Oh, he got he almost ricocheted off his, but so they're not even waiting. Now he's setting up. Waiting for the referees to mark all the balls, so there's no. An air shot, they can put him back. He sets up. He's getting ready to throw. He shoots. He, oh, okay. It worked out in their favor. Polino hit. There he hits the Polino. Ricochets off San Marino ball, but came all the way back past the center line, which the means the frame starts over. That was a break for the Italian team here. So, and the advantage of that happening, the Italians gets the throw to Polino again. So, they can put it where he wants. Let's hope he doesn't, uh, there's not an arid mistake throwing it, and he puts it where he wants to. So, that was a fantastic shot by Nani, and had a little bit of luck. So, let's see here. We're discussing Polino placement here. Okay. Well, that's where he wanted it last time, but it had fell towards the board. But this one looks a lot better, and it's filtering out to the center. He doesn't look happy. He wanted it closer to the side, but let's see. He, he's being a roast the ball. It's got to hold its line again. They have not played on this court. They have not realized the left to right break sometimes on this. And uh, I mean, it's pin high, but let's see. Giacomo is confident of, uh, of his capability there. He's been doing it all morning, all day. And uh, there he goes, he's pointing. He's a little long. Looks like he's a tad long, yes. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see, Giacomo lines up again. He's going to try it again. Again, every ball counts when the game's so close. Does he have the right speed this time? Yes, this one looks really good. That's a fantastic ball. But here comes uh, Nani. He's going to set up to shoot. Let's see if he can pick this ball clean. He's going to shoot Rafa at the ball. As he lines up, look at the intense look in his eyes. He shoots. Oh, my. He, what a bad break. Beautiful shot, but then on the ricochet, his ball hits, the, moves to Polino, and gives the point to San Marino again. That was a tough break. He had it, hit it beautiful. Okay, Emilio's lining up here. Let's see if he can correct what he did last time. Again, left to right, as long as it doesn't get over that certain ridge on the court, he might be short. He made it short. 
Wow, that's that's tough here. God, San Marino still has two balls in hand with the point on the court. And Nani has one ball, so I don't know what... Nani is talking about shooting the Polino instead of pointing, so... Okay, his partner agreed, so... Let's see, again, he needs to make a perfect shot here. Get set. Run. Shoots. He misses. Okay. This is huge because San Marino needs two more points. He has a point there that brings him a 13 with two balls left. He has game in his hands to win the game. Let's see if if he can do it. Let's see if Enrico can. He's went down there. He's taking a look, taking his time. He put some chalk on his hand because his hand's sweating. Um, so they're talking it over the line. But again, they've played here already. So they do have a great idea of how this court plays. And... It's it's in their grasp for the victory against the top seeded Italian team. Let's see if Enrico can pull it off here. Again, very delicate line here. He has to hit it just right. Otherwise, it can go a little left in the, or it can go a little, take off a little right. So he has to be perfect. He sets, he rolls, he's going to play it off a little bit of a banana kind of shot, as you call it. If he has the speed, it's good. If he has the speed, I haven't seen the signal call, but his partner might be saying it's a little short. Wow. Let's see. He is measuring. Let's see what he this, the referee calls. He has to go back. Again, these are crucial points for the referee. Needs two points, the referee says. One more point, and Rico, if he can do it, he wins the game, and San Marino pulls up a big victory if he can do this against the Italians. But, you know, big pressure moment here. Um, a lot of people watching, and the court is very uh, finicky with its line, so let's see if he can do this. He pushed that one a little bit, it looked like. He pushed it. He pushed it. Is it going to stop? No. Oh, boy. This. Oh. San Marino scores two. They had that chance to win the game, and he was just long. And I guess if you look at the bright side, better to be long than short there to win the game. But that's heartbreaking when you have the opportunity. You know, he has to refocus here because the game's not over. And uh, let's see what they do. The game is 14-12 for San Marino. We have the score as a, there we go. We had the score a little mixed up here. So it's 14-12 for San Marino. Let's see what Giacomo does here. Big balls now here for everybody. Italians cannot make another mistake. Otherwise it's game and look at Giacomo. What a ball. That is fantastic positioning. Let's see what he is calling. Nani's calling Volo. He's waiting, referee's mark in the bolo line. Getting set. Getting ready to shoot. Shoot and hits and sticks the ball pretty much. So it really has a point. Good shot. Again, the Italians have been in these situations many, many times. So it's hard to rattle them or uh, 
to scare them off of uh, not winning. So let's see if um, what they can do here. Again, they shot, they stuck. They have a point. They have 12 points. Giacomo again with a great ball. So Nani is going to shoot this solo again. So there can be no mistakes here on, on the Italians' part. They do have a chance here to win the game if they execute every shot. And then they get set, gets going, shoots, and hits another stellar shot. The Italians have two points now. Again, the score is 14-12 here. And... Yes, and the San Marino team realizes that, and he's going to shoot the Palino. Enrico's committing to shooting the Palino. This can be, you know, game if he hits it or if he misses. Shoots, he hits it. What a shot from Enrico. Comes back after having the game point in his hands. He pulled it off. But you have one of the best in Italy, and Emilio Benedetti that can uh, make these points or shoot. Uh, he has every shot in the book. So, okay, he's, he's gonna shoot his first ball. Again, seeing if he can get some action at the back. He shoots, he hits. His ball needs to keep rolling, but it doesn't. So the Italians are down to their final ball. San Marino still has three points, but they only need one. They don't, so this is, um, let's see, let's see what he decides to do. They got a few options here. Nani's telling him to shoot. He's shooting that, that front ball of his from the angle. Let's see, big shot here. He shoots. He hits. He hits the Paulino like you wanted, but the ricochet does not. San Marino wins the game. 15-12. What a game this was. So San Marino is one game away from the championship. They now have to go into the singles. But again, the Italians are old pros here and they have the capability of winning these next two games with no problem. So San Marino has to stay focused and on top of their game here but what a game this was uh, you saw a lot of ups and downs from both teams and wow that's all I can say hopefully you guys uh, at home are enjoying these incredible shots and plays and yes and we got our special guest <laughs> back again wow I don't know you're not, ask, ask Joey not if I get the mic. mic's not working. They don't <laughs> want him to talk Check one, this two. time. Okay, Joey can hear me. I can't hear myself. Oh, there, there we go. it is. We're on. Uh, drama? Oh, wow. Anybody? <laughs> and we can't and think that it's going to get any better. And it just did from each round. Each game has been incredible here. It feels this is the championship yes. round. I mean, no doubt about it. The back and forth strategy yeah. I mean just it's un <laughs> you're speechless I, I, I and am. you don't even know the game that I don't, well right I you're don't. as a novice and we, we were on this edge of our seats over there just yeah. going what's going to happen right right I mean little li it's, little rules yes. I mean San Marino had a chance to close it out and he, and and he didn't and it. he you gave the Italians you know the Italians had a chance and then he comes back after not making the monster. point and hits a Beautiful. Amazing Polino to make the three points. And, and then they had to pick their poison. They go, yeah. what do you do? You're do you kind do? of up. Exactly. Now they are against the wall. Right. So that was uh, um, best match of the day. Yes. In my opinion. Yeah, I think um, so As too. a novice watching going, that was exciting. Mm -hmm. um, edge of your seat stuff. 
Yes, and we're not. I mean, we're not just saying this because we're sitting no, here and no, televising. No, but it, it's we see it in the crowd. The crowd, here. It, they it, got it, into it. They it got was, into it, and, wow. and it's been. You know, the crowd seemed to get bigger, crowding around the fence. <laughs> we have bleachers here. People were coming off the bleachers because they wanted to get an on top of. Well, look, yes, and the action the coming this way. Yes. I mean, the blind spots we you have, but right. we we were able to get them. But t you had to be here to just go, what is happening? Yeah, exactly. Wow. I mean, my heart's kind of going crazy <laughs> right now. When, and, you know, again, San Marino's up. Great for them, but they can't let up mm -mm. because the Italian team is a veteran team and very easily can win both games easily. Yeah. Right? So it's San Marino has to keep their composure and their intensity up and play smart. Because that's what they did. They played smart against <laughs> they the did. Italians, and, and they picked their spots and made their shots. And so they did, and what they do well, they did really well right. uh, during this uh, round. It mm -hmm. was, you know, just when they had to, they could tuck it in really close. I, I, it, when they had to knock them out, they did. Yes, and again, so. I, and I think the benefit is that San Marino played their game here already. They had that feel for the court. You saw it sometimes. The Italians were just a little off on their line. Where San Marino, because they played here two games, he had that line. He had it. He didn't see, you know, they put the Palino over here on the right side coming down. That was Giacomo's spot against the Chile, and he was pointing, and he proved it again. He put some amazing points. See, and right? we see that through right. the day, right? We've, we're seeing the, the consistent... Uh, what they like, right. right? Kind of what you're ex they're looking for, mm -hmm. and uh, and getting the job done. It was it was <laughs> it was great. It, it was it awesome. was fantastic. Like, you game. couldn't ex ex ask for anything better nope. for a championship nope. round for and doubles. I, you know, as a fan, I'm hoping that we go down to the last game that <laughs> the Italian wins one game, and then we have to watch the third and final pressure cooker. Right? That's as a fan in me. Right? I'm sure the San Marino's hoping. Nope. Let's oh, yeah, take we it. Get out let's of here. get out of here and, <laughs> and go home. But I'm sure all the fans want to see more great bocce playing. Yes, right? absolutely. I mean, that, that's what we're here for today. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like they're getting ready, and they're going to do simultaneous. Yes, they're going to play on, on both. Ba uh, both courts. Um, and uh, So this is a new thing for us, right, because we've been focusing right. on the television lane. It has been, uh, or court has been seven all Correct. day. So now we're at seven and eight, so yes. we're going to have to do the best we can to keep track we of we'll, where we'll, we're at. Right. We'll now I'll try to keep updating on the score. And <laughs> let's hope for some great games here. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I need to Calm walk down. around a yes, little bit. Yes, <laughs> I know. We need, we need to decompress after that. Uh, Absolutely. So know. let's do this. Joey, how about we, uh, we just step away real quick while the guys are warming yes. up. We can compose ourselves mm -hmm. and then uh, catch our come breath. Back and, <laughs> and come back and start it all over again. All right, we'll and be folks back after this. Folks, don't go away. Oh, yep, we'll be right back after this. All right. Time out.
Okay, welcome back, everyone. What a <laughs> final doubles game we had there. Still trying to come down yes, from that one. Yes, we are, but we are back because we are having the final two games of this tournament of the 2022 Palazzo di Bocci International Invitational. And in the finals, we have Italy against San Marino. San Marino, if you missed it, won the first game, the doubles, which they're one way uh, game away from winning the grand prize of $10,000. So underdog versus underdog, the favorite. Yes. So we couldn't have written a script better yes, for the no, day. we couldn't. Then we <laughs> talked about earlier, as a fan, I'm looking for the Italians to win a quick game so the last game can go down and so we can watch it watch all it unfold, all, yeah. right? So let's see how this plays out. And, all right, uh, it looks like uh, they're I getting think, ready uh, to start. They've already uh, yes. started over on, on court. They're court playing eight. on seven and eight. And in court, um, court eight, we have Emilio Benedetti against uh, Enrico from San Marino. Sorry, I don't remember his last name without looking. Uh, and they are off to the races are already underway. shooting. And in the main feature court here, we have uh, Afonso Nanni against Giacomo from San Marino. And just uh, flip the chip. Just flip the chip, <laughs> and they're getting underway All here. Right. So, Ian, we'll talk soon. Hey, and uh, I'll be down here after this match, and kay. maybe we'll be holding each yes, other up because I'll, of yep. <laughs> the excitement that's exactly. happening. Exactly. <laughs> so, okay, okay we're on the way. Match. Here we go. Uh, Nanni won the flip, and he's going first. All right, let's. Get this underway here. We have the last two games of the tournament, and it's been a wonderful tournament, and Nani starts off with an amazing point here. So again, Giacomo has played an amazing game for San Marino here today uh, for pointing and shooting. So let's see if he can keep it up because he's gonna need to against uh, these seasoned veterans from Italy. Uh, um, and he comes off right off the bat and shoots and he hits and he scores, has one point. Nani's down again, he's getting ready to point. He's, uh, looks like another great ball here. And it is, it's on two fantastic balls. Gonna keep the pressure on uh, Giacomo here. First two balls, making him shoot right off the bat. It is a Bersaglio, so they're holding off because Okay. That's a Bersaglio, so again, folks, they can hit either or in the target. And he does go off, shoots, and makes the point. He still has one point. So now we get a better view of where the balls are, are standing. Um, and Nani's going to get down and again try to match the point, uh, make the point again, and make uh, uh, Giacomo shoot. So let's see if uh, he can repeat his two previous shots. And <laughs> just another great ball. So let's see, uh, Giacomo still going to, uh, yeah, he's committed. He's gonna shoot, he might shoot all four balls here. Uh, but he does have a point if he takes that out without anything moving. And the ball goes in, he aims, he shoots, he hits, and he has two. He stuck the ball that time. So now he gives Nani something to think about here because uh, he has two points laying. So Nani's going to point. I'm thinking he's going to point long uh, to try to just give up one. And that, yeah, that's what he is. He's aiming towards uh, his opponent's ball. That's a common strategy to not to give up a big play. So let's see what uh, Giacomo decides to do. Does he plan to be risky to try to score big or is he just gonna take the one? He's thinking, he's giving him the one, so he's taking the one. All right, so we're off and running here in the final 
matches of the 2022 Palazzo di Bocce International Invitation Bocce Tournament. San Marino's on the board first on court seven, and it's one to nothing. Let's see here. Okay, they were looking on their court on the side uh, of their fellow uh, partners and seeing what it was happening there. Um, well, they're still trying to decide in that court, but there's no score, so Giacomo throws to Paulino, and again, there Giacomo starts off long and in the center. Uh, where when you were playing in the doubles, they were playing the short game in the Volo zone. So a little bit of a change. Um, again, he this is the first point he's pointing of this game, and uh, because he shot three balls, and so he's a little short. Uh, and that's common when you're sh when you shoot three balls in a row, and then you have to point. It's uh, it's a little difficult. So let's see what uh, Nani does here. See if he can get that line down that they were missing in the first game. Again, San Marino had already played two games, and that was their third game on this court where Italy did not. So, but yes, Nani has put a perfect, beautiful ball in there. Low, uh, Giacomo. He's if he keeps this up, he's going to tire Giacomo out with the shooting. I don't think he's shot so much. Uh, he is waiting for his uh, counterpart here um, on his other sh shot and he hit his partner and the uh, score in court eight is Italy's up two to nothing in that in that court so Giacomo's lining himself up gets up shoots and hits great shot great stick in there let's see so so Nani's been pointing, he's pointed four great balls so far, exactly where he's wanted, and uh, let's see if he does it again here. Looks like another good ball from Nani here. It's, uh, oof, that's a, that's a stellar ball there if it stays there. Wow, beautiful ball. But it can go clean. If he hits it just right, he has to hit it to the right with a little bit of a bounce to his ball, and he'll jump over to Polino and hit his the uh, Italian ball clean. So let's see how precise he's going to be here. He aims, he shoots. Wow, fantastic shot. Hit it clean, and he has three points, but unfortunately his points are not that good. And Nani has put two beautiful balls in there. Let's see if he can do it again. I mean, he's been consistent so far. And it looks like another great ball from Nani. So what's Giacomo going to do? Again, with the same ball, practically. That is fantastic. Well, he is going to go for point because he cannot risk moving that Polino down and giving the Italians a bunch of points. So let's see what uh, Giacomo does with this point ball, trying to close up and get it uh, tight because that's a difficult point to beat. But that's a close ball. So let's see if uh, he can, Nani can sneak around there and score two. All right, he points. Looks like a good ball. If the speed's right, looks perfect. Is it going to filter in? It is. So two points for, the, for Nani. He pointed four beautiful balls there. So he is on the board. Four points of the game for him. The score is 2-1 to one Italy right now. So, again, uh, the... Uh, San Marino team has won the first doubles match, so they need to win one out of these two games to win the championship. So let's see if they can hold off this uh, Italian team and win one out of the two. So Nani's uh, looks like he's focused. He put the Palino middle where he had put some beautiful balls. 
uh, pr his prior frame. Let's see if he can do it again. Okay, 90 points. That might be a, it's a, that's still a great ball. Wow. He's just, he has the rhythm right now, it seems like. And he's putting the pressure on Giacomo to make shots. And uh, let's see again, we're holding off. Giacomo's lining up. He had to call the ball. He's going to shoot Rafa here. Let's see. Um, get set. Shoots. Oh, he hit the Polino. That was not what he was calling. So that's the first miss of the game for him. And he's going to go and uh, put the Polino back, and the ball's out. And in the court next, his uh, the Italian, Emilio Benedetti, shot a ball on in the volo and scored one point. So that's 3-0 to zero in court eight. Giacomo here back shooting again. He shoots and sticks and, and comes back relatively good. But again, the... Way 90's pointed the last six balls, eight balls, he's been right on. So let's see if he can continue this. On your rolls. And again, puts in a really nice ball. He has that spot down. It's almost an identical spot again as it was before. So, Jacko, Jacko's going to shoot again. So let's see here. He already missed one this frame. Let's let's see if he can. He shoots. He hits, and uh, he has a point. I can't see the back of the court, so I don't know how the balls lay out, but. I don't think, uh, there it goes. Um, so it looks like he's gonna point. Uh, Nani could have chance to try to shoot the other opponent's ball and stick and make a few more points, but he decided to point because he's been so dead on. And uh, I mean, again, that, that tires a player out. He's shot. Uh, I think out of the three frames, he might have shot 10 balls already. Maybe nine balls and pointed two, three, and this is, might be his fourth. But Nani's just on it. Let's see if Giacomo can uh, do anything to close the gap here. That's short, though. That's, uh, Nani can maybe put in another point. And... Um, Here it comes. Let's see if he uh, he has the same line. He has the roll. It looks good, and it's two. Nani, with his pointing, is just wearing Giacomo out. It seems like here with all the shooting. So we are at uh, the scores: Italy four, San Marino one, and Court seven. And the score in court eight is still Italy three, San Marino zero. Nani throws out the Polino again and again. He's putting it back in the similar spot that uh, he pointed so well the last frame down. He's getting set. He rolls. That might be a little hot, but no, the left to right break slows it down a little bit, and again, a perfect ball. And let's see if it's a Bersaglio where you can hit either Paul or Polino if it's just one. I did not see. I did not see if it's a Bersaglio or not. But he is shooting. I guess we'll see after. No, it's not. No, nope, it was only one. Again, he hit the Polino first. Did not hit the ball he was calling. So his ball is out of play. And then he's in the Polino goes back together where it was. So another little mistake uh, by Giacomo this game. 
Let's see, he's, he's gonna shoot it again. Okay, he had to make sure he's gonna shoot it again. Let's see, I think he called the Paulino this time, but again, I can't, couldn't hear him. Yes, but he missed. Wow. Two balls out. This is dangerous territory. Now he's now he's committed. He needs to shoot the Polino. Hopefully, maybe he can knock it out of play with a ricochet off the Italian ball. Let's see here. But he has to hit it first. Let's see if he can do it. He throws it hard. He missed. You saw that he he, he tried to overthrow it and he pulled it, and that happened. So. He's getting frustrated. He needs to slow down a tad. Get back to his normal form. He's got to do it again. Let's see. Shoots hard, hits it, and he does it. What a shot with the last ball to save four points. He hits the Paulino, knocks it out of the court, so the frame starts over. So again, frame starting over. We are still four to one for Italy and court seven. And court eight, it looks like the score is four zero for Italy. So right now, San Marino's down in both. They need to regroup and play like they did. Giacomo just made a great shot. Let's see if that can propel you know, him to uh, settle down a little bit and gain that confidence he had. Okay, Nani again is lining up. And he rolls. Mm, looks good. Again, this court left to right, left to right. Look at this ball come down just a tad. And, you know, he took a little bit different of a line, so it stayed a little straighter, but still an amazing ball. Giacomo again getting set up to shoot. This is his fifth ball in a row that he's shooting. And he's going to try to stick the ball and he hits it this time. Good shot. And yes, he has the point. Okay. So Nani has to go again. So uh, we were able to put up here. For all you following in the bottom right hand of your screen, we have the score for the singles game on court two, which is Emilio Benedetti against uh, Enrico from uh, San Marino. So we can keep you uh, updated on all the live action here as best as possible. And uh, again, like a broken record, Nani puts an amazing ball there. It's this has been a pointing, uh, a pointing extravaganza from him. I'm at a loss for words, but Giacomo just shot a ball and stuck it there. That was an amazing shot. You can see that how close he left his ball to the Palino. So it is a Bersaglio. Giacomo has two points on the court. No, one point, I'm sorry. He gets ready to shoot. Nani shoots. He does have two. Nani does the same thing. What a shot. Now this is just top-notch Bosch playing here, folks. This is what we all strive for as players. So he is going to shoot again to try to limit the points. He's been stick it again. Let's see if he can do it. He shoots and he does it again. But and yes, he has a ball advantage. I'm sorry, I lost track of balls. So he has two points. Nani has one ball left. So let's see what he's gonna do here. He's gonna point. So he's gonna force the issue and letting Giacomo make the shots. He's made a few misses, so Maybe he's, that's what he's banking on, or he's trying to put it on the Paulino. So let's see where this ball goes. Again, made the point. He left it a little short, it looks like, of the Paulino. So there is an opportunity of a uh, ricochet, but Giacomo's going to shoot. This, this is what he's been doing. He has not lagged the ball in two frames here. 
Let's see. Jack Wall goes. He's going to try to stick for three. He shoots. Oh, my Lord. Right in between. Don't even know how he passed through that from that angle. But he did. Wow. And the gamble paid off for the Italian of pointing and forcing him to shoot. So we are at a score of 5-1 to one for Italy. And Nani puts it back in the center of the court where he's been lights out. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. He was watching his partner roll, and I think he made an error throw on that court over there. So let's see here. Okay, Nani lines up. Got his slow approach, deliberate release. He's just a consistent, and that's what we all strive for, the same routine over and over again. I get a good ball, probably the worst ball he's rolled yet at the beginning of this game. So let's see Giacomo. He has the point, but he shot eight balls in a row, nine balls in a row. I lost track. So um, let's see if he's able to point now. Again, very difficult. Different motion. You're throwing your arm and shoulder when you're hitting. So, But this looks good if he touches. Otherwise, it was a little a little firm, but it worked out for the best. So he makes the point. Everything is good. As the, um, and he is uh, uh, going to force 90 to shoot this time. Again, lane 8. Italy is up 5-0. to zero. Okay, here comes Nandi. Let's see here. He gets ready, shoots. He hits, but the Paulino moves. Uh, let's see what the action is in the back. And it is it is the Italian point. The referee Mar said it's Nandi's ball is closer to one against the wall. So, okay. Giacomo's going to get ready to point. Oh, wait. Maybe there's, yes, okay. He confirmed, he wanted to make sure, double check. He's asking him how much room that his ball has to move here. Okay, how far it was, so I think Giacomo was gonna play it towards that, kind of, maybe, if he just touches it. He can make two, maybe. Um, he's playing, again, he's played lights out on these back walls all day. So, and it looks like that's continuing. What a point by him. That's fantastic. That's a great ball. All right, great ball. Let's see what the Nani decides to do here. I don't know, the referee's uh, Okay. He's getting ready. He's going to shoot. Let's see. It's a long shot, so let's see if he can. Gets up, gets ready, shoots. He missed. He was shooting his first ball, and he missed. Okay. Let's see what Nani decides to do. Is he going to do the same thing? Looks like he's going to do the same thing. He shoots. He has time. Oh, he missed. Oh. He missed two balls. Wow. That's tough. Looks like he's wincing in some pain here as he's walking down. Maybe uh, his knee gave out or something, but let's see if that's going to affect him the rest of the game. So, but here's a chance for Giacomo to get a few more points back and back into this game. Take control of the Polino, get rid of where, where it's been going. Look at this again. Great ball. 
looks like two, I don't know if it's two or three points. Okay, the referee just told me it's three points he has. So Giacomo can make four points here with the, this lag. So let's see. Fantastic pointing by Giacomo and playing. He scored four points. We are back at even here on court number seven. It's five to five. Great way to come back. Uh, yep, Jocko is going back to the old uh, Volo, Paulino in the Volo zone here. So, you know, where they had success. So, let's see here how that works out. Again, we're waiting for the shot from the next court. And he hits. So, let's see who scores. I don't know who scored the point on that side, but we'll soon find out. Giacomo's pointing. Let's see. That looks like a good ball. Yep. Okay. Beautiful ball. So on court seven, Italy is up 7 0. So, got to keep an eye on uh, this game, tight game here on court seven. Not sure if the San Marino uh, player over on court eight can keep up here with Emilio and Nani just sold, you know, his skill in the full, just stuck it there, you know, given and making it difficult for uh, Giacomo here from San Marino, but it looks like Giacomo's risk and he's taking the Paulino shot. So again, it's a commitment here. He misses one, he has to shoot again, yeah, but he didn't, he hit it. Oh, oh, look at that action in the back and it worked out for the best for him. So he have two points. Let's see what Nani wants to do. Let's see, it looks like he's gonna go for point. So. Okay, 90 points. He's gonna do the banana roll as we call it here. Gonna kinda come up close to the board and make the ball gently fall back out it looks good the speed is good yeah fabulous ball what a ball this is some great botch you were seeing on this court you know besides a couple of misses they've been pointing and hitting out of this world and again Giacomo he's uh, lining up and he's gonna shoot he shoots and he hits but but he hit on the wrong side. Let's see if he hit it hard enough to come back enough. Oh, he did. Wow. Just enough. Again, he, he lofted that ball and threw it a little harder, it seemed like, so he can get that action. He used that action on the back wall for his advantage. Let's see if he's uh, measuring to see how many points he has so he can tell um, the opponent exactly give him all the current information there because it can make a difference on what he does two points so so they have two points but now he's going to try the same shot as he did before a little bit towards the board make it come off a little bit but he got to make sure he doesn't touch Okay, that was close. Let's see. He's in my way. I can't really see. That's a little long. He needs to touch something. He did. That could help him. Wow. He he got lucky there. He, he missed through that ball. He was firm. But it looks like it worked out to his advantage because if anything, he didn't burn anything, but it's a secondary. Again, a secondary shot is if you hit a stationary ball and it just moves a little bit doesn't move more than the referee stick but the second ball that is thrown moves more than the stick that is considered a secondary shot so let's see what uh what he's measuring here he might be measuring to see how many points he has if he shoots um not in his ball that has the point because he, though with the movement of that ball, he might have three now if he moves, if he shoots it out. 
So let's see. I, I'm assuming he's got to shoot it because he's been shooting lights out here the last few frames. So, and again, I think he's going to use the use the back wall as an aid. He kind of figured it out with the the back swing that kicks those balls out really far. So let's see. He shoots and he hits. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that ball almost came back to make the point. Almost played against them. Um, so, yeah, that was, uh, if everybody saw that, that ball that he hit, hit the corner and came back through the middle of the balls and Polino. So right now, San Marino has three points, but none is going to point again. He's pointed there. He has the feeling he's going to do the same shot, but he has to be, oh, that's a little bit more direct. I don't know if it's going to hold. Oh, boy, what a mistake. He threw that one bad. Ugh. Maybe he takes a No. Three points. He just gave up to San Marino. That is tough. He came out of his hand wrong, it looked like. He wanted to do that wraparound shot, banana shot, but it didn't. He just... Just a bad air throw again. As well as he's been pointing, it it happens. So it should be the score should be eight to five for San Marino, and uh, and Giacomo is is really applying the pressure again. San Marino only has to win one of the two games to win the championship and the take home the big prize. Um, Right now on court eight, it doesn't look good for San Marino. He is losing eight to nothing to the Italian players. So this game is huge right now. They gotta, unless the court eight, the San Marino player can make a massive comeback. It's not looking good for him, but Giacomo does have the lead here, eight to five. So. And again, people were getting, uh, it's been a long day here. The game started at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time here that we're in, and it's uh, 6.30, so there's been a lot of bocce played, so some fatigue can set in on players, especially when you shoot a lot. But Giacomo looks like nothing's affecting him right now because he's pointing and he's hitting great, so... Interesting that Nani has decided the point here. So here he goes. He points pointing. Let's see if it has the right road to call. He might be a little bit short. Maybe a couple of more turns. He might have made it. Huh. Great ball if he did. I'm, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but the referee will uh, signal and he... Nope, he wanted to say yes, and now he's going to measure just to be sure. Again, he did make it, and uh, it forces Giacomo to shoot a volo shot because it's not Versailles. So let's see here. Big shot. Again, a lot of things can happen even if he hits because of the ball, Paulino and his ball in front of uh, the ball he's shooting at. Lines up, he's getting ready to shoot and goes and oh, hits it on top, but it was good. Just enough to kick it back and his ball goes down and Nani ball comes out. So Nani now is going to shoot Volo. Again, he hits this, it puts the pressure on Giacomo to force him to hit the Paulino again. So big shot for Nani right now. Let's see, here he goes. Fluid mode, yes, he shot it, and he has two, so if everything stays the course, Giacomo, yep, getting ready, he's going to shoot the Polino, so let's see, big shot again, he has two, he does it now, he has to do it again if he misses, so there he goes, he shoots, easy, he missed, he pulled that one, he came across his body, and just pull it just a little bit. So again, when you're doing some of these specialty shots, taking some off, taking some on, 
your rhythm gets interrupted and it can happen. So he's doing it again. I think he's going to throw it with a little bit more power this time. Um, here he goes. He shoots and he hits it again. What a clutch shot. He has three points down at the end. Uh, again, Nani, though, has two balls, so a lot can happen, and his skill of shooting uh, compares to uh, no other sometimes because he can do some magical things. So let's see. Nani's decided to come walk, walking down. As you see, he's in no rush. He takes his time. He stays poised and composed. So... And uh, update over on uh, court eight. Italy is up 11 to zero. So that game, if it doesn't turn around for the San Marino player, it's going to be over shortly. So again, the winner of this match will win the the grand prize of ten thousand dollars. And bragging rights. So, a oh, lot's at stake here. Every shot. Okay, to Bersaglio. And then he's going to shoot. So, let's see. There it goes. He shoots. He hits. What a shot. He took a little bit off. Look at that. And he used the board to come back to his advantage. He made a gorgeous shot there. What a play. So he has a point. So let's see how aggressive he's going to be. He's taking one. Yeah, that's dangerous. He takes one. He goes to six. Scores eight to six over here. And uh, he gets the Palino. That was a fantastic shot. But again, both players are just playing top notch here. You know, with exceptions of a few misses, which happens in a game, but uh, it's a great about you to watch. So, here we go. Let's see what Nani decides to put the Polino here. Let's see if he's going to go back to that spot that he's been so good at at his pointing and where he was scoring his points. And he, he no, he, you see, he's... Uh, Got uh, a little lazy throwing that Polino with instead of rolling, he tossed it out. It took a little bit of a turn, so it's not quite where he wanted it. But let's see if he can make that adjustment. Remember, this court goes uh, left to right, so there's a fade to the right here. So that ball's, depending on the speed, is going to come down a little bit. But no, he, yeah, see that, that the last end, but he is perfect speed. So, and of course, what's Giacomo going to do? He's going to shoot. He's going to hit. Look, he calls the ball. Rafa shot. Let's see if he can stick. Like he's been doing. Goes, shoots. What a rotation. Okay, he didn't quite hit it how he wanted, but it served its purpose. He has the point because his ball came out. So still has the opportunity to score big here with a few more of those shots. Now neither he goes. So he played that a little bit more left, but it has a little less speed, so it might come down a little more. Okay, but he left it in front, so Jack wants to think about this now. What's he going to do? There's a lot of room for him to point. And he is going to point, so he, he's going to tone it down a little bit, not shoot. He's going to try to point, and he's going to do the banana shot. And he misses the board. He's going to come down. It has good speed. It's a good ball. Great ball by Jocko. He's playing fantastic. Playing fantastic. What a ball. And, so, and then he's going to have to hit this ball if he's going to shoot. But no, he's going to point. I think he's going to try to mimic his, but let's see if he can. Again, he hasn't been doing this all day like uh, Giacomo has. He didn't throw it up enough. I, it's going to need the right amount of speed to come down. It's, it makes it a little bit more difficult. It needs to roll. Look at this. It's a perfect ball. 
That's a great ball. He had that perfect speed. And it came down just in time. So Giacomo's going to line up the Rafa, the point ball. Gonna go and he's going to shoot. Look at that rotation. And he hits it. So good enough. That's all he needed to do. Right? So one ball apiece again. Giacomo has the point. Let's see um, well, if Nani can do this again. Okay. He threw this one up a little bit now. He has to be careful that it doesn't come out too much. He, a little fast. No, but that's going to come down. He played that left to right break. Perfectly, and Giacomo, if he's going to shoot, he's going to have to shoot Volo, I think, because you don't want to risk hitting your ball and giving him two points. So yes, he is going to call it Volo. So again, a little bit longer of a shot, but uh, these guys are pros and they have that arm to do it. They just uh, many days of practicing all these different shots. He lines up, he's gonna go. He shoots, he got it. No, just long. All right, well, great balls by both players there. And Nani scores again, bringing the score to eight to seven. Eight to seven, San Marino still in the lead. And on uh, court number eight, Italy is up 13-0 right now. So, that one looks like it's going to end early, possibly. Again, Nani throws the Polino, and he's not happy where the Polino went. Not quite sure what's going on with his Polino throws today. So let's see here. Let's uh, how he's going to point this. Looks like a good ball. Should uh, should be good. Again, he's going. He's going to make Giacomo shoot. He's made him do that a lot. So, and Giacomo has been, you know, up to the task. He's he's just playing lights out. He shoots. He sh he moves to Palino this time. Let's see what happens. But he made the point, so even by moving to Polino, he still has the point with his stick shot, so. Okay, Nani's point uh, looks a little offline, but again, he made the point that's what matters right now. So let's see if Giacomo is going to play. No, he's going to go for point. He feels like he's going to make this point. So um, I'm looking over on uh, court number nine, San Marino and Rico is just not playing a good game here. He's missed three balls in a row. So let's see. He's on his last ball to shoot. Even Giacomo here. Does he make the point? Just sneaks in with that little curve. Oof, I think the game is over in court nine. Italy wins 15 to zero. So folks, we have a tie match, one game apiece, and we're watching the final game to determine the championship. San Marino's up eight to seven. Uh, we couldn't ask for a better final here. So, let's see. Okay, so Giacomo does not make that point. And it's uh, not me. So, let's see. Giacomo needs to put in a good ball here. There he goes. He's going to play that banana hook here. That he's been so good at. Which he didn't do the last time. Which... It was very surprising, and look at this, he puts in a great ball, but good enough for uh, Nani to see, so.
Let's see if he uh, can hit the ball. And he sets up. It's going his nice little easy steps. He has it. What a shot. It's back to Giacomo now to uh, do the same thing he did with that last ball. Every ball has its pressure moments here. Again, that banana hook. Great ball by uh, Giacomo. Yeah, he made a mistake with that first ball. He took a different line and it went a different way. So, but it is a Bersaglio right now. Bersaglio can eat either ball. So let's see how this turns out for him. He's going to try to stick the ball for two. As you see, as he turns his hand, he shoots. Oof. Oh, what a bad break. What a bad break. He shoots it, but the Paulino shoots off the side wall and comes back to his other ball. Wow. So we're at, we are at nine to seven. San Marino in the lead. Game is halfway over in the final game of the tournament here. Italy and San Marino are tied one to one in games. And it's the best out of three, so the winner of this will take home the grand prize and bragging rights. So Giacomo again takes the Pellino, staying consistent, is putting it in the Volo zone. That's a good ball. That's so all gonna force Nani to shoot here. Um, I'm assuming he's gonna shoot the point Volo. Yep, he, he gives him the signal. Gets ready. There he goes. Shoots. Oof. Ah, he hit it, but his ball bounces out of the court and hits the fence, so his ball is no good anymore. It's out of play. So he's playing three balls against four against San Marino, so this could be challenging. So let's see how it, this outcome and how he decides to play this. Okay, not any points. Again, great. Eight line that's that's almost a spot he wants it just a little longer that he's been trying to put it at so he's he's pointing great Giacomo's gonna have to shoot here gonna have to shoot the oh is he gonna point he's gonna point interesting he's taking a different approach and which is because he has the ball advantage I get you might feel comfortable and he might have made it. That banana hook is going to work. Wow. I, that was a surprising strategy. But you can't argue with results, right? They, people say there's not bad strategy. There's just bad execution. So this is a, a great ball he threw. So maybe he's setting him up for a later. Yeah, then he might be short here. No. If it comes down, nah, three beautiful balls here. Yeah, that's great, but let's see now because I think he left it. Bersaglio, he did, so Giacomo can hit the Paulino or the ball. He has to be careful because if he hits the ball, his ball can go, but I think he's lined himself up to where he's going to might be trying to take the Paulino clean. Let's see here. Nope, he shoots the ball, and that's the ricochet that that we were worried about. But look at this ball come back. Nope, he didn't. So, yeah, that was uh, a bad break, but that was that was in line the way it was set up. It was hard to hit that clean. Um, so now, you know, with three balls against four, this is where his prior decision not shooting Volo might cost him. Uh, but let's see what he does with this ball. Again, that's been his spot. So, oh, that took a different turn, but it still might have made it. Let's see.
He did not make it. Wow, with a ball advantage, Nani had the ball out of play. Nani has the potential to tie this game up, 9-9. Nine to nine. Let's see what he does with this ball. If it, if it looks a little heavy, but nope, 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 nope. It doesn't, well, let's see, because he just touched two points. There's, well, let's see, is there a rematch? No, he's giving him the two points. What a turn of events. I think that decision of not shooting the Volo cost him those two points. Yeah, well, let's hope it doesn't come back to haunt him on those because, you know, with a ball advantage, he had not he had a great ball and he decided the point instead of shoot it out. And especially the way he's been shooting. Ah, uh, man. So, let's see. We are a tie game here at the final match of the 2022 Palazzo di Bacci International Invitational Bocce Tournament. Nani gets down, gets ready to throw. And he rolls with his patented form here of his pointing. As we saw, everybody has a different style of pointing and hitting. It's just goes to show you it doesn't matter your style and form it just matters results so um, Giacomo is going to shoot the ball Rafa um, Nani put in a good ball he's blowing his hands a little bit maybe the tackiness he hits it but he might not have stuck I can't there we go uh -huh. nope Nope, the back ball, a wall. He did not stick that one, so Nani has the point. He gives the advantage of balls back to Nani. To okay. Giacomo's point. Beautiful ball. Yeah, fantastic. Oh yeah, folks, they, we are witnessing some outstanding play here from both players. Um, they're pointing, they're hitting. Nani, it looks like he turned his hand over, so he's going to try to stick this ball. Let's see. Oh, okay. Paulino jumped out of the court. So it all starts over. It was a Bersaglia, so either or was good. He was not aiming for the Paulino by the reaction because and the way he was shooting the ball, he was trying to hit the ball, but he had a little bit of luck in a way and uh, frame starts over. So we're going to redo that one. Again, Nani not happy with the way he threw the Polino. Not exactly where he wanted it. He's having problems there with that, but he's still been lagging outstanding. So here he goes. There he goes. The line looks good. The speed looks good. Yeah, fantastic ball again. Yeah, so I'm gonna let uh, Giacomo keeps the pressure on him with his shooting. That's uh, gonna shoot again. He's gonna probably try to stick it. Let's see, but he has to hit it solid. Not like you know, last time he was just a ten off. Here he goes. He shoots. He hits, and he did. Look at that beautiful shot. He sticks it. So. should be able to take this point. Yeah, again, great line. He might be a tad firm, but it's a good ball. Again, he's gonna shoot. Makes it difficult because he has the Paulino in front. A weird angle that he can't come at straight. And then he has this ball in the back where it can ricochet and hit, so. He has to be precise. Again, he's going to try to stick it, I can believe. And yes, he is. He has his hand turned. He goes. He shoots. He got it. Yes. 
great shot by Giacomo. Giacomo has two points. So let's see here. Now he's gonna point again. So he's playing a little different. Giacomo would have shot the Palino twice, but uh, Nani decides to point and keep the pressure on Giacomo to hit. So let's see, this ball is a little firmer. So it's gonna be, so he's giving him the decision of to shoot or point. Uh, not sure the direction, if that's one, where he wanted to be, if he wanted to be on the other side of Polino. But let's see, Giacomo. Shoots, no, yes, he hit it. I thought he might have pulled it a little bit. So he has three points. Three points he has, it looks like. Wow. Okay. Let's see what Nani decides to do. This is huge because he's going to shoot the Palino. If he misses, he gives them four points. And they will go. Got it. What a shot. And it goes there. He has three points now. What a swing that is. Beautiful shot. Pressure shot. That's what they are known for. Now it's up to Giacomo to, to take the point or take a couple away. But again, he's played multiple games here, so he knows how to get there. Just needs the speed. Looks good. Oh, go. Oh, is it gonna get, it doesn't stop there, so. No, it might be a little short. One point for uh, the Italian team, Alfonso Nandi. Pulls off a great shot there with the Paulino. And uh, the score is now 10 to 9 in favor of the Italian team. Alfonso Nani is the single player in this game. Okay, he decided to change it up a tad here. He decided to come go on to the right side or on your left if you're watching it this way of the court. So uh, he decided to mix it up a little bit. Let's see how this works out. Uh, because he's been pointing out of this world, uh, you know, in the middle of the court. But look at that. I guess it doesn't matter where to put the Polino. He's, he's just, and that's behind the ball, Polino. So difficult shot. So he might uh, may force Giacomo to go for point. Maybe his thinking was of uh, if he puts it closer to the board, more reaction with Giacomo's shot that he has. So that's a tad long. Yes, Giacomo took a weird line, didn't get it up close enough to the board so he can uh, let the, the natural curve of the court take it back in. So, okay. Nani still has the point. Okay. That seems like it's a good ball. It's going to go down and then come back out. Very good ball, but Nani with his stick shot that he has, I don't think it's too worried about even if his ball moves because he can leave his ball right there when he shoots. So. If he hits it right, he can take two, both of Jacko's balls out and leave both of his hit. But it has to be a precise shot. As you see, Nani turns his hand when he's going to do a stick shot. He shoots. Oh, he did not hit it solid. But look at the ricochet. Nope, 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 nope. Did not work out. But he was just a tad off center on that ball, and that's what caused it to do that. So, let's see. He's going to have to go for point. See if he can play the ball the same way he did with the first one. Okay, he didn't get it up. Uh, not a lot. Oh, he has a bad line. He did not make the point. 
again, an unusual mistake with this with this pointing. He it was just a tan off which brought the ball not in the same line. Okay. Let's see. So now Giacomo has two balls. And uh, let's see what Nani can do here with the ball. It looks good. Is it have enough? It does. It does. That's a great ball. So now Giacomo's going to shoot, but he's going to shoot. Okay, he's going to shoot the short ball. Nani's short ball right there first. He's going to open up and hope for a carom or a ricochet and take out two balls for one. But again, big shot here. There he goes. He shoots. He hits, and no, it jumps right over. It jumps right over. Good thought, but just a tad off again. Kind of what Nani wanted to do with his shot. He wanted to do the same thing. So now, Giacomo's not going to risk it. He's going to go for point. Because if he hits, he could leave Nani with two if he hits his ball. So let's see how this ball plays out. Um, I don't, and if it has the right speed, it's good. But I don't know if it's going to come down. It's not. Wow. Two again. Jack will just a little off on these last two shots. And Nani, the Italian team, is up 11-9. It's getting closer and closer to finish. And uh, we're having a great game here. Oh, Nani. Oh, Nani does not keep the Polino in play. So now Giacomo um, with a educated guess here. I'm going to say he's going to put it in the Volo zone. Yeah, he's going to play the deeper follow zone. A lot of time that's a strategy because you're going to play the Paulino right over the uh, Rafa line so you keep the ball in the follow zone. But usually you do that if you're the first pointer. So not sure if that was a mistake on the Paulino throw. Okay, Nani's going to throw. It's a tad... Firm, yeah, it's a tad firm. So, okay, Jack almost gonna line up the point. Gonna go. Yeah, it's, it has a good line. It has good speed. Let's see if that ball stops. No, nope, it's gonna keep going. It's gonna be a Rafa shot if I have not. He decides to shoot. Uh, so let's see, but again, there's a ricochet, and he's and he's not. He's gonna play it conservative a little bit here. Almost not about be feeling his uh, stick shot. He's just a tad off, maybe mechanically. But the point, what a ball! He's pointing there. That's a great ball. Wow! But again, he's he's forcing Giacomo to hit. So it is a Bersaglio, and it might be where he can hit, if he calls the Italian ball, he can hit all three as a target, but let's see what the ref says. It is not, so the Paulino and the Italian ball are the only ones that are Bersaglio, so he can hit either or Rafa, and he's lining up the stick, but he pulled, and the Paulino jumps out. So we're going to redo that frame again. So we've seen that a few times today here, especially in this game. So I guess nobody wants it to end with uh, shots like that, but but he gives Nani the chance to re-throw the Paulino where he wanted to because he had made the mistake of throwing it long last time. So let's see if he makes that mistake this time. Okay, he's gonna still go long and to the side. 
seems like he thinks that's where he wants to be. Um, but uh, for us that's been watching all of San Marino's games here today, Jocko has like owned that side against everybody. So let's see if Lonnie can change that. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good ball by Nani. So yeah, that's that's gorgeous. Yeah, player got Jack was gonna line up to shoot Rafa here. And, uh, let's see. Let's see if how is he, he's gonna shoot her overhand because he's afraid of power. He's gonna go, so he didn't stick it this time. So it might. Be, yes, it's the Italian point. It came off. So he shot it open, palmed up, because he was afraid the Paulino was going to move. So he, if it did, he wanted to have his ball go back there. But unfortunately, he hit it clean without moving the Paulino and caused that, the Italian ball to come back. So he's uh, in here. He's pointing, and he left a little bit of room there so that's um let's see what nani decides to do does he want to shoot or does he want to point i don't know again paulino's in front timeout it looks like he's calling with him call the timeout so him and his partner can actually talk about this. Yeah, so they get two timeouts a game, and uh, they're going to talk about strategy here because it could it, it could be a big frame for Nani, but it has to be played perfectly. Okay, they made they made a quick decision. That's a quick timeout. The Italians usually do. So he is going to shoot point he's gonna as you see turn his hand he's gonna try to stick the ball has to hit it perfect though and he does hit the and it looks like it's two point, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. two points two points for the Italians well so the score is 11 9 if by chance Nani can uh, can pull off two shots identical he can win this game so I'm wondering if that was the thought process but no he's going to point because Giacomo played it a strategy ball not to put it close to the Palino just because he was worried about that so he might be trying to limit the damage or maybe make the point if Nani makes a mistake with this point but Nani has put in another good ball, but left room for Giacomo to score. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting. I'm kind of surprised they didn't try to go and win that, the game right here and right now with this stick shot capability. So, let's see. Giacomo's playing it up again. And Giacomo knows that spot very well and look at that he scores the point and it's going to be interesting what man decides to do i don't think he's going to shoot Rafa. if anything he's going to try to a volo shot or point because it doesn't see and he can't risk hitting his ball out so let's see what he's going to do Okay, he wanted to come and look again. It's, I think he's torn on what he wants to do. So, is he going to point or is he going to try a Volvo shot? And I think that's what he's looking at. Okay, let's see. He hasn't said what he's going to do yet, so... It does look like he picked up the pace a little bit and is walking. Um, so mm. Oh well, well, he's gonna he's gonna try it. He's gonna try the rough and see. What a shot! Oh almost stuck it for two.
but that was a fantastic shot. He had to thre thread the needle there on that one. Wow. Almost scored two, but he did make the point. He took the chance, but I thought he would have done that with the first ball uh, before he pointed because he had that capability of scoring the four points, but he, he saw it a little different, and he, and he went for the one, maybe two, so... All right, we have a game of Italy 12, San Marino 9. And we are all tied up in the match. The uh, San Marino team beat the Italians in the double. And then the uh, uh, first singles game finished quite quickly. Uh, Benedetti beat Enrico. Um, in the game singles and now here this is the final match to determine the championship the score is 12-9 for Italy and we are seeing some great bocce shots here again he missed red a little bit of the read on the court so let's see Giacomo's going to uh, go in and point let's see if he watches the way he throws the ball see that ball Depending how it comes, it might not come in, but it will. It, he just had the right speed. If he was stayed firm, he would never have come in and would have knocked Nani a little bit closer. But he did uh, make the point. So let's see here. No, Nani is going to shoot. Nani's going to shoot the ball. It's a Versailles, so he can hit either, but he's, he's going to shoot. Overhand. Let's see here. No, he missed. Okay. Let's see what he's going to do here. He's going to get set up the point. Let's see if you can figure the street out on that way he pushed it a little bit so it has a little bit forward spin so it has a little bit extra speed is it going to stop in time again these are fast chords and he does what a fantastic ball so that's a great ball but uh we have giacomo lining up to shoot rafa for point ball let's uh He's gonna let's see a big shot here if he can hit it. Again, Nani already missed the ball. He shoots, he hits, he sticks. Fantastic ball. If it comes in just enough, he could have two, but uh, he's gonna measure for two. But that was a, a great shot. One point, okay? So, uh, San Marino has one point, Nani has one ball, but. Uh, San Marino has two balls left, so the odds aren't in the favor of the Italian player there. So, and rolls. Let's see if that's going to come down enough because he did uh, throw it out early, and it looks like a good ball, too. Oh, yes, what a fantastic ball, but San Marino could score four here because if he hits the Italian ball and sticks, he can then try to shoot the other Italian ball. A big shot in determining. Nope, Paulino, and it jumps out. Wow, he saved the Italian. Ew. Yeah, the Palino jump. Wow, that was a save for the Italians because it, it, that's the last thing San Marino wanted to do is knock that Palino out. He had a chance to score four points, but unfortunately he hits the Palino, knocks it out, and we redo the frame. So he gives Nani another chance to make up for the mistakes he made there. The two mistakes uh, for the point ball and the shot that he missed. So well, let's see where he's gonna put the ball. He's gonna put it back. I'm wondering if he wants it closer to board like he had it last time. I think 
Yeah, I, I think that's more of where he wanted it before because he has that natural tendency to come off that that board a tad and make it come in. So, let's see here. All right, he rolls. It looks a little firm, but uh, is it gonna come down, gonna come down? It's tad firm. Yep, tad firm that time. Yeah, he, he pushed it a little bit, gave it that, that forward spin, which causes the ball to roll a little bit further. Here comes Giacomo, taking the same line. And uh, let's see here, let's see the street, let's see the, the speed. Again, he's not short either, but he's gonna tap right against the Nani's ball. So uh, it played into his uh, benefit to be a little long. Let's see if Nani does the same type of shot here. Again, every ball here in such a close game counts. Nani does it again. Is it going to come out enough? Because they filter back in. Is it going to stop? Yes, it is. Wow, beautiful pointing balls here. Uh, so Giacomo now, I believe he's going to try to shoot. He's going to shoot point ball. Again, a lot of things can move there. Yes, I have a perfect shot. He has to hit it perfectly on the left-hand side. Just a half a ball, and it can go clean. Oh, wow. He hit on the other side, but the, the, the combination caused his ball to stay there. So it worked out, but it gave Nani a little bit more room to work with on his pointing. So Nani gets down. Again, trying to follow the same road he did last time. It, it has some speed, but comes down. But he's going to make the point. Going to make the point. And let's see, Giacomo decides to shoot. He is. He's going to decide to shoot because he can still... He, he still can make three points with his stick shot that he's been having great success with. Just got to be careful not to take out his other ball. Goes, shoots, shoots. Oh, the ricochet. That was the one worry. He did not hit it full. So, Nani has the point. He has one ball left. Let's see what happens with... Uh, Giacomo's ball. Well, yeah, he's going to go for point. Uh, again, it leaves Nani in a weird predicament because if he shoots and he, and he hits, but he hits his ball in a ricochet, he can leave Giacomo with three points unless he's going to try to stick it. If he sticks it, never know what can happen here. So, And he is. He's not afraid. He's going to try to Stick this ball, turn the hand. Let's see if he can make this shot. Shoots, sticks the ball. Wow, two points for the Italians. We have the Italians at 14 and San Marino nine. What a game this has been, back and forth, back and forth, great shots. Again, these Paulinos jumping out of the court has affected, you know, some of the uh, benefits of the other team and benefited the other. So that Paulino that Giacomo hit out kind of hurt him there because Nani just made two on the comeback on the redo. So Nani needs one point. So Italy needs one point to win the game and the championship so let's see here again games played the 15 scores 14-9 Italy's advantage and Italy has won they are tied in matches one and one and wow Nani makes a big mistake with this point and he is long Leaves Giacomo a ton of room to make a point. And Giacomo goes up 
then he comes right back down off that board. He's been fantastic in that spot. He's going to force Nani to shoot here. Let's see, he's going to try to do a stick shot again because he has a, a wonderful stick shot. And he hits it. All right, so that's a great shot. But again, a lot of room. He needed to stick it dead there in its spot. But uh, took one ball away. Let's see, Giacomo. Right, again, he up close to the board and uses... Oh, oh, it did not hit. Referee says it didn't hit. Wow, that was uh, that was close. But I think uh, Nani is going to point. Yes, he's going to point. Let's see if he's going to try to do that little banana hook to come off and back and out. And he is. Let's see if it's going to come out, though, because of that ridge. You know, he can't. It didn't come the same way Giacomo did. So I don't... Yeah. Oh. Well, oh. He made the point. Wow. I didn't think he had the point. What a ball by Nani. But Giacomo's going to shoot now. Um, I'm going to guess he's going to shoot Polino. Because here he can take two balls out at one. Polino, yes. So he needs to hit the Polino here. Gets down, shoots, and he hits it. And he has two points. What a shot. What a pressure shot that was. Fantastic. Look at, he's getting pumped. Giacomo's feeling it now. He's uh, getting excited. All right, Nani's gonna go for point here. He has some room, but he has to be careful not to burn the ball by hitting the back wall or something. Let's see if it's gonna get there. By the looks of it, he looks a tad short, but it's keeps rolling there. Let's see. Might be short of just a tad. Yeah, he's saying there's a measurement, so the referee's gonna the referee's gonna measure it from here. It kinda looks a little like Giacomo's point, but again, hard to tell from this distance. Yep. It is Giacomo's ball, but that's a good ball that he put. It's going to force Giacomo to either come for Tua, but he's looking around to see if he can score multiple points. So, let's see what he's going to do. Let's see what he's going to do here. Uh, again, he has, he has the point. He gets the point, you know, he goes to 10. But he's going to try to, to score more points. Again, these shots have been very unpredictable because of the way the board reacts. Oh, wow, he was off there. I don't know. I, again, he goes to 10, has the Palino, but the way he's been pointing, he's been pointing great. Could have took the two, gone the 11, got a point closer. So, okay. Let's see if Giacomo goes back to the Polino in the Volo zone. Yeah, in, in the middle. Um, okay, not in the Volo zone, just past that Volo line. Let's see Giacomo, what he's, what he's going to do. First ball is key here again, with Nani putting the ball in the Rafa zone. And not way Nani can stick balls can be very dangerous here for for uh, Giacomo because Nani can stick. So let's see how he wants to play this. So Nani's gonna point. I would have thought maybe he would have shot the stick, and but he's gonna point. Let's see. Again, that's a. Uh, uh, that's been a spot he's been very consistent at. Um, let's see if it has the legs. He might be a little short. Just a tad short, possibly. 
Oof, kept rolling by the applause by the crowd. They're saying he made it, and the referee confirms he scored. Now, that is a vol shot because his ball is not past the D line. So, again, he, Giacomo saw that. He called that he's going to shoot Volo. Big Volo shot here coming up because he doesn't see the Polino, so he cannot shoot the Polino. So, here it comes. All these balls are precious. He goes up, he shoots, he has it. Oof. And his ball almost jumped off the court. That's, yeah, okay. There was, it's good. No, what happened? Uh -uh. It's good. Yeah, they were arguing, but here, it did not go on top. It hit the corner. So it is good. So the referee in the back assumed that it went out of play, but it did not. So here comes Nani. He's going to shoot, trying to stick and really force the issue here. But he did not try to stick. My bad. I called that wrong. But uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. He has the point. He has the ball in the back. I got this is probably where he's going to make it, where he's going to try to stick. But it looks like, looks like John was going to shoot Polino. He's not going to give Nani that opportunity. He's going to force the issue with the Polino shot. And if it can go in the corner, it'll be a great shot for him. He shoots. He hits. Let's see where it ends up. Oh, oh he hits it. Great shot. It Again, the back wall is so live, it came out a lot. He has two points, but there is room there for Nani to point. And he has a ball advantage. So if he can make it with this point, he's in great shape to possibly win this game and match and final. Looks like a good ball from this angle. It looks like a fantastic ball. Yes. Wow, what a ball. And it's not Bertalio, so he has to declare. He has can only shoot one thing, so he has called the Polino. Here it is. If he misses, it's game. Or if the Polino goes into a weird spot, it's game. So, uh, clutch, here he goes. He shoots. He missed. It's game. Italy comes back. A fantastic game against San Marino. 15-10. Couldn't ask for better matches here. San Marino wins. The very first game of the doubles, and Italy comes back winning two in a row. This was amazing. San Marino played their hearts out, and tough break for them. But again, the Italians, they, they persevered. They, they came through and did it. They didn't get rattled, and they played wonderful. That, what a fantastic game, and now they are all smiles, and everybody's friends again. So we have our, my sidekick here, uh, you know, <laughs> yes. between games. Um, Absolutely. Well, it's over. It's it's over. It. I'm ready for some more. There was, <laughs> I don't know about that. We've been here 12 hours, right? Yes. The this one had a different feel to it, didn't it? It was it does. you could tell it was elevated. Maybe fatigue was setting in yes. a little bit. You I know, mean, again, it's long for them I, you too. Know, right? we, we made, I made the comment. You know, we st the game started at ten o'clock. You know, we they've been here a lot. You know, the shooting, Giacomo, he was like a machine here. Mm. He shot a lot, yes. right? And that takes a toll. The long day. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but. Well, they played fantastic. To These two players yes. are just the phenomenal. Yes. I mean, one in one A. Yep. Yeah. I mean, this game was just, he, Giacomo played his heart out. It, yeah. it, you know, he he just had a few bad breaks, but Nani persevered. And, you know, being down, he, you know, he was down big. He came back, yeah. took the lead, and just nickel and dimed his way. You know, he just. And yeah. that's what it was. It was just. 
one. I yep. mean, we did. We saw elements where it opened up where there could have been four, yeah. and then wiped away. Right, and then we saw times where, you know, there's opportunities. They hit. They hit the Paulino and jumps out, <laughs> and, and it's a total swing of a fortune. It, it right? goes four to one. Yeah, the other and then, way. And yeah. Then, yeah, and and then it starts over. Yeah, I mean. Again, you couldn't add. We've seen everything we in did. this game. We have. Right? Uh, the, one, the one comment that uh, some of the crew was giving, they said, this feels like overtime. Then it felt like double overtime. overtime. And then it was like triple overtime when, you know, the shot counted when it mattered. Yes. And, and it was, you hate to. S you don't want to see it end. No, you don't. You wanted it to continue. Yes. And, mm -hmm. boy, did we get our. Our game's worth yeah, here, our I money's worth so. here, and I And I hope the spectators uh, have enjoyed the telecast <laughs> and, and the video. And, and Me too. And we, we appreciate everybody that commented on YouTube and tuned okay. in. And um, we had up to 130 viewers at one point for a single match, okay. which is great. And I know more turned in over throughout the day. Yes. But, but what we can say about the, the entire event kickoff Wednesday now we're it's Saturday the 23rd right. and we finally One have a event. winner we have a winner and um, it's pretty exciting to to wrap it up and yeah. I'm always thinking until ne next, next year, year right, right? <laughs> how can how can we do this better right I mean, do it better but also yeah. we're gonna we know it can be done and we'll put it together and it, yeah. was, it was a ton of fun and uh, I'm not sure how they're wrapping this up, but yeah, for us. I'm not sure. But, you know, the beauty of this game, too, yeah. is we're competitors on the court. But now it's all over. Yeah. It's all, we're just all going to celebrate together, right? And, and, and that's saw, what it is. And as this match was going on when they were like, oh, reset. And mm -hmm. you saw the, oh. But it was from the competitors. Right. The competitors are here cheering on their friends and just, just uh, taking part in it. So right. I think we have a check presentation we do. happening we here. We do. Italy, Team Italy has won this event. They are the... Yeah, wave so of they are not. They are bringing on all the teams that had qualified. It and sounds the like into or the, 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 the the playoffs, the, playoffs, so the final okay. six teams, mm -hmm. uh, which again was Italy, San Marino, Austria, Chile, USA, and Canada. What do you, I mean? What do you see looking forward for some of these teams? San Marino. Young, hungry, so, yeah, very so, talented. Yeah, again, what do you think? We see, we see the, we see the calendar of play. We see the hunger, right? You know, people can come back. Italy's human, <laughs> right? Again, it comes, it comes yeah. with a an aura. Italy comes with an aura because they're they've been so great for so long in this game, but but they've been beaten the game. They've been beaten a couple of yes. games. They can be beat. So it, this was earned. It, the these, victory was absolute. This was not an easy mm -hmm. victory in Italy's part at all. Again, they lost the doubles. They had to win the two. <laughs> That's pressure, right? And it came down to like, like you we said, talked about just a couple throws. Yeah, and but we talked about it in the beginning. Yes. The, the one it game, game out there, yeah. the rollout, and we got the <laughs> most important game here on court yeah, seven. Yeah, we were right? sweating there for a little bit. Yeah. The, the broadcast gods were shining. They were us. shining. We were, <laughs> we were, they, they were like, okay, we need to make this work, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so it, it was uh, fantastic, yes. So, so here we are. I, they're getting ready to hand out the uh, the prizes, yes. Prizes. And I believe yep. they, they, they are, um, there are six prizes. I'm not quite sure what the, 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 nom the, the, the nominal amounts are. I don't, I can't see that far on, on the board, but, um, you know, if you made the playoffs, you left with something. Something, yes. Something, you know. So, again, a lot of these players have traveled far to get yes. here. I mean, you have Austria, you have Malta, <laughs> the little <laughs> country of Malta. You have Chile. Yes. I mean, you, you, uh, 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 you had France. You, I mean. Yeah, I mean, other side of the yeah, globe. <laughs> I mean, so we, uh, yeah. So yeah, this is. Tr been treated, you know. This game is played all over the country. Hopefully we can make it into a fabulous game here in the States. Absolutely. You know? and, and seeing an event like this, it, it can only help. It can only help. Generate right. more and interest hope, in the Hopefully sport. we've done the game right by today's <laughs> broadcast. Yes. And uh, we didn't bore too many people. Too many people hasn't got tired of my voice. Well, Even hey, though I'm starting to lose it a little <laughs> bit. But With the action, 
I, you couldn't go wrong with the action. Right. I mean, it, it spoke for itself. Yeah, it was it was top notch, and like this was my first tournament. I mean, I we said it all day, yeah. and I, this was thrilling. Team USA, being Team USA, honored. yes, of course. You know, the home team. They they played their hearts out. They started the tournament with a loss to Chile. Oh, they did. Yes, they did. They lost the match, and then yesterday they won nine straight games. They went undefeated. How yesterday. how that is so difficult to do, right? Yeah, it's so difficult to and focus in on that again, and then just rally like that yeah, to make it here. To make it here. So, it, anybody that has qualified in this tournament to the playoffs was well earned and deserved. There was no easy games. Okay, so we yeah, are we announcing have, uh, San Marino here. Let's San get yeah. definitely absolutely clap uh, them in. Uh, yes, yeah, because, um, what a performance. They, they, yes, and you know, the character they had on the court, you saw the, the class oh, of the game, absolutely. right? It, there wasn't any of this bad sportsmanship, no, no. good it, or bad. Not shot. like you see in some other yes, sports, right? Exactly. It's, There's it's not the trash talking that you <laughs> see, you know, maybe it's not in the game, but it's more of a gentleman's game, yes, or, you know, of, it is. of that, uh, of, of that, uh, you know, game. So, yeah, but. Uh, yeah, they're mentioning the sponsors yes. for yes. San Marino. Uh, Helped him yeah, help them come here, over so here. Having a sponsor, so, yeah. sponsor their team. Yeah, I mean, it gets expensive With when you're traveling overseas, right? I oh mean, yeah. And, and it's a big, it's a big, especially nowadays in the COVID world, right? Yes. You know, it, it takes a lot to to, to come here, and uh, thankfully they had somebody that backed them. And, and, and look what happens. Look here, what they they're, they're, here they are. Here they are. You know, and it, it's been it's been fabulous. So wonderful run for those guys, yes. and and of course we have the perennial all stars, <laughs> right? We talked about them yeah. all day. You the, know, and all the week debate, and LeBron James and Michael <laughs> Jordan kind of thing, right? They're the dream team, but yeah. they had the work, they earned it, <laughs> and they deserve this victory, right? Absolutely. And, uh, Standing O. Yeah, absolutely. So, Fantastic. and they, they are two of the nicest men that you'll meet. All of them. Steely All these players. So, I yeah, Steel Eyes can put but, off the but, court really great guys yeah. to speak with. And so, you know, here they are um, thanking the Batalias, you know, the Ab owners of the Palazzo the facility, here. Yes. You know, you have uh, you have Tony and Marsha and Annette, you know, the ringleaders of this uh, facility. Here in and Lake Orion, the, the family here, and to build this, to, yes. I mean, this is, these are events that you generate memories, you, you generate interest in the sport, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, you know, it goes and, beyond our border. And it goes little beyond, Lake exactly. Orion. <laughs> and, and though this is, this brings family together. This game, you can come here with your kids, even if you don't want to, you're not able to compete this. <laughs> You can come here and, and play and have a good time, right? <laughs> so they're having great some, sense of humor. Yes, the guys so obviously there. celebrating the yes, win. Yes, absolutely. So it's fantastic. And well, I think on that note, it's it's we're it's gonna have time. to say goodbye. So we wrap up. We should wrap up All again. Right. I think we want to thank the sponsors, Let's right? Thank the sponsors again. Uh, we have Oakland County. Uh, Board of Commissioners, K Automotive Graphics, uh, Detroit Spectrum Painters Incorporated, plus others which you'll see on the screen in the credits and uh, throughout the, uh, yes. the so video. Again, keep watching, everyone. Keep watching. Yes, we're going to put, uh, edit this down a little bit for uh, the replay uh, crowd. Thanks. And um, you can watch it on which website? The, the it's Palazzo going to be Bacci's the Palazzo de Bacci's website, www.palazzodebacci.com. Quite simple there to remember. So, all right, folks. Let's uh, let's let's do this official. Should we do it official? Say goodbye. We could. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'll, I'll give you the honor so, since you've been uh, in the So hot I, seat I have day. not ran through this one, <laughs> so bear with me, everybody. Yes. So this concludes our coverage of the Palazzo di Bocce 2022 International Invitational Bocce Tournament. We thank all of you for tuning in, and we hope you are inspired and take up the game of bocce with your friends and family after watching this tournament. It's a truly a game for all ages and genders. For our directors, Joey 
Tysick. Tysick, <laughs> camera operator, editor, Joe Johnson, and our other engineer and graphic operator, Ian Locke. And who knew? I, I, and, I, and commentator, my sidekick I wasn't intending here. to be wasn't here this much, but it worked, out, it worked, it worked out very good <laughs> for the entire crew here at the Palazzo Vachi. I am Leo Giannotti. Thank you, and good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.